morning. How are we, my darling? It is so lovely to see you. Hello, welcome to Jewelry Maker. My name is Claire, and I've got some big news. Today is my first ever day here. <laughs> so I am so excited to get to know each and every one of you. I have watched Jewelry Maker before. I've never had the privilege to come and sit at the actual desk. So today, I hope we're going to have some fun. I know, I know, because I see all of your messages come in. I know you, you're the experts out there, so I'm, I'm ready to learn a thing or two. Now, it's not just you and me today. We have got a fabulous team. Now, in our gallery, should we go and say hello to them? <laughs> Go on, shall we go and say hello? Pop camera on. So doing our wonderful producing, we've got our Tom. And then doing our director, we've got Ollie. Hello, Ollie. That was a very, that was a very grand wave, wasn't it? And it's all in here. I'm learning new names. It's all, it's my first day. So I'm putting it all together. And of course, doing our cameras is Mike as well. Here he is, absolutely fab. What are you not? Are you not dancing today? You are you being very grown up today? I I did actually see everyone dance yesterday on the show. So, and guess what? Because although we've got an amazing team, oh, and we've got Kinga as well, our floor manager. There she is. Hello, my lovely. Give her a wave. There she. Oh, she's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. She's helping me this morning. Stick stick my nails on. <laughs> and do you know what? It's not just this amazing team. It's not just you and me. We have got a very special guest and I have been so excited to meet her. It is, and I know you have been awaiting as well, none other than one of the most incredible designers we have got here on Jewelry Maker is our gorgeous, incredible Rachel Norris. Here Hello, she is. Lovely to, oh, it's just Hello. fantastic to be back and lovely to be working with you. Really lovely. So cheer. I'm just welcome me um, this morning to the studio and, and you're looking beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> And you're going to have a lovely day with us. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. We were literally just saying, so this morning at 3.15, me and Rachel, <laughs> we were on opposite ends of the actual country. So I were up north, Rachel were down south in Cornwall, and we've met, we've met in the we middle, haven't we, Rachel? <laughs> And we saw the door on both of us probably from different <laughs> yeah. ends of the spectrum, yes. I love it though, I can't, I, I, honestly, for my first show, for my first guest, I don't think I could have got it any more perfect today. We're going to have a right laugh. And it's the weekend. <laughs> right. Oh, it's our Jeanette. Claire. Jeanette. Jeanette, can you believe it? They've actually let me on another channel. What is going on? <laughs> Thank you so much. So can I just tell you about Jeanette yesterday? Rachel, you'll love our Jeanette. So we were doing a Malachite showcase and Jeanette messaging, she was like, I've convinced my husband to buy me a Malachite locket. <laughs> we're like, go on, I girl. <laughs> oh, I, there's Malachite in one of the pendants. I, and it's literally, it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stone. Is it stunning? Yeah. Do you know what I'm so excited about today? That booklet. Thank that booklet. You. Have you actually Thank seen? You. Uh, last night, I was on Rachel's Facebook. Honestly, <laughs> her booklet is, you know, I'm sorry, I don't even think we should call it a booklet. <laughs> it is huge, a 64-page book. Can we call it a novel? I'm yeah. so sorry, I just missed that message. Sorry, my love, I'm ever such a slow reader. <laughs> Was there another message there after our Jeanette? I didn't want to be, collector from California. Gigi, Claire, you're over on this side, it's so nice. Gigi, Gigi, I've not got my fluffy socks on. <laughs> <laughs> right, Mandy, are you clear? You're going to love GM. And yeah, I've got Rachel. Honestly, Mandy, no word of a lie. I couldn't have had a better day, could I? I walked in this morning, Tom met me. We had a cup of tea, we're all good. And, oh, our Paul, great to have you, GM. It's so exciting. Literally, it was Paul's birthday on Tuesday. It was such a good birthday, on it? I'm so happy for you. Now, We've got to get started because I know what you're thinking. You're probably sat there going, come on, Claire, it's Saturday morning. What have you got in store? How about this? Pearls, 8 a.m. The most, it should be the deal of the day, but I can't, we can't, because we've got even more incredible pieces to show you. So have a little look. This is our eight o'clock piece. When we talk about pearls, they're not just any pearls. They're your beautiful ombre pearls. And oh my goodness, I am so excited, so excited to, and I'm gonna be honest, not just to show them. I'm quite excited for me, me to wear them. <laughs> 
Presenter Derek, do you know Presenter Derek? Right, go Claire, you have amazing time with JM and big loves to Rachel. Rachel, Derek says hello, my lovely. Thank you. Oh, hello you know Derek, what? I love you Derek. Me and Derek were in dressing rooms today, we are having a right chat and Derek said, oh, who have you got? I said, I've got, we've got Rachel Norris. He's like, Claire, you're going to love her. You two are going to get on like an house on fire. <laughs> so there you go. Right, Derek, you were on last night. You better get to bed. <laughs> Bye bye, my lovely. Right, we have got a fabulous day lined up for you. So we've got our first hour. We're going to have our pearls, which will be coming up around half past eight, and I cannot wait to try them on. And then at nine o'clock, oh Rachel, she is going to help me out because you know what? I want to learn all about coloured stretch pieces, and she's going to show me exactly how to use and what to do. And you can help me as well because you know today is my first day. And then at ten, we're going to be looking at jewellery making essentials. And we do have a deal of the day. Oh, I'm so excited. It is Stardust Spacer Beads. So when we're talking about Spacer Beads, they are incredible. However, we have not had these in so, so long. And I know you've been waiting for them back by, I'm going to say back by popular demand because the amount of emails that the team were telling me that they've had. Can we have, should we have a little, oh. Oh, oh, right, when I walked in this morning, producer Tom were like, come look at this, come look at this. Absolutely stunning. Now, can I move it over? Is that all right? Oh, shall, I'll just pop it there. Can I grab it? Oh, go, oh, oh, oh we, do get, we do get a bit of freedom here at JM. Wow. Right, now, do not worry. It is going to be played at 10 o'clock, but do you know those spacer beads? Do you know, isn't it nice to be able to see them actually put together, how we can use it, how we can create some most beautiful jewellery. Right, should we have a little look? That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. And do you know what? Honestly, this is what we're talking about today with these spacer beads. I know when they came out, I know they were popular. I know we've not had them for ages. And yes, they are fantastic. They've got the same use as your spacer beads, but the difference is you've got that stardust on the outside. And I've seen stardust rings before. And when you catch the light, yeah. Do you know what? Honestly, Tom, that's no word of a lie. So Tom was just saying, and he's so true. He was saying, usually with space to be, and he's like, you use them to accessorise next to your centre gemstones, don't you? No, 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 no. When it's stardust, I almost think, do you know what? I would literally have a whole bracelet of just stardust. Do you know what I mean? Because it complements, it complements your centre gemstones, but with this piece, I, I know it sounds really bad, but they're literally almost taking centre stage and they're going up against a big gemstone. So I know you've been excited for them. They're going to be coming up at 10 o'clock. So we are going to have to have to hang on to there because the amount of messages we've been getting already about them, I promise you they are going to be coming. And then at 11, we have got a special guest. Do you know our John Scott? Guess what? It's his, can I say? It's his, it's his birthday. <laughs> It's his birthday weekend. I mean, to be fair, you've got to have a full birthday weekend, don't you? So he has got us something very, very special. It's his big birthday deal. And it is, can we have a little look? Can we bring it over? Should we bring it over? Right, here we go. I love it when it's my first day, because it can sort of get away with just <laughs> disrupting the layout that King has made. Right, absolutely incredible. Craft storage box. Let me open it up for you. Are you ready? Are you ready? Uh. Oh my, oh my, look at the compartment. How fabulous is that? Look at the size. It's not done there. It's not done there. Hang on now. I'm going to bring, oh, 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 do you know what? I, this is, this is my, oh, I know I need to pull my zip down, don't I? This is, <laughs> I didn't sound right, did it? This is like my holy grail. I am one of those people. Do you have like absolutely everything? Wait. No, it's not. Mandy! Mandy, happy birthday! Right, you and John, birthday weekend, Mandy. Come on, what are you going to be doing, my lovely? I had a birth month this month. <laughs> I just turned it into a month because I had one of those lockdown birthdays, you know, my big birthday. So I made up this month by having a birth month. <laughs> Mandy, happy birthday! Mwah! I hope you've got a fabulous day planned. Right, then we're coming on to 12 o'clock and 12 o'clock. Right, 12 o'clock is not going to be any ordinary hour. 12 o'clock, Rachel is going to be bringing us her amazing kits, her fabulous booklet. Rachel, I'm so excited. Are you getting all set up now for I it? I am. I'm, I've got, I'm trying to find room on the desk for everything. There's so much to show you. I think I couldn't stop making things. 
but yeah. oh, it's, honestly, I've just been waiting to bring this design for about three years, actually. Um, I start, I, and I'm just so happy that it's finally in print and out here now. So, yeah, I hope you all enjoy it. There's all sorts of, there's three designs in the booklet, and they're all sort of happy, celestial, um, sort of uh, goddess um, pendants. Oh, I love it. We've got oh, some beautiful Rachel. kits to go alongside them as well. They work, they work so well, perfectly with them. Honestly, Rachel, we're going to have a great day. I'll tell you something though, 12 o'clock, I want you sat here with a cup of tea because we're going to be watching Rachel, the genius <laughs> at work. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. <laughs> right, we best get started now because we've got, we've got to let Rachel set up. I've got to stop, I've got to stop bothering Anna. We've got to let her get her stuff together. <laughs> right, I know you've been excited. Let's get started because it is our 10 o'clock hour. Right, now, oh, I'm, I'm on my wrong side. <laughs> If you have just tuned in, I hope you've got your brew or your cup of coffee at the ready. Right then, so we're starting with our... Oh my goodness, this is the way to start, isn't it? This is a... Wow, Rachel, you are amazing. Have you heard this, Anne? Anne said, Rachel, wow, you are amazing. Ra Honestly, Anne, you wait till 12 o'clock. It's going to be absolutely incredible. Right, Fanta Garnet. <laughs> yes, please. And um, Let me have a little look at carrot weight here. We've got... Oh, oh, 10 carrots. 10 carrots, I tell you what, I know so many of you are huge, huge garnet fans. And you know, how often does fancy garnet come up? Can I show you the tassels as well on the end? Go on, let's say, oh, <laughs> thank you, so, thank you so much. I tell you what, do you know what, when we are talking about, do you know that real cool summer bohemian style? That is what I am talking about. 10 incredible carrots of your beautiful, beautiful fancy garnet. We have got, how, have we got seven left? Seven left, 12 pounds and 99 pence, five left. Now, if you wanna come and get involved, you can call that number. It's a comp, we've only got three left. We're gonna have to carry on. I'm afraid it is gonna sell out. Right, are we ready? Oh, I love lapis. Do you know what I managed to get the other day? No word of a lie, from Jamporia, I managed to get a beautiful, you know, one of the, ca um, the candles. Guess what, it had lapis inside the candle it smelled gorgeous right oh i tell you what i didn't have that many carrots in it though 95 carrots of your stunning lapis i mean do you know we could talk about lapis all day but let's be honest what's the first thing we see it's that incredible saturation that color coming through on the gemstone and do you know what you got your tassels you got your tassels right Come on, I, I've never seen, I've never done this show before. So I'm, I've heard rumours about amazing prices. I feel like, you're... <laughs> wait, this is absolutely crazy. This does not happen. These are genuine gemstones. What is going on? <laughs> this doesn't feel right. <laughs> it's my first day. <laughs> Nine pounds and 99 pence. <clears throat> Honestly, the one thing I will say, if you are here and you're thinking, do you know what? I'm ready for some natural gemstones. You cannot go wrong. Massive congratulations. We're gonna do a one-off deal. No, we're not. You're pulling my leg or pulling my arm. I can never remember which saying that is. Right, go on, let's have a look, Tom. What are you gonna... <gasps> you, you're having me on. You're having me on. Right, no word of a lie. I'm usually over on Lifestyle. I'll tell you one thing, £6.99. For, let me check how many carrots, 95 carrots of lapis with those gorgeous tassels, no word of a lie. Even if, even if you've been dying to make a necklace with them, get it at £6.99 and use the gemstones. You know, whose idea was that? Was that Tom or Mike's? Ollie's, Ollie, <laughs> it's my first day, right? Ollie, Ollie just said, why not use those tassels for earrings? I'll tell you what, Ollie, you're quite, you're quite the designer, aren't you, yourself? <laughs> I'll tell you what, huge congratulations. We've got Maker, we've got Nora, we've got Lynn, we've got Alan, we've got Kim. You've got to be really quick. Now, I've only got the two left, so I'm going to have to leave them with you, I'm afraid, my lovely, because I've got, so got so much to go through. Right, then, are we ready for our next piece? This I'm in my element here. I'm in my element. This is amazing. Right. <clears throat> so I just, this is going to be bonkers. Right. I like that. That sounds good to me. Right. You have got your multi barrel. Oh, beautiful. <gasps> Hang on. This is my first day. So if we can do a few special little treats <laughs> just to ease me in. <laughs> 
Woo, 90... No way, no way. Right, we're actually going crazy. Forget that price. If you've just come to join us, I hope you've got a strong coffee because I know you're going to need one this morning. Right, let's have a little look. £12.99. And, and you have, and this is what is incredible about this, the most, and I've never seen this before, never, your gemstones are in your drop shape. I see a lot of time when we're talking about rings, that beautiful pear shape. So you get that tip at the top and the light can travel through. Just absolutely stunning. For that kind of price, for the 75 of those beautiful barrels, absolutely go for it. You've got your tassels on there as well. Have we re? Oh, you didn't tell me that. Right, I've just heard an update. So those beautiful pearls coming up. They're coming up at half past, aren't they? A little bit, right, about half past quarter two, they're up on pre-order. So if you're, if you're on Tinterweb web or if you're on phone lines, you can go, they're stunning, aren't they? These are ombre. Now, the price on pre-order is 89 99 Now, I'm just going to tell you, and I'll tell you this now, we are literally going to be going nowhere near that price now i do you know what the gentleman who i've been dying to meet charlie barron he he does the most amazing work with our pearls here at gem Pearl. he's not is he he's on jewelry maker tomorrow right whatever you're doing tomorrow cancel your plans because you've got to come meet charlie right now darlings we have got so many of you checked out on this i've got lots in the basket i've not got too many but i'm gonna have to move on right then my darling we've got some quotes have we Oh, golden quartz. <gasps> oh, 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 look at the tassels as well. Right, absolutely stunning. Again, do you know, angel hairs. I like it. I tell you what, if you've just joined us, it is, oh, how is it? Oh, congratulations. The lapis has sold out. Huge congratulations. Now, my name is Claire. If you've just come and joined us, I know you're thinking, hang on, who's this? Who's this? Look, I got Rachel Norris with me. <laughs> right. Are you being serious now? So I just heard Ollie and Tom say, we're going to be taking a gemstone, one of the lowest prices I've ever seen. Right, come on, make me surprised now. It's my first day. <laughs> Let's take a little look. Wow. £6.99. pence. And when we are talking about real, authentic, true gemstones, you know, I've seen... Right, this is no word of a lie. I went shopping at Trafford Centre last week. I have seen costume pieces of jewellery, similar to the style, double the price. And I think you know which shops I mean, don't you? <laughs> but they're not real gemstones. Can we do a clock? Can I do my first clock? Right, I'm going to do my first clock. 60 seconds. Are you ready? Go on, go for it. So I can see lots of you now adding this to your basket. The reason we put a clock on, there is so many of you. We want to give a chance for everyone just to catch up and come and get involved. You are looking at your eight quarts of that stunning golden root-like quartz. Beautiful amount of gemstones working its way. And then right at the end, look at your angel hairs. Let me bring them up for you. Absolutely sensational. And do you know what? This is the thing in set. This is why we all come to Jewelry Maker, is it? Especially the early bird details they do are they really right lots of you in baskets i know lots of you on telephones if you are on phone and you're in a queue please just wait there because i promise you somebody's on the way and they're such a nice group of people you know when my dad orders from yes that's such a good point do you know what that's actually a good point so if today you've gone for another bracelet and you think do you know what i'm gonna go for another one you don't pay two post and package you just pay one that is it, £3.99. It don't matter, you could order 10, 20, it don't matter because it's just one for the old day. Right, I am not being funny. I am not being funny. I thought we had stopped at £6.99. <laughs> A massive congratulations of £3.99. Lots of your multi bin as well. Come and get involved. You can get, have they really, oh my, these, do you know what? I'm going to be honest with you. I've never seen this before, right? There are, in your baskets, people checking out with four. What are you doing? Are you gifting? Are you gifting? Three pounds and 99 pence. Absolutely incredible. Perfect. Right then, my darling. So one minute I will say, one thing I will say is if you have just joined us and you're thinking, what is going on? I can hear somebody here with us. We've got Rachel Norris here today, literally. I'm so excited. Go on, give us a wave. <laughs> 
she looks fab. Do you know what? To say we set off at three o'clock this morning, Rachel, we're looking all right, aren't we? <laughs> right, so my darling, huge congratulations. Yeah, I know, just the things we do for jewellery. <laughs> Thank you so much, my lovely. Three pounds, nine to nine pounds. We're going to have to carry on. It will sell out. We've got a busy day today. And I know the pearls already opened for a, already opened for a pre order as well right are you ready for a gemstone you can't get anywhere anymore it's nowhere to be found we've got it here the most beautiful form of turquoise sleeping beauty turquoise now and you know what this is one of the first gemstones i learned about when i came here to gemporia what we're talking about right first and foremost at a price point of 100 pounds for this amount 20 carats of sleeping beauty and we're not going to stop there. It's not right because this is a gemstone that, you know, when we're looking, when we're really researching this gemstone, we can't get this anymore. It does not exist. The mine was closed. So the only people left now is Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. They're private collectors. And the fact that we had such a great rela working relationship with them here at Gemporia means we still have some Sleeping Beauty. But when it's gone, it's gone. Even Toby, do you know Toby over on Gems? Toby even went to the Gem Fair in America a few years ago and he thought, oh, you'll be fine. We'll pick up loads. He actually took a picture of what he found. Four pieces for sale of Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. Teeny tiny. Right, are you ready, my darlings? If you've been waiting for Sleeping Beauty Turquoise, 20 carats in that beautiful beaded design. Oh, that is half price. That is half price. £49.99. And do you know what? <clears throat> this is it. This is it. Right? No word of a lie. And Tom would just say it. If you've been having your eye on Sleeping Beauty, if it's been a gemstone you've been waiting to come, because we're not looking at a ring with a single solitaire, because we're looking at that continuation, that beautiful beaded design, what could you do with those Sleeping Beauty turquoise pieces? You could get creative, you could use them in the earrings if you didn't want to keep them in that bracelet, you could pop them on a necklace and it's all there. Are we doing it again? <laughs> I, lo I love it here. I love these clocks. Right, get ready. <clears throat> Lots of you with this in your basket. We've got 17 seconds left. Then the price is going to come down. I've not got too many of these, actually, have we? We've not got too many. Right, bear with us. We're coming down. We've got 20 chances. I have no idea where we're going, right? So you're going to find out with me. Are you ready, my lovely? I cannot wait. Honestly, I can see you all adding it to your basket. 20 carats. 29, nine to nine, that's not bad, that is it. My goodness, absolutely fabulous. Even if you've just popped over to jewellery making this morning, you thought, do you know what, I'll, just, I'll wake up with jewellery maker, I'll have a catch up, and you come across Sleeping Beauty at that kind of price. Absolutely. Well, this is it, do you know what? If you actually, if, you've got, if you're on internet and you go on to Google News, all you need to do is type in Sleeping Beauty Turquoise, and you know the actual news reports that comes up, do you know what it says? World's most famous turquoise. World's most famous turquoise, again and again and again. Massive congratulations. I tell you what, I, honestly, do you know these particular pieces going literally up and down the country? We've got Bristol, we've got Surrey, we've got Yorkshire, we've got Larcher. There's eight chances left. If you want to come and get involved, I definitely say be quick on it. It's £29, £99 for a huge amount of such a precious rare gemstone. I've only got four chances left. That is how quick it all happens today. And it does, I always think this, so, because when I used to, before I worked here, I used to watch Gemporia. And I remember when I used to watch it, I, um, I was one of those people. I used to, you know, wait right till the end of the hour. <laughs> and then I'd always miss out. And then I'd always add to my wish list. I used to think, oh my goodness. Right then, huge congratulations, my darlings. I've got two left. If you're on those phone lines, or you can just check it out in your basket, whichever you prefer. My dad still likes to do the call. <laughs> He's not that he's not that good at the uh, at the what do you call it the uh, the internet the technology. <laughs> right, then, my darlings, is it that time? Is it that time? Right, how qu how quick is that gone? You're not going to believe what time it is. It is time for the star bite. I'll see you in a second.
<laughs> Perfect. It is, of course, Star Buy. So why do we have Star Buys here at Jamporian Jewelry Maker and Jamporian Lifestyle? Because a Star Buy has got to have something really special. It's got to be something new, something unique, something you've been waiting for, or something incredible when it comes to price-wise. I think we've, we've got a little bit of all of that with today's Star Buy, haven't we? Should we have a little look? Right, I'm gonna bring them over. We're gonna start with our beautiful, awful ones. Are you ready? I know, I know so many of you do your crafting. Right, now, in total, you get 50 pieces and it is your incredible sterling silver of, oh, did I pick that? Oh, I'm sorry, I picked up, I picked up the, the thingy ones, didn't I pick up? I picked up the wrong one. <laughs> It is my first day, so I think I can get away with it, can't I? Right, so then, it is those amazing oval jump rings. Now, it is a bundle, so you get all of the pieces. You get 50 pieces included. And do you know what I would say? I know, now, I know many of you, and so know so many of you who watch this show, you are into your jewellery making, whether you're at expert level, whether you're at the beginner level. But do you know what I would say? Even today, if you are just coming in and it's been your first time, like me, and you're just getting into the starts of your jewellery making, honestly, and we're talking about, do you know those absolute essentials? Right, I'm going to go in. I'm going to go in for one. Are you ready? Right, here we go. Oh, I feel like I'm doing an operation. <laughs> right, there you go, my darling. It is those incredible oval jump rings. Now, in terms of how much sterling silver we are talking about, it's 8.2. So that is actually crazy. Now, I work with jewellery anyway, and I understand a lot about when we're talking about weights of silvers and golds, we are genuinely talking about sterling silver. These are 50 pieces. And what, this is a good question. What are you going to do with it? What are you going to do with it? Are you going to use them with your bracelets? What accessories are you going to use them with? Right, now, £49.99. When you are finishing your pieces off, don't matter what piece it is, these are so, so key. And the point, and this is, I'll tell you what, this is what, this is what surprised me. Are we really? Right, we're going we're gonna to do a big crash, just bear with me. And this is what surprised me. I do go in these shops and I do see the prices. And what you're getting, you're getting all 50 in this little container. So you pop it on the side and you're good to go. Right, are you ready, my darling? Oh, why, oh, why, I've just had a little look. I can see you're already checking out. We're gonna put a clock on there. Let everybody catch up. We've got three different designs, but do you know what, at these kind of prices, for 50 of them, you think, yeah, absolutely, I'm gonna go. So we're not even gonna stop there, are we? We're not even gonna stop there. Literally, I've just heard Tom whisper, don't worry, Claire, we're not gonna be stopping there. We're gonna keep going. So one thing I will say, yeah, that's it. I mean, how many pieces of jewellery can you actually create with 50 pieces? That is quite something, isn't it? Quite something. Right then, my darlings, if you have just come and if you have just come and joined us, this is our incredible star by come and join in. Because the one thing I will say, and this is surprising, for a Saturday morning, how busy? Are they really? No. Right? The team were just saying, you might not have seen these before. They've only been on once and we've got 50 chances 24 pounds and 99 pence a massive congratulations i can see lots of you multi-bidding give us a message though come and get involved what's your plan what are you working on at the minute what are you creating and do you know what do not forget we've got rachel norris with us today so if you're looking for those top tips if you're looking for a bit of advice, I know I've got an hundred questions to ask her, so <laughs> you best come and send your questions. I cannot wait for a masterclass. I'll tell you what, if anyone needs a masterclass, it's me, Rachel. I'll tell you that right now. Honestly, I'm as clumsy. The fact that everything's still here now on the desk, my goodness, that's a miracle. <laughs> well, because, um, because you're going to be right next to people every day, you're going to be picking up loads. I mean, free lessons every day. <laughs> Well, Rachel, I tell you what, honestly, it's uh, Rachel, no word of a lie. I have got to tell you, I, I've, been, I've been picking the, I already dropped my nail. Oh. <laughs> Look, you can make that. I've dropped my nail. I've dropped my nail. <laughs> <laughs> We're off to a good start. I told you everything I touched just for half an hour that right. lasted me, didn't it? Half I got locked hour. in the cupboard early <laughs> on, so John Scott had to let me out. Oh my goodness, there's no door handle. So I was like, I've got to be on television in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to go to 
<laughs> Rachel got locked in the cupboard. I'm missing a nail. It's live TV. What else can go wrong? <laughs> right. Hello, Claire. Hi, Rachel. Welcome, Claire. I have been listening uh, while sorting my meds, and I'm sure that you will fit in with JM Nice. Oh, Stuart, thank you so much. I were ever so nervous this morning. I was driving down here like, oh, my goodness, I can't believe it's happening. I can't believe they've let me on. They must be desperate. <laughs> Right, massive congratulations. If you're looking at these and you're starting to get those ideas, right, but you're waiting for that different shape, I got my purrs next. I got my purrs. Now, Alison had these the other day and she, yeah, she soldered them together, didn't she? And she made yes. the most beautiful, beautiful, flower. beautiful mm. daisy flower. Yeah. And I'm gonna, I'm just gonna turn that. Sorry, Mike. You know what I'm like. I've, you know I'm like moving everything all over cameras. <laughs> One thing I will <laughs> say. So you still got the exact same use, but with the oval shape, you had different in terms of. I think for ending off your jewelry, perfect. But for the pear shape, because you have that slightly, dare I say it, round the bottom. <laughs> When it comes to creating, there's nothing wrong with a round bottom. <laughs> when you're creating those shapes, can I tell you one thing that is absolutely taking over design with you at the moment is those floral designs. And when we're seeing those floral designs, in order to get that fabulous shape, a pear jump ring, that sounds exactly where you want to be. Now, I'm not the jewelry making expert here, so I'm excited. I'm excited for you lot to tell me exactly what you're planning with them right there with me i'm going to grab us another one as well there you go my lovely <laughs> it's my first day holding these gems holding these pieces so you bear with me i'll try and keep my hands still for you man <laughs> Right, if you love the price of the last one, we're going to match it down. Remember, you get 30 in these. It's personal preference. It's whatever you're planning for your creations, whether you are making those beautiful floral summer designs and you're at the ready and you've been waiting for a piece like this, £24.99. And, and in that, can you see that little tub as well? There you go, I'll bring your tub up as well. Absolutely incredible. Every single piece you get home as well, my lovely. Lots of you... Is there really 8.5, 8.1 grams? That is amazing, isn't it? Because this is the thing. Do you know what? When we are talking about the material, because I always talk about the design, but the actual material itself, it's still sterling silver. And silver prices with gold, with diamond, we know what's been happening in the industry. It's been creeping up and creeping up and creeping up. So be able to still manage to get these kind of prices on that sterling silver, you just think, Oh, amazing. <laughs> there you go, my lovely. Massive congratulations to everyone who's checking out. What's your plans? What are you going to be doing with these pieces? I bet you're like me, though, aren't you? I do this at home. You know, when I'm watching pieces, my mind goes, oh. Right. All right. I am so excited for these. Now, normally I work with jewellery. Hexagon shapes are some of the most popular shapes at the moment. And guess what? We've got them. We've got them all here. Right, are you ready? I've got to grab you one of these. They're amazing. Here we go, my lovely. Right, these are going to be popular. It is those beautiful. Oh, yeah, Alison, didn't she have them the other day? Yes. Right, do you know what? No word of a lie. And I'll tell you why I've seen so many hexagons. So in Manchester, where I'm from, not that you could ever tell, <laughs> on our council tax bills, on our bins, we always have pictures of bees and beehives. It's obviously a symbol of Manchester. And do you know what? Do you love Manchester? It, it, no way. Now, can I just say, and I'm going to pre-apologise now, right, to the lads in the studio. It's the first day I'm working with, Tom and Ollie, and they both have the same accent. <laughs> So when they talk to me in my ear, right, when they talk to me in my ear with the, with the Midlands accents, I can't decipher which one's which. <laughs> so which one of you, which you've merged into one, they spend too much time together. So which one of you just said you lived in Manchester? Is that Ollie? Yeah, it was Ollie. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Ollie just said he lived in Manchester and he agreed, best city in the world. It was, did you say Hacienda? As well. Oh, best club ever. Right, so you know what? One thing I have seen is so many of these hive designs, especially 
especially they are they are one of the most popular designs i can already see you we've not even brought the price yet get on those phone lines you get a huge amount there in that i'm going to lift that tub up as well for mike there you go you get them all so have a think no way ruby ruby you got four pots absolutely amazing and this is the thing, right? And no word of a lie. I know my best friend makes jewellery. And she, you know, when she started, she used to do a lot of, um, you know, when you buy them off, you know, I was going to say, those websites, you know which websites. And she said she sometimes she'd just get them and they weren't sturdy or stable. Do you know what I mean? And especially if you're going to be soldering and creating with them. So in terms of getting a good solid one, Oh, I think sterling silver. What do you think? Oh, you're the experts. £24.99. pence. Lots of you checking out. The phone line is super, super busy, but do not panic. It is a free phone line. And you have got that beautiful hexagon shape right the way. Can you see it there? I mean, how often do you get to see that when we are talking about jump rings? And it's a bundle. We're not just going to be sending one. <laughs> Right, is this from Alison? Alison! Right, I can tell from the bubbliness and the warmness of the accent and the personality you'll be fitting right in, especially those days where the wheels come off. <laughs> is there a lot of days? <laughs> Alison, you've got everyone in the studio laughing now because they're all saying, yeah, that happens a lot. <laughs> I'm excited, Alison. Bring, bring it on. We'll be right, won't we? <laughs> we'll be right. Right then, my darling. Now, your pearls we've got coming up really soon. And they've been so, so busy on pre-order. They are your beautiful ombre, freshwater, cultured pearls. Now, <clears throat> I did have a little PowerPoint on these as well. I don't know if we're going to have time to show it. If not, don't worry. Don't worry. Look, look at me ordering these tweezers. Look, I look like I'm about to do some damage. I'm going to put those down. <laughs> Right, I am so, so, so excited because they've been open for pre-order. It is, of course, your incredible, incredible, beautiful pearls. I'll see you in just a second. <laughs> Right, it is of course time for our early bird. I've never brought you an early bird before. Oh my goodness, what a place to start. Can I pick them up? Can I pick them up? Because I'm dying to touch them. I'm dying to touch them. Right to them, my darlings. Oh yes, shall I get the other ones? I'll leave. Are they right? Pearls? been knotted by our in-house designers as well. And there's me about to pick them up. <laughs> now. Here we go, my darling. Here's our beautiful strand. Let me show you. Right, I'm going to very quickly, very quickly pop you my PowerPoint on because I just want to take a moment of your time because, my goodness, I work a lot with pearls. I love pearls. When we are talking about an iconic piece of jewellery, it is pearls. When we are talking about the hype around pearls, it is never ended. So let's take a little look. Oh, I don't have my clicker with me. You'll have to control it for me. <laughs> no problem so what is actually going on at the industry at the moment now pearl core have you heard of pearl core before this is the trend that is literally sweeping across the whole industry according to pinterest which is a huge huge if you like go to for people within the industry for inspiration and design we are embracing pearls so whether it is in your home whether it's in your decor, and this is literally just the most simple, simple Google search I did on Pearl Core. Have a look at the industry talking about it. And this is from weeks ago. So we have got right at the top, Evening Standard, we've got Pop Crush, we've got Pure Wow. Everybody is talking about Pearl Core. As we carry on, we have got, let's see who else is talking about it. The Zoe Report, we have got Refinery29. I used to work for Refinery29. We have got, I know they're an amazing outlet. Well, obviously I'm gonna say that. <laughs> Screenshot. We have got Ellie Daly, we've got Real Homes, we've got Pop Sugar. Everybody is talking about Pearl Core. And why is it so, so key? Because, you know, when we think about pearls, we used to think about those classic styles, those Coco Chanel's, those Audrey Hepburn's, but no, in style, Ellie Daly, Harry Styles, even the gents are rocking the pearls these days. We've got People Magazine, US Today, so we're going international again, refinery, coming back. And there you go. What did we get to see a few months ago? Kate Middleton's. 
she had the most incredible photo shoot. And what did she have? The most beautiful drop pearls. And do you know what? We are not just talking about a normal pearl. Have a little look here. What does Glamour Mag say? This new jewellery trend means you cannot live, you've got to live your whole life in ombre. And what have we got today? We got pearls and they're in ombre. <laughs> <laughs> so when I say, and I'm sorry to say, but when I say we are right on trend here at, uh, at Jewelry Maker, I think we, we are, aren't we? So let's take a little look at what we've actually got. You've got those beautiful ombre. So what basically ombre means, and, and I know you all know this, I know you're the experts, it means having colour tones that run from one shade into another. And you get that. So I'm just going to lift it up a little bit, Mike. I know, I know I'm a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> so you go from those beautiful ice whites, then you hit those really soft peachy tones to those more natural lavender tones. And that's what we're getting with the ombre. Across the necklace, we are looking at a total carat weight of 80 carats, which is just phenomenal as it is. I can see so many of you adding this to your basket. What is your plans with it? What do you plan on doing with it? When are you gonna wear them? Because one thing I will say, and it's so, so key, and do you know what? I know lots of you have been collectors for years, but if you are new and you're thinking, okay, Claire, what actually is it I need to be looking for in a pearl? Well, you want that luster, that beautiful pearlescence, and that shape, and that surface, and that colour, and these are just the key things that we should be looking for when we're talking about the world of pearls. And do you know what I love the most? And I will be honest, Back in the day, I used to think, oh, you know, who do I think? I think Audrey Hepburn, I think Coco Chanel. But it's not been like that in the industry. Pearls have come in. And from everyone, the can, did you see the Cannes Festival? The Cannes Festival a few weeks ago, Cannes Film Festival, the amount of celebrities and influencers, male and female, working with pearls, pearls on their nails, pearls in their hair. Yes, yes. He does, right? The lads are just saying, so you know Harry Styles. Now, I, I've got to be honest, it's more my niece who's a fan. <laughs> the heart throb. <laughs> I like my heavy metal, so I've got no chance. And you know what? <laughs> he, he wears the most. I'll tell you what he does. He actually clips his pearls to, you know, the pocket of his blazer? And he actually does this with his design. He clips them onto the side, so he has these gorgeous strands of his pearls that go, Andy Wales pearl earrings, what the lads have found. Hey, he does rock, he does rock a baroque, doesn't he? He rocks a baroque. <laughs> that could be one of his new songs. A rock and a baroque. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Right. Are we really? Are we really? No. Right, Tom, Tom just said, right, we're going to get you now, right? Don't even worry. That's the first prize. We're starting here, so you know what that means. That means we are definitely not ending here. £89.99. pence. Now, why are they called rice pearls? Why are they in so much ore? So what rice pearls do, that these are from China, and when they first came onto the market in the 70s, there was a real excitement about rice pearls, and I should tell you for why. In China at that particular time, there was a huge demand, but there's not a big supply. Pearls are one of the most organic gemstones. They're not one of those gemstones that we can just turn around super quick. They are years and years in the making. However, eventually, eventually, when they are ready to be removed from that muscle, from that oyster, after a few years down the line, do you not just think it's worth the wait? Because eventually you end up with something so beautiful as those rice pearls. Absolutely gorgeous. And can I be honest with you now? Can I tell you something? No word of a lie. Today was the first time in the flesh that I actually got to see rice pearls. No word of a lie. I have seen, I've seen um, cultured pearls. I've seen, I've seen baroques. And... They're beautiful, they're quite large sizes, but the rice pearls are completely different. Look, you've got to let me try them on. Can I put them around my neck? Can I have a little look? Mike, I know I'm always moving you around. Right, we're going to do a massive crash. I'm going to have to, we're going to have to put a clock on. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, how beautiful are they? They are stunning. Because you've got that rice, you've got, because they're rice pearls, you've got that beautiful.
beautiful shape, completely different to Baroque, completely different to pieces I've been seeing over on Lifestyle, if I'm honest. And honestly, I've read about these pearls, never seen them in the flesh. Well done to everyone who's already checked out. We've not even, we're not even at the final crash. One thing I will say, Tom has promised me it's gonna be a crazy price. So, if you've got them in your baskets, if you're at the ready, and if you're happy to win that they're going on to eight to nine pounds and nine to nine pounds, check them out, get them ready. Are you ready? Right, here we go. Brand new strand. Three, two, one. These are your own brave freshwater rice pearls. Let's have a little look. <gasps> yeah, 29 pounds and 99 pound pence. Absolutely incredible. Incredible. Does Charlie Barron know we're working with these kind of prices? I don't think it'd be too happy. No, I don't think so. Right, so there you go, my darling. It's that ombre effect, that gorgeous graduation of that colour. And it's a rice pearl. How often do you get to say, I have got ombre, fresh watered, cultured rice pearls? And you get the most incredible strand. There are so many multi buyers. I've got to say, congratulations to South Yorkshire, Greater Manchester. Surrey, Altingham, East Sussex. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, do you know what? That's no word of a lie. You probably could. We're just saying about when you actually talk about value per pearl. I mean, wow. Do your research here. Yeah. Do you know what? You've got one, haven't you, Tom? Right. So obviously, it's not a direct comparison. These are smaller, these rice pearls, but still a rice pearl nonetheless. Look at the price in dollars. $68. And we are talking about way, way more. We're talking a whole strand full of ombres at £29.90. It don't feel right, does it? It does not feel right. Right, this is an early bird. This is my first ever. You, you guys have got to show me the ropes because this is my first ever early bird I've ever done. The lads have promised something special. We're going to pop on that another clock. I can see, honestly, I can't even count how many people have got to make baskets. Right, so let's take a little look. We are going to come and work our way down. If you're on the foot. Oh, I didn't, do you know, I didn't even see those. How bad am I? How bad? They're gorgeous, aren't they? They are gorgeous. How elegant are they? Rachel, do you love them? I mean, they must drop earrings. I mean, so, you just match two colours and they're so beautiful. Um, and they elegantly uh, elongate the design. Yeah. Um, and you have plenty in that necklace to be able to, when, once you've strung it up, yeah. um, to have your, your matching earrings to that's go with perfect. it as well. Rachel was just saying, like, that's the thing. And you know what, Rachel's so right, she's the expert. She said, do you know what though, with this amount of pearls, do you know what you could do? Could create those. Oh, oh, sorry. Create earrings. You still got enough left for your necklace or a bracelet. Right, we best. I keep thinking every time that it goes to zero. I think I don't know. I don't know. Maybe a pound, two pound off, five pounds off, five pound off, five pounds. Right, do you know what? I have been in so many costume jewelry shops throughout the years. I have seen so many fake pearls at literally forty pound. Rachel, it's true, isn't it? Like forty pounds. I know because they'll. Yes, because they can. They can charge it. Yeah. And people pay it because <laughs> they want the look. Here, we're saying, come and have the look with an ombre finish, but only it's a genuine gemstone. We work with one of the most world famous seventh generation pearl farmer, Charlie Barron. And you know, when we talk about ethically sourcing our pearls, and you know what, I'll be honest with you, and before I started, can I be honest with you? I used to think to myself in my mind, all oh, right, there must be deep divers that go onto the coral reef and do not take the, don't work like that. Does not work like that. These are cultured pearls. So these are from environmentally farm, um, environmentally friendly farms. And do you know, for me, if I know my pearls are coming from a good place, I'm happy as Larry I am. I'm happy as Larry. Right, 90 pounds, 99 pence. Can I just say it? Honestly, a massive congratulations. I can see so many of your names and it's, it's so lovely that you're all here and oh, enjoy them and wear them with pride, wear them with pride. They are stunning, aren't they? Do you know, have we really? Oh, well, that's all right then, for you. <laughs> for you. <laughs> Tom would just say, no, don't worry, we should have just enough to go round. And we have got Charlie Barron here tonight. It is 10 to nine already. How quick is this morning gone? <laughs> <laughs> Do 
Should we do it? Yeah. So Tom was just saying, we're going to have to get these gone because we're going to have to move on. What is, what is going on on Jury Maker? This is crazy. No, we're not. No, we're not. Tom, you can't put me through this. <laughs> <coughs> now, when we're talking about breaking it down, like Rachel says, you know, how beautiful would that be with a drop earring and then all your pearls left over using different ways? I do. This is not the same <gasps> pearls. But what I do is set them in, <gasps> make them into a necklace piece. So oh because you've got an elongated, because you've got an elongated um, pearl, yeah. you can set them into sort of floral patterns and things like that. Yeah. So you don't just have to string them; you can use them as as, as a wonderful jewellery, oh um, beads and jewellery. So, and that will make the strand go a lot further if you're um, if you're um, puffing them do in you know back what? as well. Can I be honest, Rachel? I didn't even think about doing that. In my mind, I thought, okay, I'll use a few for this, I'll use a few for that. But look what Rachel's done in the past. Now, these are different sized pearls. Different pearls, size, but, but easily scale it. Down. And the colours, I think the ombre colours, even better for floral, blossom, jewellery. I mean, they're beautiful colours. They're so good against the skin. They yeah, do. You know, they don't sort of... Um, bleach out your skin they just go with your skin they're they just match it Rachel yeah. this is incredible this yeah. is incredible I can't believe it look how careful I'm being with Rachel's pieces <laughs> no, okay. look at me I'm so excited I can't. Rachel I hope you've got something for me to try on later <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, £40.99 for a real organic, beautiful pearls. Can I just tell you all, can I say something, right? I want you all to promise me you're going to watch this programme. So on, on, on the BBC, the Queen, she did the most yes. amazing documentary mm. talking about her imperial state crown. There are four pearls in that crown. And do you know what she said? The biggest shame is... Pearls need to be worn. They are living. You've got to get them out. And she said the biggest shame about her crown is it's locked away for years. And the pearls, they don't live. They don't breathe. So she said, if you've got pearls, and this is what her majesty said, don't keep them locked away. Get them out of where are we pride. You've got ombre pearls. They're absolutely stunning. And do you know what? That yes, and any, any weddings coming up, absolutely I'd perfect. Multi strand as well, multi strand, build them up into three because at fourteen ninety nine you can build up three, you can buy three and make a, a triple strand necklace, and just it would look amazing. Do you know what? Own style. <laughs> Rachel, right, no word of a lie, I literally want to climb inside your brain and yeah. just be like taking all your ideas. <laughs> That's what we're here for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, and that's a good point, actually. If you have got any questions for our Rachel, she, we've got a foot day. We've got a foot, well, foot morning. We've got your foot morning, haven't we? We've got your foot morning, so you send those questions in. Right, I'd say you what, huge congratulations. Well done to absolutely everybody who is coming in. Now, if you have already got pearls, give me a message. Do you know what? Everyone is multi-buying. Are you multi-buying? Because you're thinking, like Rachel said, the different ways to use it. I'm just going to show you. Can I just show you that end as well? Because I want, I don't want you to miss out on a single colour. I do not want you to miss out on a single colour. There they are, my darling. Your beautiful ombres. And do you know what? The journey that they have been on, these have been selected they've been placed in that oyster they've had years and years of attention I'm, I'm not just talking about one or two i'm talking about every single one of them and in the end you end up with something iconic and stunning and versatile just like rachel said all the different things that you can do with them and do you know <laughs> Really? Tom said he took, was it Tom? Was it Tom or all he said that? <laughs> it's these Midlands accents. And do you know what? Honestly, Tom said he took them upstairs, you know, to the uh, to jewellery team upstairs. And they were all going wild, wild. And don't get me wrong, I love pearls. I love graduated pearls. But to be able to have that mixture of colours... It is a very, it's an amazing price. It's fourteen pounds ninety nine. I've seen costume pieces which are literally triple those. No word of a lie. My mum's got them. My mum's got them. And I say to mum, I says, don't bother now. I'm here at Gemporia. Right, account. Can I really? All oh, right, perfect. This will be funny. This will be funny. My numeric dyslexia. <laughs> Shocking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. That's what I turned last week. Well, not last week, but last month, actually. That's gone quick. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. 52. So, for 15 pounds, if we're actually doing the maths, well, if the lads are doing the maths, do you know how much that is per pearl? 28 pence per pearl. And like Rachel said, think of all the things that you can do with these. Think of how creative you can be with them. Whether you want to use them, whether you want to double up, if you're multi-buying, because you know what? I'm looking at the actual list now. Everybody is multi-buying two, three, four. Are you going to do what Rachel said? Are you going to make that beautiful triple strand? Are you going to use them into drop earrings? Are you going to try and create a bracelet to match? And do you know what? I know it's a bit of a cheesy saying, but the world is your oyster with these. <laughs> you can be creative with them. They're giving you those beautiful pieces. And do you know what? That's it, isn't it? I, I don't think I'd tell them. I have got so many pieces from Dampori before for gifts, and I just don't tell them how much I paid. <laughs> Just say no, keep it secret. Uh, welcome, Claire. Rachel Norris, love you to bits. So pleased to see you. Love Ella. Oh, thank you. Hello, thank you so much. Thank you so much, actually. Yes. Ella, are you <laughs> so excited? The, support, the messages that come in, I mean, they're so kind and supportive and you know, it's just a real boost, actually. When you need it most sometimes, it just lifts you. Thank you very much for sending that message in. Oh, that's lovely. That's, are you excited? Because do not forget, um, Rachel is going to be showing her booklet. Do you know what? It always seems, it always seems wrong saying booklet. <laughs> She's going to be showing a novel, more or less. Three incredible designs in a book. We're so excited. Right, is this our Ricky? Ricky with capitals. Are you, Ricky? All right, lovely. Good morning, our Claire. What a nice surprise. See you on GM. You're looking very glamorous today, as always. Ricky... I actually can't believe they've let me on. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> the, Ricky, we're normally talking at three o'clock in the morning, aren't we? <laughs> me and Rachel were up at motorway this morning at three o'clock this morning. <laughs> where, where? Uh, you're doing great, Claire. It's your first day on GM. And you're doing so well. I got to watch you early, Paul. Rachel, I've got to tell you, so Paul, in his home has created these beautiful sanctuaries you would love it candles oh. lots of chakra yes. honestly when we're talking about you know those homes that just have that real tranquil vibe mm. to them do you know what i mean yes. well actually i mean moving on the lifestyle channel does i must admit to having a few of the candles <laughs> and i've become obsessed with putting the candles on now and it actually just does calm me down yeah. so i'll light that candle and the beautiful flame and scent and i, I just love it actually so yeah, I've got a few of those. <laughs> it's beautiful. Do you know what, Rich? I've got, I've got to tell you a confession. My Chris, that's my boyfriend, he do not trust me with candles when he's not home. <laughs> I've burned them back on the wall once. So he's like, right, you can put your gem candle on when I'm back. <laughs> Right, Mandy. Hello, gorgeous ladies and fabulous crew. Hello, crew. I like that. Crew. Um, we're with our crew, Rachel. We're with our crew. Yeah, yeah, um, crew. Rachel, your jury is mind blowing and stunning as always. Yeah. Thank you. I've worked hard. I've worked hard on them, but um, I've been wanting to bring this design to JM for a long time, and and uh, so I'm so happy that. Well, I'm so happy to be here. Yes. Oh, I can't, honestly, <laughs> Sorry. I cannot. We're Aztec goddess. Yes. <laughs> celestial. We've got summertime and sunshine, and all, you know, happiness and, and warmth and things like that. And they're, they're, it's the fire of the sun and the warmth of the summer in there. I can't wait. You've been working on it for three years, didn't you say, Rachel? Um, yes. Well, I think this design I made about three or four years ago, and it's just come sort of around that we got the stones in and um, because the cabochons have been specially ordered in for the show um, and we've got the stones in all come at the right time. It's like conjunction of the planets all together and we've been able to bring this booklet um, to the show today. Oh, amazing. Now, do not forget that is at 12 o'clock. We've got John popping in at 11 50. However, however, I've got Rachel in literally two minutes to help me, because it's my first day. Rachel's literally going to teach me as much as she can in an hour. <laughs> No. But I'm afraid we're going to have to be checking out these pearls now because, my goodness, I, I'd be here all day for us listening to everyone who's managed to get it home. Let us know. Give us a message. What's your plans with them? Incredible low price. Trust me, I've worked with pearls for a long time. 
I've never seen this kind of price with pearls. Right, so Rachel, we've got you now for our next, our next uh, hour, haven't we? Yes, yes, looking forward to it. And I haven't worked with Elastic for um, a few years, so I was le relearning things and, and exploring the sort of potential. Amazing, so. we'll do it together. Right, go and get a cup of tea, go and get a croissant. I'll see you back here in a minute. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. After the success that we had last Monday with my Jewelry Vault Raider show, we are back for more this Monday at 11 a.m. I have just come back from the Jewelry Maker warehouse. I've been in there since about half past eight this morning. It's now just after midday, and I have got for you an even better, dare I say it, an even better selection than I had last week. When was the last time you saw Alexandrite here at Jewelry Maker? Well, I've got three strands for you. The last three strands in the building. I've got Star Garnet, Amalobi Sphinx, Pink Sapphire, some of the most beautiful column consite, and many more pieces to bring you. But I'll say it once again. If you want to get some of the most irreplaceable pieces that you can find in the Jewelry Maker Vault right now, then come and join me this Monday at 11 a.m. for one of our beautiful Vault Raider shows. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. over i've moved over because we have got the most amazing guest 
If you have just joined us, sit down, get comfy. My name is Claire and it's my first day and we have got none other than the expert, Thank Rachel Norris. Oh, it's just so, it's so nice to be with you. It really is. It's a real joy, actually, um, because you welcomed me. You were happy and, and just welcoming. First thing we, um, you said was, hello, I'm so pleased <laughs> to see you. And it was just, oh, I thought, you're going to be love. You're lovely, actually. No. Aren't you good? Rich, yeah. I've got to be honest with you, right? <laughs> I don't want you to think I'm a stalker or anything like that. <laughs> I was stalking Rachel's Facebook last night. And I was showing my partner, my, my Chris, um, you had, it was a design you did a while ago, and it had fish on it, oh, right? Yes, Beautiful. Yes, yes. And I showed, now my partner, he, he won one for jewellery, no word of a lie. And I showed him your piece and he's like, oh my gosh, Claire, I love it. And you know what today is? is? Today is National Fishing Day. Is it? Oh, <laughs> oh I'll have to get them out then. I've got, I've got them here. You've got me, you've got women. <laughs> oh my. I oh, love my fishing. <laughs> There you go. Oh, I haven't got my big. Day. I have a big koi carp. Um, I didn't bring that one, <laughs> but yeah. That, Rachel, I thought you had a real koi carp. I was going to say, oh, you've not brought it to the studio. Uh, We've not got a paddling pool. What, what fish is that? Then? Is that, <laughs> that is a carp. That is a that carp. Is a carp. I, I love my fishing, and it's National yeah. Fishing Day, and it's I National will. Picnic Day. They don't. Mm. They just make them up for anything now. <laughs> <laughs> they just make them up for anything. So, Rachel, I've been doing a little bit of research. I've been yes. looking into pieces now. I understand that. Just for you had a little one, mm. this was a hobby to start off with, wasn't it? Yeah, totally. What, what was um, the moment where you just thought, you know what, you know what? I'm going to do I it. I bought so much jewellery, <laughs> I thought I've got to <laughs> make some myself. And, I, and um, I thought, I want to make some. And I was pregnant with my third child and I was on maternity leave and jewellery maker started when I started my maternity leave. So there it was. I had, I didn't, I don't have that much free time when you've got a baby, but, but <laughs> there was enough free time for me to tune in and be inspired. Um, and I posted on Facebook page and they said, oh, that's quite nice. Um, come along. And they had a, something called a Sunday sofa <laughs> in those days. And you came along and you um, sort, of, sort of made a few things. Uh, and, and I got asked back and then asked back again. And it was, and it's been... Gosh, about 10 or 11 years, I think. That's amazing. Gosh, it's been lovely. Nearly from the start, but not quite the start. But um, And my skill, because being on Jewelry Maker makes you've got to work hard. You've got to work hard. You've got to, to make these designs, and you've got to make them to the highest possible standard. That's pushed me and pushed me and pushed me, made me learn and made me develop. And um, I've enjoyed every part of this pathway as much as, you know, everyone, you know, it really has been amazing. Really lucky to be on and... I've got um, to ask you now, if you do. started this when you, when you were pregnant with your third one, how old's your third one now? <laughs> it's nearly 13, it's going on 13. <laughs> yeah, look how amazing so 12, 13. it's become. And um, I do NHS work, so I'm a vascular clinical scientist, so I do vascular ultrasound in my other world. And this takes the stress, because it can be stressful, and then I just, and if it gets to a stressful point or a patient hasn't turned up, or, and you're, sort of, you're normally pacing, thinking I've got to do... Um, and then my head pops in a design and I'll jot it down and when I get home I'll, you know, so it, it takes away some of the stress. Do you know what, honestly, Rachel, I'm not just going to say this, no, honestly, and I think for me, people who I find inspirational are people who can create, who can imagine this design and then bring it to life and that is exactly what you've got. Now we're going to have to get started. Let's, let's get going. Got, we've got loads of, loads oh, of actually. This yeah, is yeah. amazing. We've had a lovely chat. Honestly, actually, we could have we could talk forever. We re honestly, we're gonna have to go for a pint, aren't we, one night, just to catch up? Right. So, Rachel, I am completely new to jewellery making. Right. So, this is a really good place. I to could start. not be in the better. I could be in a better place, could I? Because actually, the very first things I made was just threading things on in a line, and then it's the artistry of pairing colours and textures and metals together. So we've got some lovely kits with really lovely colourways in them, and there's sort of warm tones and cool tones and mid-tones in there, and you can mix and match through. There's also different diameters of elastic, so as we go through each kit, we can talk about that as well. Amazing. Now, honestly, I have seen, and this is what I found quite fascinating, it wasn't until I came over to the Jemporia family that I saw this for the first time, because I have seen stretch bracelets before mm. and normally I have just seen I'll be completely honest a plain white elastic underneath right yes and don't, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that no. 
no. But not. if you have... I always think about covering it up, but then I'm thinking, yeah. oh, I've got to cover it up. So you this don't have it. to. Because if you've got such an incredible gemstone, and I mean, especially... Oh, you know, you know yeah. especially when we're talking about amethyst. I mean, what, oh, it deserves to have that attention, John Do you know yes. what I mean? Yes, and also look what they do when you sell sold that gemstone as a strand, yes. you've got a coloured thread running through it. So it's exactly the same sort of technique you're, they're Amazing. using is to bring the colour of the stone through in the, in the, in the thread. So we need the same to, to, to do that when we're making jewellery too. So having the elastic um, enables you to bring through the colour from one stone to the other in the same, in, in the thread you're actually threading it on. And actually yeah. it can light the, the stone up from inside. If you've got a, a stone that's um, letting light through, you can actually um, improve or change the colour yeah. by putting the thread through it or yeah. the elastic through it. No, do you know what, honestly, it makes sense. And I know it sounds something, it's something so small, really. But then when you get that final result, and I'll be honest with you, I never, ever, ever for a second even thought about it until I started seeing bracelets, stretch bracelets yeah. with it. And you just think to yourself, mm. oh, we should have been done this. Well, it's, it's, just, it's <laughs> just so therapeutic, threading them on, um, choosing what colours you want to put next to each other. And you, you could basically have a box of, of your stones that you've used up everything else in the strand you've got one or two and then you can put them next to each other and have really good fun sort of um you know thinking of design um and i forgot what i was going to say next because <laughs> we've been too well. busy gossiping it's because we've been too busy gossiping now in terms of size are these 10 mil they're both 10 mil so you've got your rose quartz and you've got your amethyst i mean when we are talking about some of the most amazing gemstones you know rachel i don't have time because we've only just met Yes. The thing that I love, I love mystery. I love mystery. And amethyst, mm. please tell me. Did it, I don't know if anyone's like, Bridget, uh, Bridgerton, did you see the amount of amethyst they oh, used? Oh, no, I didn't. It, no. <laughs> it was, I mean, don't get me wrong, I know we all watch Bridgerton for another reason. <laughs> but the jewellery was gorgeous. Lots of you checking out there on this kit. And do you know what? Do not think for a second. I know you've checked out. That's not your price. You know how jewellery maker works. We are not going to be staying there. We're popping in that clock. And do you know what? Let me bring these up for you now. Here we go, my darling. So there is your elastic. So you get, you're not going to believe this, you get 40 metres of all of that together. And look at the shades. Rachel, they're beautiful. They're yeah, fantastic, they? actually. Um, fantastic elastic. <laughs> <laughs> fantastic <laughs> elastic. But, um, and, they, and it's strong enough. It's the, it's the one mil in this kit. I didn't get this one, but um, it's got beautiful colours in. I actually had them in a thinner... Um, in the other kits, you've got a thinner one as well. So you've got this wonderful strength as well from the one millimetre. Um, and so you can put quite these heavy stones on, um, you know, and it'll yeah. stand up to it. Because rose quartz can be quite heavy. Gemstones mm. can be quite heavy, yeah. so you're going to need something to know. That's really going to stand up to it. That's yeah. But you know what surprised me? Because obviously it's my first day. Honestly, the price, £24.99. And this is 40 metres. I mean, you all out there... You do crafting, you do jewellery making, and you know the kind of prices that are out there on the market. And when we come to the prices that we can do at Jewellery Maker, you just think to yourself, why, why would you go anywhere else? No, and it will stay in your stash for ages, you see. So you've got those um, and you've got them ready for yeah. use. You can have them on your workbench and, you know, in a, ready. And they're ready for use, you see. Okay. And the colours are inspirational as well, so you can use them and... Well, you and me, we've got a bit of purple eyeshadow on, haven't we? So we're rocking the purples. Now, honestly, if you have just joined us, we are so excited to have Rachel. We have got Rachel for the morning, and then do not forget, at 12 o'clock, we've got her booklet and all her beautiful designs. But we've got to, we've got to wait, we've got to be patient. Because <laughs> Rachel's teaching me a thing or two today. I have never seen these before. I have never worked with these before. Give us a message, though. Let me know if you've created pieces of jewellery, or if you want to ask Rachel about how to use them. However, I have got to say, I have got so many of you who have already checked out. Huge congratulations. Do not think for one second this is where we are stopping because it's absolutely not. We, are they really? Oh, right, Ollie just said, Ollie and Tom just said, literally the phone lines are going crazy. It's because our Rachel's here. <laughs> right, so my darlings, lots of you adding this to your basket. The kits. The, yeah, exactly, exactly. It's crazy, isn't it? Crazy. So you've got those four different pieces. Rachel, 
I've seen some of the pieces you've done with elastic. Can we well, have a... Where's uh, it's over there. It's, it's also, actually, that was the thing I was going to say, is yeah. if you've got a metal allergy, you know, um, actually, there's a lot of jewellery people who love making jewellery and wearing jewellery, and they can't mm -hmm. wear any metal next, next to their skin. So this would be a great alternative. You know, you're making a piece. That's why I deliberately didn't put any... And some of them, I haven't put any metal in at all. Um, some I have. But it's, it's just to show that you can make up a piece and... And it's for all ages as well. All ages can wear it. And you don't have to worry about your bracelet length so much because you can, you know. Oh. And But it's metal energy. You, you could then you make Honestly, up a piece for somebody that didn't like that. I didn't even think about that. Because yeah. for me, in my mind, it was other design. It was managing to, you know, blend it through with those gemstones. I tell you what, in terms of thinking about people, especially if you're going to be making Julia, if you're going to be gifted, Think about things like that because they make such a huge, huge, huge difference. £19.99. pence, And I've got to say, everyone who's managed to get them home, well done, my lovelies. I see you multi-buying. We've got lots of different kits coming up. So in terms of colour... Yes. We've got, so we've got some good options, oh, haven't we? Yeah. Lovely tones, we've got lovely some tones. Options. Yes. And that's what we're all about here. So if you have just joined us, come and, come and get comfy with us. We've got Rachel with us for the morning. What we're doing with this next hour, we are working through all the incredible, incredible coloured elastics. So, are you really? <laughs> right, the lads are saying, in me, you know, they're saying, our Tom and Ollie, they say, you know what, Claire, right? It's your first day. You, you made it here. <laughs> We're going to... You're not, are you? Right, he says, Claire, I'm going to give you a very special... Good, good Welcome to the show. <laughs> Introductory first prize. Another drop. We're going to do another drop. So I'll tell you what, if you've already checked out and you sat at home with your cup of tea watching Telebox, you must be thinking to yourself, this is, this is, this is crazy. This isn't right, isn't it? I have actually been in craft shops before. Because I do a lot of scrapbooking. Yeah. The oh, prices yes. Yes. you can individual, pay. Individual spools and things. Yes, it's, it's nice. so expensive, yes, isn't it? it? Is Real expensive. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. So great. And you've got the gemstones. You've got two massive strands of massive gemstones. It, honestly, <laughs> honestly, honestly, why am I not over here on jewellery making my work? <laughs> this is actually nuts. If, honestly, if I brought that amethyst at £10, can I just say how crazy everyone were going? We've not just got that. Look at all of your pieces. You get all four. You literally get all four. And look at the colours. You've got that beautiful, beautiful purple moving in. It's more of a lilac tone. Moving into that heavier, deeper, darker purple. Very romantic. Then you're moving into more of that hot pink. And then... Do you know the rose gold mm. pink? Baby pink. Baby yeah. pink. Sugar pink. Baby. Hey, Rachel, mm. my friend's just yeah. gone into labour today. Oh, God. Oh, oh, Christy, God. I know. <laughs> <laughs> right, so there you go, my darlings. Well done to everybody who's getting them home. I'll tell you what, you must be sat there now, proud as punch, thinking, oh, my goodness. I need to, you'll mm. be ready to get crafting. Yeah, I think straight away when you get these, yes. Do you have that feeling? Mm. You know, when the postman comes mm. and you're at the ready to start mm. crafting? I need to, yes. I need to make it with it straight away. <laughs> I bet the kids just like, Mum! <laughs> right, we're going to have to carry on. Well done, everyone. Right, they are all on pre-order. So, if you already want to get ahead and you want to go and check out, go for it. Otherwise, one thing I will say is if you like the surprise of bringing it up, that's what I like. I like the surprise, mate. Oh, the oranges. Mm. The oranges. Oh, here we go. Same colour yes, as me, yeah? They're such warm <laughs> tones, actually. They're beautiful, actually. All of them wow. are lovely. Autumnal, but also just warm, hot, um, warm summer evening tones. <gasps> lovely. They are. Do you know, honestly, and no word of a lie, when it comes to earth tone colours, do you not just think they are the easiest to match with ever? <laughs> yes. Right, there we go, mm. my darling. So, this this is my kind of kit. This is my kind of kit. You know I love my outdoors, I love my fishing, I love my earth tones. So, now, I'm going to pop show you. I'll show you all three of them. Right, are you ready? So... Why is earth tone such a key, key colour? You know, we are talking about versatility. When you want to mix and you want to match, when we're talking about the colour spectrum, so let's actually just take a moment. You can go from that really almost heavy autumn reds to those oranges, to those honey tones. I mean, it's, for me, this is like, this is my dream colour palette, Rachel. Yeah, it's, it's sort of... Um, <laughs> But also the phoenix, the barbecues, the sort of the, the flames and the, the, the warmth as well. It's, it's 
um, a lovely, as you say, lovely palette to use. It is, and I just think, and everyone always thinks, oh, autumn, no, 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 no. I wear these. I love, I, I love autumn. I love autumn. Oh my God, I, my screen savers, <laughs> Halloween. And do you know what, honestly, one thing I will say, with these kits, do bear in mind, we do have, oh, Let's have a look. It's supposed to be $24.99. No, no, no. Not today. This is my first short. We've got our Rachel back with us. The lads are doing something incredible for we've us. We're going to be matching it. Oh, we got strands. Ruth. Strands. Yeah, you got a message, Rachel. Rachel, those Aww, bracelets are beautiful. You. Thank yeah. you. We've got loads. I mean, you know, we've got. Yes, yeah. she's good. In, she's <laughs> good, isn't she? <laughs> She's good. I can't believe it, Ruth. I actually, I get to sit here and have a play with everything. <laughs> right, so there we the go. Let, let's, have you seen the price? <laughs> I know, I know. This is because it's my first day here. They, they're giving me these, they're giving us these treats, Rachel. Amazing. We've timed it well. Now, let's actually, can we have a little look at the colour of the stretch cords themselves? We have got, oh, yeah, there you go, my darling. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Right. That's my fault, that. King is... <laughs> Do you know what? I'm so happy, Kinga. It's you and not me. It's usually me knocking oh. everything over. <laughs> is that you? Okay. <laughs> We've got butterfingers, haven't we? Butterfingers. Right. Would you be knocking stuff over at Ollie? Yeah, I bet. Right. £16, 99 pence. Do you know what? On the very first show, I dropped the whole wheel. We had a wheel of jewellery. I dropped the whole wheel. We're still I can missing that. I imagine doing opal. that myself. I would do oh, that. Terrible. Too. Right, we're going to have to carry on. The time Beautiful. is of the essence. Yes, because that's yeah, that's gorgeous. three strands. Three strands within that kit, and the fiery colours. They're fantastic. Unbelievable. And I'll go with gold. So you get um, put, pair it with gold. So gold um, metallics and and gold beads and jump rings really and things. Nice. Yeah. Some cool tones. Are we going to go for the beautiful? Oh, this is lovely. These have got the smaller cool, small elastic. The smaller elastic. Yeah, so it's just lovely. Oh, oh no, we're going for cool. Oh, sorry, my the... darling. I got the wrong one here. <laughs> me, me and Rachel are talking about the wrong one. <laughs> now, easily one of the most popular this is going to be. Blues and greens. Do you know we're talking about popular gemstone colours? Do you know blue? Blue, in terms of gemstones, always the most popular. Always. Right. Oh, you know, I love the green as well. I tell you what, I'll go though with that green gold, with the with the brown pieces that we just had, you know, for those earthy tones. So I think you can mix and match quite happily with these. Yeah. You definitely can. Exactly. Rich, I've got to ask you now. Yeah. Go on, what's your favourite colour? What's your oh, favourite colour? Gosh, I, I know. Well, You're a jewellery designer. I, I Well, I always tend to go for, um, I like labradorites and I like turquoises and blues and I also like violets and deep purple so um you know so it doesn't really matter I love all of them <laughs> <You're>, I <laughs> should not ask you that question you're question. working with to be honest <laughs> but um I, those again pair surprise they pair really well so you've got literally this is na nature you've got the green grass and you've got the blue skies the f um, white fluffy clouds in there so you're really wearing a sort of um a nature scene on your on your arm it's su such a lovely palette lo lovely palette cool tones fresh colors and they, they work really well together well honestly rachel i've literally just had her message now no word of a lie i've just seen it on the screen out of all of our amazing kits so far, this by Fowler, it's our most popular, Rachel. It's our most Thank popular. You. So, you know, I tell you what, honestly, if you've just come in on a Saturday morning, you're thinking, what is going on? The studio is going crazy. <laughs> The gents, the gents in the studio today, I say, you know what? It's Saturday. This is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing some Saturday specials. We've got Rachel back. It's Martha's Day. So come on then. They're going to bring it on. We've got that clock on there. Everyone's coming together. If you have just joined us thinking, well, what is it we actually are talking about here? So let's take a little look because we are looking at our elastic stretch cords, the colours. You first have that almost neon touch, just that green. Then you get that nice forest earthy yes, green. Sweet. That's my favourite, that one, Rachel. And then that sea blue. It reminds me of, you know, the sky blue topaz? That would go really nice, sky blue topaz. And then you're working down to those darker blues. And as Rachel, you, she was saying, you know, when you're putting them through those gemstones, it makes such a difference, yes, it doesn't does. it? Yes, it does. It just follows from stone to stone. You'd have no separation. It just takes it through. And the bracelet. Rachel, and we've got even lower on price. <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> absolutely fantastic. <laughs> 
Shepherds. I don't even, I don't even have enough time in this hour to read out every name who is checked out. But I've got to say a huge congratulations. That postman's going to be coming in a few days and you are literally going to be buzzing. Rachel, you created this yes, piece, didn't you? Did. Do you not Again, think it's so similar, the colour palette? Can I show you what Rachel made? That's it. Again, that's using the, um, the same chords. I just could me, he made sing the single... Um, I mean, obviously, this is a Kumihime board, and I've doubled up because these are the, the um, um, thinner elastic cords, but you can just Kumihime with them. You can plait them. Mm. You can, you know, do all sorts of other things, but you can also just simply <laughs> thread them on. And this is a Japanese braiding it, technique? It's, it? Yes, it is. And um, if we've got time, I can just show you so quickly how to do it. Oh, so, my you know, gosh. Just a quick, quick yeah, I hope we've got time for that later. Yeah. Do, you know yeah. what, what I used to, do you know what one of my jobs was, Rachel, once? I used to work as a Viking. <laughs> <laughs> and we used yeah. to teach the kids and we had yeah. a very similar, not yes. as complex as yes. that, it was a bit more of a basic one. We used to have them for kids, you know, they used to make the bracelets with yes. them. Because yes. obviously trading back then, you know, if you had a skill, you were... And the Viking, the Viking net actually is what, something that um, I think Laura Binding um, taught, brought to the channel. And it's an ancient sort of um, braiding technique used by Vikings. They used to braid it and then chop the braid into bits as money. So that's, and you're buried with it as well. It's made out of gold, of course. But. Nice. There you go. Tom, that's an idea for you. Me and Rachel want to do a show where we, <laughs> you're going to be dressed as Vikings. I'm going to be doing some Viking yeah, jewellery. Get some amber, get some amber <laughs> and things like that. Yes, yeah, amulets, <laughs> definitely. Honestly, Rachel, it's my first show and look at me, I'm already demanding. Oh, and I'm putting, and I'm putting stuff away. I'm already <laughs> demanding what the next show, who do I think I am? Right, my darlings, we're going to have to carry on. I've got to be honest with you, there is a, Crew, there is a crew. There's a crew. Yeah, there's a crew. There's also a queue. <laughs> there you go, Kinga. You're not going to drop this one, are you? <laughs> Right, there is a queue, there is a queue, my lovelies, so do bear with us. I've never seen so many names on a board in my life. Right, pink to make the boys wink. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> well, I can't see if you're winking, lads, can I? You're in the gallery. <laughs> they say funny, aren't they? Right, excited. What do we think about this colour palette, Rachel? Again, uh, the, it's such, such a beautiful... And as you can see on the VT there, the sparkle of, of these um, stones as, you, as they turn on that turntable. They are faceted, and so they catch the light. So they're beautifully... beautiful, be beautiful And the colours, because they're all the same tone... Well, there's, like, a mid-purple, there's a pink, and then there's a darker purple. That's, that's so beautiful. It goes yeah. together really well. And you've got the thinner cord in the kit so that will fit through, and you just need... Um, sort of beading needles really with collapsible eyes um, I think JM has sold them um, and you can get these collapsible eyes and they'll go through the the beads nicely so um, that's what you need and that will help you get them through you can thread them through by hand it'll just take you a bit longer um, but if you you can make, get some of these collapsible eye needles that'll really help and you just said it was a thinner cord. Yes. So that's key, uh, isn't it, when we're working with, yes. with different gemstones, yes. to think the, about that. You don't have a one mil drill, drill hole through these little stones, and actually yeah. it just means... And also, because I, um, I just ran out of time, but you can do probably ladder weaves and things like that with it a bit more Perfect. easily. With If you pick some with larger stones, you can use this cord to do a ladder weave yeah. because you've got the space to fit two cords through. That's and build up larger right. bracelets that way as well. So there's the potential when you're using these thinner um, elastic um, uh, cords for all those other designs, which I'm so sorry I didn't bring you today. <laughs> Rachel, you, you brought enough do. pieces, don't worry. No, but that's really interesting. And you know what, can we talk about the pearls? Because I know with pearls we can, you know, because I've seen drill holes yes. in pearls. They're mm. quite small, aren't they, the drill hole? You know, you can feed it through. I think you've just got to try, when you get your pearl, just try it and see if it fits through. And if not, you can ream the pearls as well to make them a bit bigger. Know, to get fit and through. But you know, I'm not being funny. At these kind of prices that we've had, if you want to just have that versatility, because I know you've all got kits at home, I know you've got your jewellery making kits. Rachel, do you not mm. think it's so important to have a mixture of different colours and different sizes? So you've got totally. that versatility. I totally. So I've never had the, this narrow grade gauge yeah. um, el elastic before, so that was really nice. Absolutely incredible. Right, let's have a little look at the different colours here. Let's have a little look. So you've got, again, that baby pink, you're going to get three strands. You've got that hot pink, and then we're moving into those purples. So Let pink. me bring up the strands for you as well. That this means is you can use annoying. it, sorry, with the other kit. So you can combine the two kits that with the same um, colourways of elastic absolutely if you want to amazing. as well. So, yeah. 
Rachel, have you seen what they've just done on the price? You, literally, is this That's like a special good. treat because me and Rachel are here? <laughs> That's five pound a strand, three yes. stretches and the elastic's yes. free. I mean, do you know what, honestly, when we are talking about exceptional prices, that's that's the kit. There is the kit. Absolutely amazing. And do you know what? And I know lots of you are the same. So, if they really? Ollie just said, oh yeah, I've got to look at this screen. I always forget. You know what I'm like when me and Rachel get talking. Multi-buying, absolutely incredible. The first 50, gone. Like that, like that. The price came in 30 seconds ago. We started We started at 24 pounds 99 didn't we? Brought it down to £14.99. So one thing I will say, if you've just come to join us and you're thinking to yourself, do you know what, Claire? I've been dying for a new hobby, like Rachel did yes. years when you had to be having your first making child. stretches. I mean, it's so lovely, actually, so easy. But, and actually, it's an art form in itself because you're creating a colour... Um, palette around your wrist and it is an art form in itself actually exactly. making would well, you know what i was thinking rachel no word of a lie my sister's getting married my younger sister i know <laughs> i know it's, it's embarrassing isn't it? i've been with my fella 10 years he's not even asked yet rachel we won't even get started on that <laughs> but um, one thing i will say is do you know what if you get in if you've got events if you've got weddings if you've got birthdays anything like that coming up and you want to make your own jewelry you want to make your own creations do you know, I cannot think of a better way than making your own pieces. Mm. Do you oh, know yeah, what I mean? and also you've bought something and you've got nothing to go with it. Um, you've got colourways that you can just throw together, throw together really quickly, oh, and you can pop that. Um, you can get it done and then out the door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just I love how quick Rachel could it. Rachel's a prop. <laughs> Rachel's just like. Chur, chur, chur. <laughs> I've got a new outfit. I'm on my way out, love. There you go. Right, my lovelies. Huge congratulations. We've got all across the country is and and and, and across seas. <laughs> I'll tell you what, no word of a lie. You know, since they told me I was coming on jewellery makeup, I've been looking a lot into different prices, points, especially when we're talking about your essentials. And do you know what, if it were me, I'd get a few different kits. It's one postage and package. You get it home. Like Rachel said, you got your new top, you're ready to go out, you need some matching jewellery, whip it up. And it is, like you said, it's an art form in itself. And it's amazing to just have it all there ready for you. Right, are we ready for the next colour? Yes, and there's, oh God, uh, as I say, there are, there's some cool and warm coming. That's lovely. Is that what we're coming to next? Should we go for the cool or the should warm? We, should we, should we, should we, oh, are we doing cool? I think, cool? Uh, are we doing cool? <laughs> I think we're doing cool. I think we're doing cool. Oh, I, Rich, I love the way you even just describe it. It's the cool mm, one. The it's the cool one. I like it. It's making me want to go on holiday, Rachel. <laughs> Hey, I'll tell you what, that's a good idea though. Mm. Are any of you getting these kits because you're going on holiday and you're thinking, do you know what? I want to make my own jewellery. I don't want to copy yeah, it. Yeah, that's another so thing. I, um, um, the ability to wear these in a beach environment and things like that is, is I mean, I made the mistake of, take, of swimming with one of my <laughs> pendants on by mistake because I live in Cornwall. I just went and see, oh no. And it corroded all the copper at the end of each jumping no. because I didn't wash it properly and and so you, you <laughs> so you can go yeah. out and wear sun creams and things like that not worry about so much about um, corroding metal and things that's like that perfect. that's perfect do you know what I literally can I just say I love the fact that Rachel has just said do you know what in Cornwall we can run to see my local sea's Blackpool Rachel <laughs> you don't want to go in that one <laughs> Rachel don't get wrong it's good for a yeah. corner chips but not for swimming <laughs> I'll tell you what we have got. Here's a piece that Rachel has already made for us. Are you honestly? This to me, this is artistry. It's so Rachel, it's yes. beautiful. Yes, and it just shows the colour tones together because on the reel, well, actually, it's pretty close actually to, on the reel um, to the actual colours you're going to see, um, especially when you sort of bring them together like that, and they all sort of um, bring the colour tone together. And they are, they all go well together. They're beautifully matched actually as tones. Um, you know, blues and greens, they're fantastic together. Um, and again, you've got the faceted, the faceted tones of those blues and, they, and that, that sparkle as well. And the elastic has its own luminescence, its own, you know, it's, it's, different, it's different to cord. I mean, you could make a corded, but it hasn't got that stretch. And uh, so that, I mean, I know I put a clasp on this, um, but, you know, most of the time it's, designed to be a stretch you brace it without a clasp on it so you can um, have it enclosed in the wrist and you just literally put it on really easily but I just wanted to show what you could do with the with elastic as well amazing no 
right to them. All right then. Right, there we go. So yeah. honestly, so literally all you've done, Rachel, when I yes. say all, oh, is um, with these, you've created mm, mm. something as beautiful as this. And honestly, do you know why I'm so glad you brought it? There's because no gemstones in it, you know. There's it's no gemstones. Yeah. Mm. As, a, as an actual piece of jewellery, mm. and because when the light catches those different colours, take it from that to that, use the elastic just as a feature. Don't worry about gemstones to be able to create from this to that. We've gone even lower, £12.99. Rachel, this yeah. is amazing. Thank you. This Thank is you. beautiful. I've got to try it on. Is that all right, Rachel? Yes, I feel yeah. like I'm just taking over your jewellery. Yeah. Literally, how now, terrible What you need I? to do is finish off the plait is a ribbon end clasp, and I've got some in my stash from ages ago. Oh. Uh, jewellery maker, I haven't got any in... Um, stock at the moment but it, it's um, a ribbon end clasp you need to look for oh. and I know that they'll bring them back oh the yeah time. oh yeah it's just um, you know, and they had a lot of them in the past so I had loads of them um, and so you just literally clamp it like it's like a, a, a book <laughs> and it has it with teeth <laughs> and you just literally <laughs> clamp it on the edge so glue the end of your plait yeah. and then clamp this little a ve very ribbon glamorous yeah. very glamorous <laughs> right so my yeah. darlings if you are here if you've just come to join us and you're thinking okay what is going on so rachel's literally because it's my first day and i'm still learning rachel's been telling us all about how to use the stretch elastics so I know we've been talking about how to use them with gemstones, but now we're even saying, look at the designs without yeah, gemstones. Yeah. Even if you're starting off right at the beginning with a simple plait and you want to give it a go in terms of a kit, for, especially for, and I'm not just saying this just for starters, but your first yeah. attempt at it, you cannot go wrong. And for those of you who have been doing it for a while, you want that versatility, use a morning, use an hour like this, get stocked up, get your colours, get your colours and get everything ready. Now, I've got to say, when we brought this one, the lads, well, the gentlemen in the studio were very excited. I can hear, I can hear them now. I can hear them now. They're literally... Oh, so excited. Now, Rachel, you've mm. used these in a bracelet and you've used them in a necklace, haven't you? I right. Have. So, um, <laughs> there we are. So, we, again, um, have used these wonderful sort of um, warm, rich fire. I mean, this is fire embers of, of a, a fire, um, a barbecue, uh, <laughs> things <yeah>. like that. <laughs> um, there's wonderful warm tones and they go, again, just go really well together. So... Um, again, in a bracelet, you can stretch. You can have one strand on a, on a yellow, one strand on an orange, one strand on the deepest sort of um, mulberries and, and uh, you know raspberry colours in there. Um, and you know, so you can follow that through. That actually makes it sort of quite nice to work with as well. Oh. Um, I've also braided, oh, sorry, sorry braided the slightly thicker one. But um, if you look, I've used it to hang the sun pendant from. Um, and if you look at that, it's, it's a bit wibbly, wiggly because it's been in the box. But <laughs> you can, yeah, and it's stretchy, you see. So, but yeah, I've made a Kimi Hemo braid, and it's really sort of warm. Sorry. Warm colour. Oh. Do you know what? Can I actually ask? Do you know with these elastics? Because we talked about the look. When they actually Sorry. feel on the skin, <laughs> what we like, it's my fault. They're moving all the set around. Poor Kinga's like, I've got it wonky on the bath, so there we are. So but the that's feeling. The what's the feeling yeah. like on the skin? Um, well, it's. It's just nice, it's fine. You know, it's a nice feeling. It's, it's um, actually, the tassels are very silky, so it's actually got a really soft, smooth feeling. Um, so it's not, not rough or anything. It's no. just really light, and it's a lovely feeling of it against the skin. So it's not, not a horrible feeling. It's yeah, because no word of a lie. That, I mean, that, like, <laughs> That. It's, oh, it's it feels fine, good. It? it feels good. I'm one of those weirdos when I'm doing a chain avalanche. I'm touching them, you know, the snake and the herringbone chains. Oh, I'm okay. like, oh, that feels, yes, it, is that it feels fine. soft. Yes. I mean, again, I mean? Um, yeah, when oh. you braid it, it might have a sort of harder feel, yeah. you know, but it's not horrible. It's sort of, it's probably softer than a, um, a cord when you're nice. doing a cord bracelet. So it's, it's nice. Again, it's nice to wear. Um, yeah. right, Rich, I'm getting one. Right, right I have got to say, right, a huge congratulations. Make sure I've seen lots of you, lots of you with peace in your basket. Get them checked out. They are going so, so quick. Right, Heather. Oh, absolutely loving these kids. Beautiful colours. Thank you. Heather, which is your favourite one? Let us know. Are you planning? You do like Rachel said. Have you got that outfit? Have you got something in mind? But if you are on the four lines, please do wait just a moment. We have been told there is a bit of a queue, but don't worry, it will get to you. Now, do we have a little bit of a... Should we have a play? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> so um, there are, there's lots of techniques. We may not get them through them all, but um, if not, I've taken photographs of some of the steps of some of the bracelets, so you know, so that you can make them. Um, mm -hmm. So, right, what can you do? Um, I'm going to quickly show you Kimi Himo first before I do some of these on the on the on the the stand. So I'm just going to take this away. Oh no, actually, you can just watch it here. Can you watch it there? So when you've got a Kimi, there's a Kimi Himo disc on the website. I think we've got a kind of starter kit for Kimi Himo. So if you look for it on the website, there is that there is a starter kit. So you've got a sort of Kimi Himo disc, and it's just north, south, east, and west. There's sort of four four um, um, stations. You call it and um, you can load up as many as you like um, chords and I've sort of, like tripled up the finer chords and you can double up the um, uh, thicker chords, the thick elastic or you can um, use um, single strands of each and I've used basically, actually what I'm going to do is take this one back um, you basically have, I've knotted, you can knot eight, eight groups and I've knotted them and glued them at, at the end. And you glue that so that it holds, holds strong, especially if you're going to cut a little bit further along when you actually sort of put them in your, any kumahima braid or whatever, any um, end cap or anything you use. So you put loads of glue there, so it won't undo. And then you've got eight. Um, I've started off already, so you can see the pattern that you're going to have. Um, and basically, I've written on my disc, left up, right down, clockwise. L-U-R-D-C-W. And I've written it on my disc, so I do the same thing every time, because I'm really basic Kumihimo. This is a basic Kumihimo braid, and there's loads of different patterns, but, you know. Ah, oh, there we go. So we've got a starter kit here. Wow. So I've loaded up um, um, the eight things. So, and two pairs at each compass point. Yeah, two at each compass point. So, left up, right down, clockwise, left up, right down, clockwise, and that's all you do. So remember, I'm just bring it up, left up, and I put it into the slot next to that pair there, right down, I'm bringing it this round and start to tangle it. <laughs> and that's why you've got the bobbins. The bobbins are great in that kit. You can, put, you can thread it all around the bobbins and have them dangling and it's much easier. Um, right down. So you've got, and then clockwise. So that's what you do. You keep on going. And if you have to stop, and the, t and the, and the kids, um, um, Jack comes in and says, I want hot chocolate now, mummy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> make sure you put three there so that you know where to go and nice. start. Because if you just basically... Um, leave the two you might get a little bit confused about where you need to start off so if you put it you can put it down as long as you've got the three there so you know that the next thing you've got to do is that right down so left up right down clockwise <laughs> so that's what I've written <laughs> because I'm so stupid I'll, I'll forget <laughs> so I'll put it there so and you just keep on going keep on going keep on going and when you get to the end and you can and make as long as you like because if you make too much you can chop it um, into no, you can chop yeah, chop it. Just make sure where you want to cut, you put loads and loads and loads and loads of glue, because I had an awful panicky point where I didn't have the right glue, and I put nail varnish on <laughs> and I cut it and it went. <laughs> <laughs> it was like everything, everything. everything. It's like an octopus's tentacles everywhere. So Amazing. put the glue on E6000, which is what you need, and leave it. To go well, walk away to, um, overnight <laughs> just and then cut away. it the next day and <laughs> cut it at the edge of the glue and see how it holds and and if you need to put more glue on just put more, more on and then clamp it I love that so you said all. earlier this is one I've just started I'm like wow <laughs> <laughs> it's that, not one I can ever do take you like 45 minutes to build up it's not that long no, but you know I and you can do it while you're watching tv like this this is why i scrapbook mm. i do it to unwind to mm. chill out when yes. chris is driving me mad do you know mm. what i mean i need to go and have some sand on my own in dining room so, so this is the starter kit that you can kit. use and it's really really useful. it's got some cord you, that comes with it wow. you've got a bag that goes with you get this as well mm. this is amazing you can just pop everything in here yes. right so 
And this is the piece itself, and exactly the same as the one you've just been using with yes. that north, south, east, west. And is this this is the glue you was just that special special glue? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a special glue, but it's really useful. special glue. <laughs> um, and if, not, if not, you can use E6000 or nail varnish, but that you got the glue. Yeah, the you glue. know what? Though? You've got everything mm. under twenty pounds. So if you've been watching, you're thinking, do you know what? I love what Rachel's having to go for that kind of price. And do you know even even this little bag? It's so useful. You would Pay, all in there pay a yes. just for a bag like that yeah. anyway you've got yeah. everything included and the bobbins you basically These are um, amazing. instead These of are having amazing. it all tangly like that you make it, you <laughs> make it nice and easy you can basically <laughs> wind it around the bobbin and then um, oh, you know, this so kit has thought of everything huge congratulations make sure we're checking out because you know what we've got another piece to see because my goodness we are not yeah. stopping there we are yeah, not stopping there come on what's overhead, next overhead overhead now so um, and I could show you plaiting, but to be honest, you, hopefully most people know how to plait. So what I'm going to do is show these more complexy things. Oh, so, oh it's my first day. We're starting <laughs> off on the yard stuff. Now, this is something, <laughs> a, a design that sort of Mark Smith and other people have brought to, to the lovely Mark Smith has brought to the studio. So, but we're doing it with elastic, and um, it's called. I think it's the goddess style. I probably got that wrong, but it's the goddess style. Isn't <laughs> it, it sounds good though, it's, doesn't it's it? Good. So you need two cords for that, um, and. You need two cords for it, and um, I'm just showing you. I've threaded it all on, but what we're really going to be looking at is this bit here. It's the starting point, so you, you won't have it all threaded on. <laughs> so you're <laughs> going to start at this beginning bit. So you put um, two long bits of elastic over two, two edges, or two, it could be two sides if you don't want to use loads of elastic, um, um, through these macrame boards. Or you can use T-pins and put a knot and I use a T-pin on another board, you know, on a court board, if you haven't got a macrame board, so you can knot it and then put a T-pin. We've got T-pins on the website as well. They're really useful um, for spacing and stationing things as well. So macrame boards, T-pins, um, you know, whatever. So I've got one bead on, say, a red cord, and then you thread two jump rings onto both cords, like that, like that. So. Um, probably better seen here. And the jump ring sizes are, I've got it here. Where did I put those jump rings? They are um, something like LDAZ48, and I can't remember what the size is, but it looks like, and you can make them yourself, but it's quite easy. It's so easy. J JM jump rings are so good because they're made, um, I think they're nine millimeter jump rings. Okay, you can make them yourself. So if you've got these step mandrels, you can make them yourself. So, and I might show you that in the second hour making jump rings, okay? So I'll show you how to make them with the set mandrels in the 12 p.m. hour. So we've got a bit oh, more time. Oh yeah, do, do not forget at 12. We're gonna, we've got quite an hour lined up with Rachel. So nine, <laughs> nine millimeter external diameter jump rings. Put a pair on, yeah, onto I've got both a... cords. <laughs> and then you put, you thread on um, a 10 millimeter jump string, um, jump, oh, 10 millimeter bead. <laughs> onto the other cord <laughs> and slide it up. Right. So you can see that the, if you zoom in this little camera here on the top, obviously um, you've, you've now getting a point where these can start to fit together and look like there's a little pattern forming. And it's got that gorgeous diagonal angle yes, on exactly. it. It's amazing, isn't and then, it? And then you thread two jump rings onto both mm. cords again and that, that pushes onto the other side of that other bead. Then you thread one bead onto the red so it's alternating wow. um, one bead onto one jump ring onto one cord elastic jump rings onto both <gasps> um, bead onto the other nice and then you story. just so on and so on keep it going oh. and you build up this pattern until oh. you've got this lovely lovely design like and that the colors the gemstones that you've picked how be, how right yes. are they they are so well they're similar i ran out of i ran out of gemstones so i'm not surprised similar. with all the pieces if you you've been use the um <laughs> if you use the green one and the soda light got some soda light mm. um, and the green that that'll be the same sort of design with that one you get so that's it and just when you make you're sure when you're knotting and I've, at some point i've got to show you how to do the knot but i'll go through this bracelet first 
and then we'll do a knot showing you how to make a knot and then you'll probably okay good. so basically just make sure when you knot this one you knot the red to red and the orange to orange and it really helps having the two different colors because i made the mistake of knotting the other way around the wrong red to what equivalent red to orange and the whole bracelet twisted so make sure you knot red to red and yeah. the orange to orange and you should be okay without it twisting round on itself which is what happened do you know what? When you brought that forward in, Rachel, no word of a lie, I was looking and I was thinking, there no chance I'm ever going to be able to create something we like see that. that's really, really therapy and easy. So yeah. just like now you're breaking it down. Um, this, I get it. It's bang, 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 bang. Do you know what I mean? This cord should fit through. Um, it fits through these larger gemstones. If you see this. So is that the drill hole The there? drill hole there. And it'll fit th thread through quite easily. Nice. So I didn't need to use a needle. To thread this this through that was fine um, but with the finer ones um you will need to use these little collapsible needles or you can just spend a bit of time and it does, you can get it through um, by hand it just takes a bit longer as i yeah. say yeah. so you don't need a needle necessarily so we've got that one done um and the so we've got that one done now we're going to work through this design here which is the um if i bring it in um I don't know what you call it, really. Had, uh, a uh, cheney, cheney bobbly design. <laughs> the cheney bobbly design. It's official. Uh, <laughs> it's been named the cheney bobbly design. <laughs> so need, you'll need some ato um, seed beads, and you'll need the seed light and the and the um, the jaspers from the, the jasper. From the oh, the I love the colours on jasper. Oh. And you'll also need some jewellery making chain, which <laughs> I have. Lost. If you have just tuned in with some. us, come and honestly, if you've got any questions ready there for is. Rachel, <laughs> the expert herself, I'm, I'm on a learning day. <laughs> so, um, you either use a T pin or, or a, a head pin, and we're going to cut uh, links with five links in. And these, this is, you'll probably have loads and loads and loads of this chain in, in um, JM Findings Kits, but if you look on the JM website, um, the Findings Kits usually have this chain in. And it's just the perfect sort of size for making this this and bracelet. So, um, you know, so basically what I was looking for is something that joined everything together nicely. So um, put the thread the chain onto a T pin. I'll go on the uh, front camera and then um, cut five links. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> and cut the sixth. OK, don't cut the fifth. You got that song in my head oh now. No. One, two, three, four, five. What's I got official? It is National Fishing Day, so oh. everything. <laughs> you've got that oh one. Oh my and that goodness! That one you use as a guide. Otherwise, I'll, I mean, luckily I wasn't counting more. I've forgotten all the numbers. Oh. So there we go. There, then you've got another one, and you can actually then just cut it next to that one. So just make sure, and it's really easy. Then you can just use them to. Oh, <laughs> you've got, oh, you've you've got, got you've got a steady hand than I have. Now I've got two. So basically, you go along and make as many as you need. But that is just a really useful measuring guide, and it? it just holds everything in. Keep it there, and you do the next one the same way. So then you cut them. So you cut your little lengths of chain. Yeah. There we go. And you might even have a little chain left over from doing things mm. with other jewellery projects. So don't throw it away because you can use it for this. That's such a good point. Do you not throw your chains away? And Nothing, how many times on like, Gemporian's things do we have? You know those chains well, that are like... Extender chains. Again, that's another way of making your pearls last longer. Or, you know, last longer. Make yeah. your pearl strand last longer. So you put an extender chain at the back and then it'll give you more spare for other... for the ring, the earrings and... And the bracelet. Yeah. So that's your lengths of chains. So you need um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, <laughs> sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two oh, well, bits of chain for an eight <laughs> for an eight um, inch bracelet. So twenty-two little chunks of chain. Wow. So now what we're going to do, we're going to overhead and we're going to just look at the pattern. So I've got three strands here. We can see them in. On. Have I got it? It's okay. <laughs> Three strands here, and I've done them different colours. So the outer red strands are the same, and the middle one is different. It's alternating. So on this first um, row, um, I put two eight o's and um, one of the jaspers and two eight o's on the outer. So that's how we go. And then again, because it, I've made it look easy by threading it all on already. <laughs> But basically, you just thread it all on. Um, so you thread this chain on next. So um, what I've done actually is pass a elastic 
Let's get a little bit of elastic through, just to show you how easy it would be. You just literally just thread it through. Can you see? And then all thread it through here, or thread it through here. So it's quite easy to thread it through. So you thread the outer wires through the end bits of the um, chain and the middle wire through that uh, middle link, the third one along. So you put that there. So you've got the chain there too. And the next one, the next row, again, is a little bit different. So we're just doing, what we're going to do is put the two beads onto the outer, the two big 10 mils, um, and then two seed beads in the middle. Now, it's quite important. They are slightly different. The soda light and the jaspers are slightly different sizes, and that's why I put the soda light on the outside. It's just a subtle difference. You'll get this with all bead strands. So the slightly larger one is in the middle, and a very subtly, slightly smaller one is on the outer, and that will help push this outwards. Oh, it comes through as well, doesn't it? So um, we have a... Um, if we get one of these oh, off, yes, I'll show sorry, you. Yes, sorry, we bring them over. Oh, I should just that one. There so we, we just go. show you the bobbly nature. So we've got that sits forward. When you actually make it, um, it sits forward to the others. Wow. So that's what it will do that's eventually. That's beautiful. It just pops, doesn't it? Honestly, mm. if you would have shown me that bracelet at the start and been like, you know what, Claire? How do I make it? Any idea of making that? I would have said, oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. And now you've actually broken it's it down. It's really easy. And I can see all this, all of the elastic cords mm. coming into play. And then you get that at the end. So you know what? You must be all thinking now, especially for those of you who checked out, especially those who got them on your way home, is your imagination not going wild? You're not sat home thinking, right, I'm going to make this. I'm going to make that. Rachel, we're all, we're all going to be walking around with Rachel bracelets, aren't we? <laughs> the next, the next I'm going to go straight on. Next yeah. row, the next row, you put another chain. So you're going to enclose the beads with a bit of chain, and then we're back to the beginning again. So we're going to do exactly the same: two beads on the outside, um, two eight O's on the outside, bead on the inside, a big bead, and two eight O's on the outside. And then each time you put some chain on in between there, and then another row just of the outer ones the big beads and then you carry on and carry on until you reach the length that you need so if i push it all along we're going to be um you can see how you've put it all together and it's starting to form just got to make sure it comes together it's so nice watching yeah, your so, and that will take a bit of time but it's just a matter it's nice because just threading it through just make sure that you've um got it securely at either end because you don't want everything falling off after you've you know it's that bit where you thread it all together on and then you go and knot it or something and then it all falls off <laughs> which might happen <laughs> <laughs> because i have i can't find my clips so i normally would put like a little bulldog clip or something on the end or not not the ones that you're not knotting yet mm. um so it just holds it together otherwise it's everything falling off disaster and you have to start again <laughs> So, which is <laughs> which the last thing you want. You're no, like, no, no, I'm making a beautiful piece. <laughs> um, so that's that's that. So can you see as I as I push them together, these larger ones should start to sit uh, forwards. Can you see? Yes. You see, and they'll come up. up. Look like oh. that because there's a little because the five links oh, just give that little bit less space, and it has to sit forward. That's so awesome. that gives that three-dimensional nature to this bracelet on the outside. So what we can do next, so we've got, we've got two bracelet designs. I don't think I'll show you plaiting, but you, you know what how to plait. What I've done is three, you glue this, put three braids, sorry, three strands of each colour next to each other, clip it and make sure you glue that end and then just plait it, you know. And what I would do then is maybe T-pin T-pin, um, where have I put that T-pin? Um, here, or something like that, just to hold it in place, or put all the braids over the side of the macrame board and then have a plait. You know, other thing you can use is a gizmo clamp and clamp with a gizmo and clamp everything onto the work surface and plait as well. So, and then just make sure you really, really glue both ends and then um, ribbon cord end the ends with a, it's, it's like two jaws that kind of fit together, <laughs> like a shark bite. <laughs> So now what we're going to do is show you a, this is where I get it wrong. <laughs> and this is about why I deliberately I left it till last because I always get it wrong. It's the <laughs> knotting. It. Right, go on. We're yeah, short on so time. Stupid. I need to see it come together. I'm, so, I'm, I'm left-handed, <laughs> so I, I'm you know, just going to blame on being, being left-handed. No so I'm going to take this off. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm, I'm going to knot. Um, no, no, no. Do not. Yes. If those of you, I'm just going to give you the heads up. We're nearly at the end of the hour. 
If it's in your baskets, you've got to get it checked out because if we, with our live auctions, that price point, if you see it and you think that's a good price, which we all are, you've got to check it out within this hour because otherwise, after the hour, the prices go back up to that website hour. Rachel's been showing us what you can actually do with these and they're amazing. But give us a message, let us know what colours you're going to be using, what you're going to be creating, what inspires you, what are you going to have a go at? Because my goodness, this morning, honest, I'm on the physically on the edge of my seat, Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> I've knotted one side together right. really far along so that it's not all going to fall amazing. off. Amazing. But we're going to knot the red together. to red and just push everything together and... Um, Get some glue or clear nail varnish ready. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry. I will give you a minute, Rachel. Rachel's getting it all together so we can see that final end product. Uh, but do not remember, do not remember, do not forget what we're going to be doing when we come back. We have got our Stardust special buy as well. So, should we do that? Yes. Can we have a little look at a bit, Rachel? Yes, that's all, that, all I've got to do is show a knot and glue it. Yes, that's Oh, all. Yeah, right. If you're sat at home and you're thinking, come on, I want to know how to finish this <laughs> off. I've got visions in my head. Right. What we're going to do, we're going to have a quick break. We're going to get everything ready for you. We'll okay. show you how to knot it and glue it in just a few minutes. But do not forget, we have got our deal of the day straight after the break. I'm going to see you in just a few minutes. Pop another piece of toast on. Jewelrymaker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelrymaker. After the success that we had last Monday with my Jewelry Vault Raider show, we are back for more this Monday at 11 a.m. I have just come back from the Jewelry Maker Warehouse. I've been in there since about half past eight this morning. It's now just after midday, and I have got for you an even better, dare I say it, an even better selection than I had last week. When was the last time you saw Alexandrite here at Jewelry Maker? Well, I've got three strands for you, the last three strands in the building. I've got Star Garnet, Amalobi Sphine, Pink Sapphire, some of the most beautiful column consite, and many more pieces to bring you. But I'll say it once again. If you want to get some of the most irreplaceable pieces that you can find in the Jewelry Maker Vault right now, then come and join me this Monday at 11 a.m. for one of our beautiful Vault Raider shows. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker.
Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Welcome back to Jewelry Maker. If you've never met me before, hello, my name is Claire and today is actually my first day. <laughs> so I'm, I'm stepping in, I've never been, I've never even had a chance to go to the studio and I tell you, it's beautiful. So thank you so much for, uh, for coming and backing me up on my first day. You've made it so nice. And you know what? We've got a fantastic day planned. We have jewelry designer superstar, Rachel Norris with us, unbelievable. And we've got all those beautiful pieces coming up at 12. However, it is that time. It is deal of the day. Now, the one thing, and this is, well, this is because we were talking about this with the team, because obviously it's my first day, and they were saying, when we're talking about space beads, we are talking about one of the most popular, popular pieces. However, can I just say, seriously, seriously, they are space beads. However, they've got a twist. Oh, they've got that stardust on. Now, I work with stardust jewellery over on Lifestyle, and oh my goodness, when you catch it in the light and it glistens, I've got to say, so many of you have already got involved. Will you do me a favour? Do me a favour, and because it's the first day I've met y'all, give us a message. Let me know if you've managed to get them on. What is, what's your plans with them? What are you thinking about doing? You can text on that number just there, or you can do it on Tinterweb as well, I think, can't you? Yeah, you can do it on that as well. Oh, gosh, you've got all these social outlets. And do you know what, though? Give me a message. Let me know your ideas. We've got a few different pieces that the team have very kindly put together for us. But what we're trying to do today, and I've got to be honest with you, I know that we've had stardust spaces in the past. However, the amount of emails that the team actually got here at Jewelry Maker saying, when are we bringing them back? So we've brought them back, but this is a twist. Not only the Stardust, we have got four different sizes as well. So it's that kind of time. It's those kind of pieces that you can be really creative and really fun with. You can let your imagination literally run wild. And that is what it's all about. You get it home, you've got your kit, and you just go for it. Now, before we start showing them, I just want to show you a bracelet. Is that all right? Can I just show you a bracelet? You know which bracelet I'm showing you? Tom came in today. As soon as he came in, he went, he went right over here with this bracelet. <laughs> Did you really? Right, so you know Tom, our producer Tom, he actually made a request for this particular piece to be made with our jewellery making tick. You're very bossy, aren't you Tom, telling everyone to make you these pieces of jewellery? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. He literally said, oh, please, can you do something with it? So he didn't give a brief. He just said, see what you can come up with. And this is what the design team have done for our Tom. They have broke it up with the most beautiful, beautiful gemstones. Now, what I do want to just say is on this particular bracelet, this contains all the different sizes. 
are those stardust spaces. So I'm just going to turn it round, Mark. Is that all right? Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll, can I pick it up? I can pick it up. I can, I can look at me. Yeah. I'll pick it up. I'll pick it up. Who she's new? Who does she think she is? Eh? <laughs> Who does she think she is? Right. So I'm going to show you the back of the bracelet now. So you've got you know those smaller spaces and what you get is this incredible graduation so that sizes let me just move it around for you oh and then look at those big ones at the beginning you know what tom said when he saw this tom said right no word of a lie let's be honest let's if we're being honest when it comes to jewelry making and you lot will know this much more than me spaces usually are there to embellish the gemstone to dress the gemstone in jewelry making accent stones however However, when you've got that stardust on, you don't need that. You absolutely don't need that. They, as they are, are beautiful. Now, this is the interesting thing. The actual beads themselves, they are blasted with Byron dust. And because they're blasted, you get this texture. And I've got to be honest, and I think you're probably, <laughs> I'm one of those people. I don't know if it is a bit weird, but you know, it goes into, I have to touch everything. I'm a very touchy feely person. Mike's looking scared now. He's like moving away from camera. <laughs> I do, I have to touch things. You know you go in a shop? I want to touch things. When I first started here, they brought me a chain avalanche of chains. I could not stop touching every single one of them. I were, a, I were a nightmare. So what you've got here is, yes, you've got that beautiful shine, but you've got that texture. Give us a message. Let me know what you're planning. Now, yeah. Yeah, so the team told me how popular it is. We're going to do a minute. We're going to do a minute clock. Right, we're going to do a minute clock. <laughs> I can't take any more of these price drops. <laughs> right, we are working our way to... This is just the launch... Right, OK. Honestly, I have. I've never been anywhere like this before. Can I show you as well? Can I show you on the actual board as well? Because I want to show you the actual sizes, if that's all right. Because I know... Now, you lot are the experts. I know you make pieces of jewellery. We've got the different sizes. Now, we've got five, four, three and two and a half mil, right? When they said, when they said, clerk, we're doing two and a half mil, can I just show it you now? This is, and Rachel will know, because we've got Rachel here, the expert. Rachel, when do you ever get a two and a half mil? It's amazing, yeah. isn't it? Again, with a stardust, again, I use, I use beads. Use a stardust. I use beads all the time yeah. in between, um, in my wire works. So I love beads and wire work together, and it hides, Hides a lot of problems with wire work. <laughs> it hides a lot of problems. And, a lot of, and it also creates a bit. I would have loved them to work with to make some of the the um, necklace links in this in the necklaces today. Yeah. You could put them in the links. Um, sure. I'll show you techniques later on for using Will them. Will you? Oh, right, perfect. I so I've got to say we're just at the start price now. Literally, Rachel has just said if you've managed to get them later on, she's going to show us different ideas of using them in the masterclass. I want to know your ideas as well. Ruby, Ruby, I love that. I, Ruby, you have got, I've just seen your name come up. That is the best name for a gem collector I have ever heard. Do you remember that song? Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. Right, we have got to, I'm going to show you the design. So I showed you the 2.5. I'm going to show you the three now. So I just want to show you that graduation of size. I tell you what, absolutely. Do not think that that is where we are stopping at price wise. Oh, sorry, my darling. There it is. Now, we actually, did you really? Right, so Ollie was just saying, and Tom, that originally they did this as part of a bundle. Oh, she's on the roll, she's on the roll. I've got her, don't worry. I've got her, I've got her. And do you know what? He said, we've had so many requests. Right, I'm going to show you a slightly larger size now. So this is coming in at the four. So this is the four. Absolutely beautiful. And then I'm going to finish off by showing you that nice big five. Right. Oh. I just, I mean, do you know what we're talking about? And I mean this, beads that I've got something special about them. How often do you manage to get stardust? Now, precious metal, sterling silver, so you know you've got that good quality. And in terms of how many you actually get, you get 10 of each. So what that's doing is, let me show you that bracelet. If you're wanting to create that gorgeous, oh, you've got the Laramars as well coming up after the deal of the day. If you want to create, you know, that real graduated look, do you know what I mean? The one that just moves around beautifully. That's what you're going to get. Take a little look at this. Absolutely stunning. There are so many of you already checking out. We've not even dropped the 
the price yet. I know you've been waiting for it. I know, I know, because literally, as soon as I came in, the team were telling me all about it. And this is what I love about it. This is what I love, because you can just have a bit of versatility with it. Now, I am, hide I am hiding my finger, because... Uh, <laughs> As soon as I came into the studio, my nail, my nail fell off. <laughs> right, let's have a look. Oh, Lorna, right, these are great for beading onto loop earrings. <gasps> Lorna, you are no word of a lie. You're reading my mind. Let me just show you. Lorna, have a look at these. These are beautiful. I, was, I, I hope they might let me try them on. <laughs> Lorna, you see what I mean? That's such a good idea. And they go, you have got that pearl right at the bottom, but then above it, you've got those different different sizes, you know, of your spaces. But I tell you what, in terms of a bundle, can you see them there? Look how good they look with a pearl. What gemstone would you actually match with them? What gemstone would you put with them? Now, I've got to be honest, we have. <laughs> got so many of you coming and asking and getting ready to check out i think these might sell out so what we're gonna do we've got 307 that sounds like a lot however we've had such a busy morning i don't know if that is going to stretch if i'm honest because we've already got multi-buying happening two three times and i don't blame you i know you've been waiting for them if you are somebody who has been creating, whether you're at that expert level, you're at start level, whether you just use it as a hobby of an evening, in order to be able to have the opportunity to add in that stardust. Oh, it happens. It happens once in a blue moon, doesn't it? Look at that blue moon related. <laughs> right, okay, we are popping that clock on. We are so, so busy with this one. If you are on the phone lines, please do hang there. I, it has come really busy on the phone lines. It's a free phone number though, so do not worry. Or if you're feeling adventurous and you've never done it before, try checking out on the web as well. Now, price-wise, we're not stopping there. We are looking at within the pack, you get a total of 10 each. That's 40, 40 of these beads. We have got the two point, well, you're ranging from the five, the four, the three, and the 2.5. So if you want that stunning graduation, do you know when we see that on those beautiful necklaces and on the bracelets today? That's what we can do. You can mix, you can match, you're adding your gemstones. Or if you're thinking, do you know what, Claire? No, I don't want to mix and match. This stardust, and I'm having stardust as it is. But do let me know what you're thinking. Are we going to do our crash now? <laughs> no, we're doing our crash. Right, go on, go on. I've got no idea. Okay. I have literally, right, look how many we are losing. We are literally £29 and nine. <laughs> Nine a massive well done to everybody who's checked out literally from across the whole country. Are we not done? We're actually not done. Right, this is deal of the day. The gentlemen are not done. They're not done. Me and Rachel are here having, having hot flushes. <laughs> I'm going to show you different ways as well. So we've got this beautiful, beautiful necklace that the team made as well. And do you know what they've done? They have only used, they've only used around three was it two or three two they've used two of this that oh well done the phone lines are going a little bit crazy do just bear with us i can see you all i can see you all right so my darlings the one thing i will be careful and i will just tell you now if you are on the phones please just hold there there is a little bit of a cue but have a go online have a go if you've never done it before it's really good so one thing you do get is you get that full bundle all coming together and it's like rachel said earlier you know mix and match if you're going to be getting 40 why not do three on your earrings two on your necklaces and I'll finish the rest off with a bracelet have a matching set right let's take a little look we're going to come down congratulations to everyone who has checked out we've not stopped later 24 pounds and 99 pence oh sorry that's me twisting that was that was that was me that looking at all the jewelry and do you know what the one thing i will say and i do mean this do you know when we are talking about these beautiful beads to be able to have it in your kit ready to go and all these different sizes. Right, I'm scared when you say this. So Tom just said, there's a, there's a, <laughs> he says there's another clock. <laughs> 
You know what? No word of a lie. This is my first day. These these gentlemen, they're literally, we started with all the 300. We're already on 235 pounds. But I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, okay, well, why? Why Stardust? Why? Why is it so incredible? Why is it so in demand? Well, I've worked a lot with rose gold rings that has that beautiful Stardust on. Um, what it means is, yes, you've got that solid, in for this example, sterling silver, but then when you get it playing with the light, my goodness, it shines. And it's not just one section of the bead, it is literally every exposed part of the bead is just dazzling. And you know, when we're talking about jewelry for all the way through the year, you can pair it with those beautiful light tone gems as we're coming into summer. Then when we get to Christmas, imagine all your Christmas parties. <laughs> Right, so $21.99, we have literally got 213 left. These, and everyone's still checking out. I can see the queue now. Huge congratulations, my darling. If you have just, don't do this to me again, Tom. Don't, <laughs> I can't say, he, he says this, he says, do you know what the best thing is, Claire? And I says, go on, Tom. No, no, this don't happen normally on Lifestyle Midnight, Late Night Show, where I'm literally about to collapse on the desk. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want another best bit? It's not even Tom, it's all there. Well, I says, I says, when they started, I said, you, you both, it's, it's, it, you, I tell you what, no word of a lie, you two are gonna have to do different accents. So I've got with me, Ollie and Tom in my ear, I says, you both sound exactly the same with that Midlands accent. I can't, I can't distinguish between you both. Cause you work together, you've, you've like merged into the same man. You've merged. <laughs> <laughs> the same. You're all one. So you know what, my darlings, if you have just come and joined us, it's a crazy Saturday morning. It's National Fishing Day and it's National Picnic Day. Let us know what you're up to. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, absolutely crazy. Oh, no, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. Now it's all coming down to so us. Final pieces. This is a ridiculous price. Right. Go crazy, 19 pounds, 99 pence. It's Saturday and you're gonna be getting these home in just a few days. You get 40 of them. The sizes, you're gonna get 10 of each size. So mix and match, drop earrings, necklaces, rings, however you wanna do it. If you wanna create key rings, I'm a big key ring lover. I think we need more key rings. Well done to everybody who is checking out. These are stardust yeah. beads. <laughs> All right, Northern Lass, thanks for you. Wow, who, who, who's this? Who's this? She's right, Northern Lass. <laughs> Rachel, do you think my accent's strong? It's it's <laughs> wonderful. I've got my brother lives up in Sale, so you know he's he's, he's he talks just like you really? and my and my sister and all. Yes. Oh, Rachel, right. we'll have to Lovely. go for a brew and some but can't be fast, won't we? Right, <laughs> absolutely incredible. We have got a price point of nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence, and do not think for a second I'm sending you one bead in post. You're getting forty of them. And don't. don't don't do this to me, Tom. Don't do, or Ollie, whichever one it is, they keep saying in my ear. <laughs> Honestly, I can't. Oh, it's a Saturday morning, isn't it? It's Saturday morning. Why did I expect anything different on my first ever shift? Right, so the lads have just said, we're not going, right, oh, we yeah, for sterling silver. Liz, I love that, bonkers. It's bonkers, Liz. Please, they're going to do it to me again. I can't take it. Look, I can't even sit on my seat. Right, we're going to go. <laughs> everybody, everybody who's buying, I can see it on this list here, which I've never seen before. They, they're going from one and then it says times two, times three, times six. Wow, right, that is it because the price is so, so good. So if you have got six, what's six times 40? Come on, mathematics. Six times 40. I've got no hope. I'm numerically <laughs> dyslexic. I'd be uh, here to end it now. 240. 240. <laughs> if you've just got six, like I know Maria has, that's 240. Maria, I've got to know, oh, what's your plans with them, my darling? You'll be making necklaces for, for, the old, for the old street, won't you? <laughs> Rachel, what kind of price? I want a pack of those because I, I want to make them into the celestial links. So definitely, I mean, they are disco balls of glitter and, and you can't see the glitter. Um, as much as you can in real life. There is fantastic um, surface reflections of these beautiful, beautiful beads. Honestly, they're lovely. 
They're amazing. And the side, they often get them all in different sizes in one pack. That's the great thing about this, isn't exactly, it? Exactly, exactly. And if you've never done graduated you've got before... Them all. Yeah, <gasps> all in one go. Oh, right. Do you know what? No word of a lie. Do you know what? I actually put on my arms today. I put glitter spray on. And when this is next to it, you can't even see I've got glitter spray on. <laughs> Liz, insanity. Uh, it's the heat. Yeah. Look, I've got my glitter spray on. I won't be funny. My glitter spray looks like a load of rubbish now. Now I've got these stardust. I shouldn't have bothered. I shouldn't have bothered. Right. £17, <laughs> £99. A crazy, crazy price. We are... We, yeah, that's We're really done. Good. We are... <laughs> 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 Rachel, <laughs> this is my first ever deal of the day. I know, no, the gentleman in the gallery, Rachel, they're saying to me in my ear, they're saying, oh, do you want to know the best thing? And I know what that means. Literally, Liz, you are right. The heat is getting to us. And I can't even go outside. I'm ginger. I'm not allowed outside. I will burn. Right, I, I'm ready. I'm ready for the best bit of the day. What are you going to do to me now? <laughs> This is crazy. Oh, I, I, I take a, what, what's that, my lovely? A pound, right, yes. It, uh, no, 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 no. I know you've got no room to move. Even a pound, especially for those of you, because you've all multi buyed literally nearly all of you have multi buyed A pound, so that's six, for those of you who bought, um, oh, oh, a Janice Louisa, that's my middle name as well. For those of you who've got six, that's actually six pounds off, right? And if you've got something else, it's one postage and package. Right, get ready. This is making me feel like I want Christmas here as well. 172 days, I think. 14 pounds <gasps> and 99 <laughs> oh, pence. Good. Yes, I don't think we can good. take any more, Rachel. <laughs> I'm actually physically exhausted. But Rachel, you've got... I you... love these price drops, though. They're going to just just the right prices. They're fantastic. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But Rachel, you, you're you in the industry. You're silver, a designer. Affordable silver. You know what kind of prices, you know, these bundles can go One for. One bead can just... Yeah, the, yes, exactly. One bead on its own can vastly elevate an, a necklace or, or, or a design... You know, you've got a sterling silver bead in there, and now you can put more. <laughs> more Literally, honestly, absolutely amazing. I've got to say, and I really do mean this from the bottom of my heart. Everyone who's managed to get them home. I am literally so excited for you. I'm so excited. I can imagine you now. I don't know where you do your crafting, whether you're doing living room, whether you're doing kitchen. I know Rachel's always getting interrupted off her son saying, Mum, I need a not chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> this is just, for many of us, like Rachel said, it's escapism, it's a break from that busy day. And to have something so beautiful to work with and to create something Oh, right, is this from Irene? Let's have a little look. Had to go and get two at this price. Look at this, two yeah, already. Good, yes. <laughs> do you know what, Irene? Good. I do not blame you, my lovely. I do not blame you. I tell you what, they said to me, they said, Clerk, you're on jewellery maker today. Get ready. And I had no idea what they meant by get ready. Now I do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because you're selling no. finished jewellery and yeah. uh, completely different. And this is people have got the ingredients to make fantastic jewellery with these ingredients and affordable, fantastic jewellery, high, high quality jewellery this, this is the crazy thing, right? And honestly, Rich, I've worked on Jamporia Lifestyle and, and you know, I know, I, I get, I, and with the, with the industry, I do a lot of research into prices. I know not necessarily jewellery making kits, but I do into gem pieces. Into and jewelry, yeah. price wise, this is the thing. When I came over to Jewelry Maker, I knew we would be doing incredible prices for the crafting, for the jewelry making market. I did not expect we would, and I genuinely mean this, no word of a lie, I did not know we'd be going anywhere near £14.99. pence. That is 40 of them. And do you know what's amazing? Because I'm going to be honest with you. When I looked at the pack and I thought, okay, 40 is a good amount. You can mix, you put your gemstones in there. But now I know it's at this price. If I got two or three, you could actually make a whole necklace just of stardust pieces. And you don't even need any other gemstones. It is so beautiful as it is. Why would you even want to need to add more in as a single standout gemstone with all of that texture and that colour and that movement? I mean... Do you know, honestly, they said to me today, they said, come on to jewellery maker. And I was really, really nervous. And, and I start to see pieces that the team have created. And I just think to myself, what an amazing place to be. So 
I'm going to show you some of the ideas that the making team have put together. Now, they've got, so bear in mind, the only amount, now this is drop earrings with a little pearl on the bottom, the only amount that they've actually used is six. It's only needed six in order to get that impact like that. Let's take a look, look at this one as well. Look at this one. So this is another, another, it's beautiful. There is only, right, no word of a lie. There's only two, and don't you think it makes a difference? So, here we go. If you were to get 40, just for your necklace, just for your earrings, you've only, used, you've only used eight. What does that leave you? 32. And then you've got 32 to do with whatever you want to do with, whatever you want to do. And it is just, I mean, when we're talking about exciting kits, whether you're an expert, whether you're a starter, the fact of it is, it's Starburst. It comes up once in a blue moon. I work with jewellery. I see Starburst rings once every two months. That's about it. Absolutely fantastic. Massive well done. Honestly, I'm literally, I'm sat here now and imagine you're now at home, sat on the sofa with your cup of tea and you're thinking to yourself, you're getting all those ideas, aren't you? You're getting all those ideas. Yes, my darling. <gasps> Oh, 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 do you know what? I'm so, I didn't even realise I've only got 22 left. I was too busy, I was too busy talking. We have got 22 left and this list here now that you see, you're not going to believe what this is. This is everyone with baskets and I'm afraid to say we don't have enough to go around here. I do apologise, but that is how these work. It's live auction. You've got to check out because if you miss it, and I promise you now, I did it on some candles a few months ago. I didn't check out and I didn't half kick myself after, especially at Christmas, and I didn't have those gorgeous scented candles. So massive congratulations if you've got them home. And one thing I will say, in terms of how many I've got, I've literally got 20 to these are backed by popular demand <laughs> this is the team receiving email after email i am gonna have to leave them there keep checking out they will they will sell out because i can already tell because i've only got 22 and, I, and i've got 75 year basket i'm not great at maths but i know that ain't gonna work <laughs> right now it is of course start by time for our laramon so here is our start by and i'll see you in just a moment <laughs> Hello, my lovelies. Right, I'm going to leave you with that gorgeous, gorgeous at start burst. Like, I can see you all checking out. <laughs> but it is, of course, time for our star buy. So I was saying earlier, we have star buys throughout the show across the whole of the team. And star buys are really, really interesting because when we all come in the office in the morning, a star buy, it's not just something, oh, that's the star buy. No, 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 no. The whole team gather around and we discuss it and we talk, well, why does this make a star buy? Why is it that this is something that is special? Well, for me, coming here today, it's because it's a gemstone laronite which we don't often get to work with. So, oh, this is the best thing. We've got the gemstone in so many different ways for you to see. Now, when we talk about precious gemstones you know jewelry maker you know we're in the umbrella of gemporia which means and i'm very proud to say that we can source some of the world's most beautiful and authentic gemstones and then we get to bring them to jewelry maker mm. and then we get to make them in incredible pieces of jewelry which is where this is where the exciting bit comes and I, you know what if i know lots of you have been fans for years and trust me i understand why you're so excited on jewelry maker because you're seeing those gemstones then you can see them. Now, Laramite in round, I have seen, um, I've actually seen Laramite in, in its rare uncut form. To get it in round, very, very different. Very, very different. Does not come up very often, right? I'm gonna have to just pop these over there because I'm gonna have to bring them. Should we have a look at it on the necklace? Yes, let's take a little look at the necklace. Right, so. This is the jewellery that the team have used and put together. So it was the one with that star just on it. But what I'd love, and I, and I mean this, I'd absolutely love it, if you would send us a little message. Let me know if you've got this gemstone in your collection. Let me know if you've used this gemstone. Or let me know if you've been 
I don't know about you, have you got your list? You know, your list of your gems that you're trying to tick off. Because <laughs> Laramat comes up once, once, you know, once every few months, if I'm honest. We don't get to yeah. see it very oh, often. I'd be able to see it. It's Beautiful. How often everyone. do you see it, Rachel? Oh, it, well, the same. Yeah. Once every few months. And also, we don't watch every day. So, literally, when you're watching, yeah. and also, you don't get it in the rounds like this. No. So, and beautiful rounds like that. It's stunning, isn't yeah. it? So, this is why I love jewellery maker. Right, now, I'm just going to start off with <clears throat> the most the most obvious part, the most obvious part of when we talk about this gemstone. So, Larimar is all about that colour palette. Now, let's be honest, we love gemstones. We love the history, we love the story. But when it comes to this particular gemstone, it's that colour, it's that body. And what they have, they re have hues, which they're so specific to, specific, specific to that particular gemstone that you can't find those exact hues in other gemstones. You get this incredible workings. And I'm going to work your way through and I'm going to actually show you because as it works down, you get these and they're so, so rare. It is those incredible sea blues. It's those greens. And then you get that body, all of its inclusions, all of its personality all coming right the way up to the actual surface. And because of those round beads, what we're doing is we're really showing you all the different aspects of this incredible gemstone. And you know, when we talk about our favorite gemstones, let's be honest, so as soon as you think emerald, what comes to your mind? That incredible strength of those inclusions. When we talk about ruby, what comes to your mind? That incredible hue of those pinks and those reds. When we talk about all these world famous gemstones. It's unique, it's their structure, it's their compounds, it's their growth. And then you get Larimar, absolutely stunning, stunning. Now, this, this is what we, this is it, isn't it? It is literally paradise. You are almost within reach of those sea blues. But you know what? I'm sat here and I'm saying to you, it reminds me of this sea, it might remind you of something completely different you might be looking and say no Claire I don't see that at all well give us give Tom a message send a message let me know what you see when you see this gemstone now we are gonna we is that got a little VT haven't we did you say there or did you say we've got popping little VT on with Ben oh <laughs> little slide i'm terrible i'm terrible at hearing Anna. right so here we go one of the most beautiful semi-precious stones now when we are talking about mystery this is what we are talking about i love my gemstones another one of my favorites do you know where aqua prey is i love it because it is a secret i love our yarny oh i'll meet him one day <laughs> And what you're getting is you're getting a gemstone that, yes, it's beautiful in colour. Yes, it's really stunning. Yes, it's attractive. But that's not just it. Because with me, I need to know a story. I need to know some history. I need some character. Well, this is what you're going to get with Larimar. Now, the deposits have been found in one place in the whole world. And there it is, a remote mountain in the islands of the Himalayas. And this is what excites me. This is what excites me. Do you want me to talk about Tanzanite, the gemstone? What is the first thing you think about Tanzanite? It's a single location gemstone. This is exactly what this is. And th this, is, this is so, so key. So when we are talking about, and this is going to sound a bit crazy, but do you know what I think about history of gemstones? You know when I think about... Let's say Kunzite, discovered in 1910. Right, I'll come back to that in just a moment. But you know what? The gentleman have already said, we're going to go in with our start price. Tom, is that where we started? That's where we should be ending. <laughs> no, not ending. That's where we, that should have been it. Right, this is our start price. For those of you checking out already, I can see you thinking. You get, you're getting ahead of the game, getting ahead of the game. Rachel, what do you think about this gemstone? I, I love it. I've always... <laughs> I've always loved it actually because it's just it's so soft and it's such a soft colour uh, really serene and peaceful and um, I I haven't got a strand of these and I want <laughs> one I want a strand of those to work with because I can just imagine making um, you know it could go into a dragonfly body it could go into making sort of um, dolphins and um, seahorses and other things um, like that um, that I'd put them in. I've 
you know, those would be ingredients within a design like that. And then you use the rest of them from the necklace around to support the design in the middle. I love that idea, bringing it with sea animals as yes, well. Absolutely. I love that. I yes. love that. But what you are getting here is, yes, you're getting the incredible gemstone, but you're not just getting beauty. Do not just think, oh, what a pretty gem. No, 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 no. This is a gemstone that when you work through time, when you look at the actual fundamentals of this gemstone, this is a one location gemstone. And the importance of that is massive, my lovely. It's huge. When you think of Tanzanite, let's think about the future of Tanzanite. In what, 25? Oh, do I? Oh, 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 right. Lots of you checking out. Right, Brenda, hello. Hi, oh, welcome, Claire. I bought Larimer um, for myself and my sister in the Dominican Republic. We both absolutely love it. Oh, it's nice to see you, Rachel. Brenda says, nice to see you, Rachel. Oh, hello, Brenda. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Do you know what? Honestly, I love that though. And I, I love, you know, Brenda, you'll know what I mean. Um, I've got three sisters and we bought my mum a bracelet with three of our birthstones in. And it is nice, you know, tight family. Thank you so much for your message. I'm so glad that you love it as well because we are just in awe of it. Um, so we're just talking about the location. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what we're talking about is because it is, that's a carp <laughs> fish. I can hear all the lads saying, what fish is that that she's caught? It's carp. Yeah. Is your dad a fisherman? I bet you, I bet you have been, it. oh, river fisherman. Oh, different walk of life. Do you know why, do you know why I actually like fishing? Because it's National Fishing Day today. Because <laughs> my partner took me fishing for the first time 10 years ago and I beat his record on my first <laughs> cast. So now it's a bit of a, I did 24 pound pike. Right. <laughs> Right, well, let's get, come on, we need to get back to our gemstones. Now, what I was talking about is, um, with Tanzanite, because that as well is single location, we've got about 25 years of working with that gemstone, but what happens with a gemstone, like Sleeping Beauty, for example, when that mine finishes? Because nothing lasts forever when it comes to mining. So eventually, when we have finished mining for it, and if no more deposits come forth, and no more deposits say, oh, here, we've got Laramar, which at the minute, hasn't happened yet, then what happens, it'd be, it'd be exciting to go and explore it though, wouldn't it? So one thing that will happen is the only people left with this gemstone, I'm gonna be honest, it's gonna be private collectors. And then like Sleeping Beauty, they're gonna get to that point, like at the JCK, that they're gonna say, you can't put a price on it because it's just gonna go up and up and up. So I've just heard Tom say, do you wanna know the best thing? <laughs> No, I'm not ready, Tom. I literally... <laughs> Are we going to do a big crash? Right, massive well done. I can see lots of you checking out across the whole whole country. <laughs> right, we're going to do a massive crash. So if you have already checked out, if you think this is going to be the final price, think again, because we're on Jury Maker. And if there is one thing, if this one thing that I have learned <laughs> today is that Jury Maker definitely keeps me on the edge of my seat. <laughs> I have not seen prices like this before. Absolutely sensational, sensational. Right to them, my darlings. So come on, we have got 26 seconds left. If you've got a cup of coffee, put it down when this crash comes. I don't want coffee all over carpet. Thank you very much. Right, £49, £99. Don't even look, because you have got an incredible 70 carats. 70 carats. What am I thinking? I'm thinking 35.99. But I have been here for two hours now. <laughs> and you seem to give me a little bit of a mini. <laughs> I was literally like, God, the most perfect size four to six millimeters. Now, even Rachel, I can see a nod in her head because Absolutely. when it comes to jewelry designing, when it comes to making the most perfect size, because you've got, you know, when you're putting, threading you through on your drill holes, I mean, you'll know better than I do. But one thing I have learned from Rachel is in terms of size, that's so, so key. It's all about that end look, isn't it? 29 pounds, 99 pounds, 99 pound, pound, pence. <laughs> <laughs> should it should be, that's what I am saying, isn't it? That's where we started. All those names on the bottom, that's everybody who's checked out, I've got to ask, and you've got to let me know. Any of you have checked out, did you get the stardust? Is that, are you are you thinking the mixing and the matching? Let me show you the bracelet. Can we have a little look at the bracelet? Is that all right? I know, I know I'm very bossy. I know I'm very bossy, Ollie. <laughs> I'm 
so bossy. Right. So, right. Genuinely, genuinely, if you used to see that on a high street store, which to be honest, you would not see in a high street store because natural Larimar does not come up on the high street. What kind of price would you realistically think? And this is the exciting thing. Because here at Jewelry Maker, and I do, I admire every single one of you, because what you are doing is, like Rachel, you've got a passion, you've got an interest in gemstones, and you're not just going, buying pieces made. You're bringing them into your home, you're getting creative, you're having some fun. And I always say this, if you cannot have fun with jewellery, What's the point? What is the point? Right, I'm going to have to leave you with that one because it is that time. It is time for... I feel like doing that. <laughs> it's time for your early bird. <laughs>
This That's, is amazing. This might go to. Oh. You can go to, um, you can make three <laughs> strand necklaces and just really pat them together and have all those colours and, and the shades together. See, so. Rachel has made these designs with pearls. And do you know what it means? You can have a go. You can have a go. Get them in your yeah. collection. These are this. ombre. Do you know what? If you saw this necklace on the high street, you would be looking. Yeah. <laughs> you, would, you would just move that little decimal, wouldn't you? It doesn't happen. But, and I'm going to be honest, if you've already got strands of pearls at home, if you're already using pearls, have you tried ombre? Because this is what you can do, and this mm. is what I was thinking, is imagine, right, we had some drop earrings. This is what I would do. This is me, and I'm no jewellery expert. This is what I would do. With the ombres, I would take the ombres, and do you know what I'd actually do, Rachel? Yeah. I would, you know, as we drop down, I'd do, oh, we've got them, Katie, yes. what a beautiful piece of bridal duty, Katie. Mm, really Katie B, do you know who I've got a feeling that is, Rachel? I, I might be wrong. I think that's my sister. <laughs> <laughs> Is that my Katie? I see. She's getting married. I see. And <laughs> Katie B, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she's not the pop star. It's just Katie, Katie Blacker. <laughs> I do like Katie B though. Uh, my sister can't sing a note, but she's getting married. So she was asking me about um, pearls and I said, yes. what best, best symbolism yeah. for innocence? And because those, those can go with lots of different shades of dresses, you're not committed. Yeah. You know, if you're still choosing your dresses and you can choose them, um, you can choose them with your pearl tones in mind, oh. can't you? So mm. they're perfect for the sort of shades of silks and, um, you know, satins that you have in bridesmaids' dresses, they'll go really well. That's so cute. And do you know what, honestly, don't get me wrong, I love, I love all colours of pearls, but sometimes with the ice whites, you're right, it doesn't always yes, it go with those. bleaches out your yes. skin. And they, that, as I say, you could see the difference because the ones I used were, and actually those are softer, they're blossomy, they're sort of petal-like, you know, there's all these different sort of shades of, of nature in there. Um, more than a, and a white pearl, actually. So it's, it's oh. fantastic to be able to have that colour palette in the pearl. I love that. There you go, Sister Katie. The expert said it. <laughs> 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 right, now, my dad... Hold on. Tom's, Tom says, I've got Claire, I've got something to tell you. Right, at the end of the birthday month, 500 of the next auction, auction sold. Oh. 200, so he's just looking at the figures now. Last time, 250 people missed out, right? We have managed to get some more quantity, heavily requested, and guess what? We've got it here in the building, and it is the storage bag, and it's the black one. And you know what? We've got a little surprise coming. <laughs> so I'm going to see you in just a moment. Get ready. <laughs> Right, so you might recognise this piece. You might be sat at home going, I know what this is, Claire, I know. <laughs> so when it comes to our storage pieces, this piece, actually, with the, 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 the team were just telling me, we had it a little while back, um, the end of the birthday weekend. When was your birthday weekend? In May, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, there's so many birthdays, Jen, poor birthday lives, I can't remember them all. I'm, I don't remember my family's birthdays. Now, one thing I will say is when we got these, as the team were just telling me, 500 went, 250 people missed out. This was so, so popularly requested. Everybody was saying it. So we've managed to actually bring it back for you. Shall we have a little look? Right, here it is, my darling. Wow! So this is in the black. This is your jewellery maker black storage box. You know, you know when you get a new handbag? <laughs> And you get that excitement and you just think, oh, this is even better than that. I have one for all my craft pieces. I do a lot of scrapbooking and I have it all. It's like a, a tray within a bag. So I'm so excited seeing this one. Now, I'm just going to show you the back first. Then I'll show you the front and then I'll show you the inside. <laughs> so in the back, you've got one, two, three beautiful pouches. And you just pop it in. So if you want to slide pieces in, especially for quick, easy reach pieces, because you just go ready, ready round the front. Exactly the same, only you have got these beautiful pockets on there. Head in there, nice and secure, real, and especially you know, for your quick tools, your quick pieces, on the go. Inside, I'm going to open it up for you. Oh, ho, ho. I feel like Mary Poppins. I'm not going to pull out a lampshade or out like that. Oh, right, I knew it'd have a nice base bottom because the pieces, you know, when I'm, I've got my scrapbooking things, 
Did you have a surprise this morning? Go on, what was your surprise? <laughs> Did you not know what price they took it to? I, I don't know either. Did it, was, <laughs> do, he didn't watch the show. Tom says he knew we were having it. I didn't watch it though, it was a day off. He knew the guy price. He did not know the price it took it to. Can I just show you this, right? Can you hear that? That's, that's no one's at the door. That is how solid. Look at this. I'm sorry, but you know, do you know builders, when they walk around with their toolboxes, forget that. I want one of these. What do they say on jewellery box in Jamaica? <laughs> the team were just saying, the designers were saying it will fit quite a few bottles of wine. That's I, I mean, I'm not, not a right. wine trick, more of a, <laughs> I'm a cider girl, me. Oh, through and through. And also right. keep things upright and won't, they won't fall over then, you see. If you've got something you need to keep upright, um, that solid base, base will help keep things packed in a... Is this First. to carry your wine round, yeah. Rachel? <laughs> After the beach. <laughs> yeah. Emergency supplies. <laughs> right. If you... Are you joking me? Is that a good price? That is a sensational price. And I want to show you this strap as well. This is brilliant. You can pop it in. Here we go. Let me just pop this in. So dead easy. And you know me, I don't like anything too fiddly. So I just pop it in like this. You don't have to have the strap on. You know what it's like when you get your handbags. And trust me, I, you know... Is that not the price? No, stop <laughs> it. That's the price you were told it's going to be. I'm trying it on. I'm trying this on. Whoa, this is awesome. Look at that. Whoa. Do you know what? I know it's for jewellery. Sorry, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's for jewellery making, but I don't want to make it for jewellery. I want it as my weekend bag. How cool does that look? Hey. <laughs> Of it. That is gorgeous. And if you don't want to wear it like that, you can actually just carry it like that. How? I'm sorry, but how professional does yeah. that look? Right. We've got some price comparison. Look at that. Look solid. I am literally obsessed with. This. Now price comparisons. So we have just found one. So this is a teeny tiny one. It's one of the um, the bags. It's a tote bag, so you know it's not got that same durability. You know a tote bag, right? Are you ready, my lovelies? This is, is it shocking? Is it is it literally gonna? Is it? Gonna, <laughs> I can't take it anymore. It's too much here. Right? Are you ready? Let's have a little look. Nineteen pounds, ninety nine pence. That is under twenty pounds. And do you know what? I'm not being funny. It's just, what do you think, Rachel? I think it's, a, it's a perfect size, actually. Um, it's actually, perfect. you can put um, a couple of projects in there. All, your to all the tools that you need will go in there. Um, it'll keep things up right because there's nothing worse than sort of a collapsible <laughs> bottom <laughs> that literally things slide about with and you'll maybe get your bead tray bead um, boxes slipping up to one side and maybe the lids coming out uh, uh, you know undone and things like yes. that so it'll keep things exactly where you want them to be yeah. and obviously if I'm reaching in and out for I usually have like an, ice, an old ice cream tub or something like that inside yeah. with all the hammer sticking out and things like that and I can fit maybe three or four of them in a row and have and everything it. sticking up and be good and they'll stay upright because of that secure yeah. it's really well made I've got one at home actually oh, you got one at home yes and um yeah and I'm I've got a sort of a different medium that I'm going to put in there <gasps> you see so um so you could have a, a few maybe for the different mediums that you have you know as well so because yeah. everyone we're working with different stuff all the so, time so yeah so that's that's what will go in there as I've got it prepared and they're, they're things that don't I don't want them to tip up you don't want it to yeah, do you know what honestly amazing. I'm gonna put it to the test because right I'm gonna put it to, this is my everyday bag Right, this is my everyday bag, Rachel. Yeah, right? Yeah. That is my everyday bag. I'm going to show you how big it is inside because I reckon I can get everything from that bag into this bag. Easy, easy. Right, there you go. I'm going. I'm, go <laughs> I'm not going to start pulling out fishing rods. There is rods. a hole in the desk. Oh, my heck is that. I'm terrible. I'll tell you what I have got. I'll tell you, look what I have got. I've not got fishing rods. Look, I've got my little Elizabeth doll. Rachel, oh. take her everywhere with me. She's my good luck doll. Oh, it's lovely. <laughs> it's my queen Elizabeth oh, doll. She comes everywhere. She can come in bag as well. I'm not done yet. I'm going to empty it bag. My papers. My lunchbox. <laughs> got my lunchbox in there i'm telling you i want to show you how massive it is look That's nothing's over spilling yeah got my flask in there i'm not going to stop yet i tell you I'm, i am i've packed everything my deodorant because i knew i was going to be sat next to rachel there you go my false nails right i'm not done yet my belt 
Honestly, I want to show you how massive. I'm still yeah. going. Look, my baby wipes, my diary, right? That is it. Look. Nothing left. That is, Impressive. I've gone from that massive bag, which just about fits everything in, because it's got that hard surface bottom. You can just pack. Apps. Look, me and Elizabeth, me and Lilica Elizabeth, oh, we're off. And Look at that. That I is know. literally amazing. No think... longer bag labels. <laughs> <laughs> Stylish bag labels. Do you think because I filled it with my stuff, Rachel? They're like, oh, just take it home. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Do you know what I've got to say? And I know this sounds a bit crazy because I know, I know when you watch this channel, you are crafters and you are designers yourselves and you want to use it for that. But I used to work as a child's face painter and you know, when you go exactly. with these bags, that would be perfect. It would be perfect. Because yeah. what I could have done is I could have had all my brushes here at the ready. I would have had all my pits inside. I would have had my yep. water spray there, ready to go. Yeah. Or what about if you have another profession and you want to reuse it? What about if you have a hobby group? If you go and you make jewellery at your friend's house? I mean, poor Rachel, she was showing me her car, how she has to pack it yeah. <laughs> car. And it makes it so much easier because it's just ready to go. And then you've got these pockets at the back. Right, let's have a look. Julie, oh, South Yorkshire. Good morning. Top at morning to you, Julie. Right, let's have a look. Um, I have have this bag it's very well made and I come I compared the fabric and stitching to a workman's tool bag and it is just as hard yeah. wearing can I be yeah. honest with you Julie I cannot agree with you anymore and to have and I quite like this do you know the jewelry maker it's not too big it's not too bold it's classy and it's nice so whether they do have all of your um, arts and crafts and maybe because I don't I am oh I've got <laughs> all going all over the place oh, you know you know shrinking all that you do the old okay. <laughs> it's that the it? Uh, and Jamina my friend bought me this bag for my birthday last week and it's a great bag well you know what I do right once a week I go and sleep at my dad's house and I do scrapbooking and it really annoys me because I have to I pile everything in my car because I think I might as well do it with my dad so I'm having a few hours with him. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're the same, if you move your jewellery making yes. pieces like Rich, you travel across the world, uh, across the country. Those. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, it is across the world, it's a little bit of the world. Yeah, she's going global. <laughs> and uh, you know what, you just think to yourself, it's all in a bag and it's good to go. And I'm sorry, look how cool I look. I literally look amazing. I'll hide your phone. Look at that. Yeah, I could even How amazing is that? Easily. It's, it's lovely. It's really beautiful, well made. But I tell you what, Rachel, Strong, in terms yeah. of prices, I never, and I mean this, I never no buy I never buy stupid price bags. I'm not one of those girls who are in those kind of handbags. Right. It is, of course. I tell you what, I've got to say, well done. You are gonna have to check out because we're gonna go to a break now. Do you think the fun is going to stop yet? No, 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 no. Because after the break, we've got a special guest. Now, I won't say anything more than that. All I'm going to say it's a special guest. And when this guest is about to take over the show, you might, because it is a special occasion why this guest is coming, you might need a little glass of Prosecco in your hand. That's all I'm going to say, OK? I'll see you in just a few minutes. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. After the success that we had last Monday with my Jewelry Vault Raider show, we are back for more this Monday at 11 a.m. I have just come back from the Jewelry Maker Warehouse. I've been in there since about half past eight this morning. It's now just after midday, and I have got for you an even better, dare I say it, an even better selection than I had last week. When was the last time you saw Alexandrite here at Jewelry Maker? Well, I've got three strands for you. The last three strands in the building. I've got Star Garnet, Amalobi Sphine, Pink Sapphire, some of the most beautiful column and many more pieces to bring you. But 
I'll say it once again. If you want to get some of the most irreplaceable pieces that you can find in the Jewelry Maker Vault right now, then come and join me this Monday at 11 a.m. for one of our beautiful Vault Raider shows. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Birthday breakfast, shouldn't it be birthday brunch? It's 11 o'clock, isn't it? Hello, my name's John Scott. I am from the sister channel next door, but it's my birthday weekend, so I thought I'd pop in here and do a birthday treat for you too. Now, uh, it's called a birthday banger. It's a purple craft storage bag, and I love it. Look, so it looks like this. Gorgeous, well done, Michael. Michael's on camera, he's doing a brilliant job. I can't believe how cold it is in here, I tell you. Ren, I'll do it this way around. Look, 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 look. Look, 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 look. Unzips, beautiful. It's got a lovely handle, very sturdy handle on the top, look. Now, look at this. Zip it right the way down the back, watch. Hey, look. Oh, first one's gone. Set. Right, here we go. Be careful, be careful, be careful, because look at this price. Look at this price. $29.99, that's how much it's supposed to be, right? $29.99, you can get a strap. Look, you get a little strap there as well. It's just fantastic, isn't it? What are you going to keep in there? All your tools in there, maybe your findings in here and everything like that. Do you know what? Let's be naughty. Birthday price. Look, there's loads of you coming in. Janice, Jax, Jan, Anne, Karen, Natalie. Go through, go through, because we're going lower. We're going lower. Go on then, Ben Tom. Ben Tom's not supposed to be doing this. He'll get in so much trouble. No, you tell me the price. Right, OK. Oh, what shall I take it to? Shall I get to 24 99 It's your birthday. It's my birthday. <laughs> Shall we go to 19 99 No, let's get to 17 99 I'm like Frothy Dave, aren't I? I'm like Frothy Dave doing this. 17 99 we'll take this. When I was travelling the world and buying gemstones, 17 99 uh, I know, actually, he's gorgeous, isn't he? Look, look. Anyway, look, 17 99 It's yours. Well done, everyone. If you've already checked out, you pay 17 99 Go, 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 go. Sharon, Martin, Trisha, Sharon, Karen. Oh, Maker, Maker, Linda. I've got no voice. Gabrielle, keep going through loads there. Karen, do you know what? People are buying. Mulder, it's not my birthday today. Birthday tomorrow. Uh, Wayne said there was a present for me here. Do you know what? Do you know what? Wayne said. Now, look, look, yeah, make me a card, Hobby Maker. Can I just tell you, right? Wayne said, oh, could we have John on just for four minutes, right? I've got, I've got my own show to do next door. Because the, the people who watch Jewelry Maker love John, right? If you love me that much, how come I haven't had a shift for two months? <laughs> I know, look at you all. Loads. I've got to go, I've got to go, I've got to go. Uh, how many have I got in total, Ben, Tom? Right, there's only 100 left. And if you look how many people are in there, I've got to go, I've got to go, because I've literally got to get back onto my show because I've got a gorgeous tulip pink quilt coming up next. Thank you for having me for four minutes. I've got to go, little break, and then you're back with the girls. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. 
No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. John, he comes in, gems all over his t-shirts, everyone has literally gone wild. I have got 87 chances. Why has this been so excited? Why has everyone been talking about this? Because it is John's big birthday weekend. This is John's piece. It is the most incredible. Now he launched a purple craft storage bag at £70.99. <laughs> that is... <laughs> Because basically, Tom said, he said, well, John, where do you want to go at price? And then he just went, $17.99. And it had to be done. Graham and Donna. Right, this is a ridiculous price. Not not had it for jewellery, but for the granddaughter's makeup. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, Graham. <coughs> sorry, I'm literally losing my voice. <laughs> this is so exciting. Graham, I that, that was what my background is at uni. That's why I did so many face painting. Picture this. It, again, if you're not a jewellery collector, concealers, foundations, eyeshadow palettes, all of your eye makeup, everything. So you know when you go away, and I'll be honest with you, for a girls weekend, and you whack all your makeup in a little makeup bag, your foundation goes everywhere, your powder goes everywhere. Imagine something as easy and as compact as this. But do you know what? Can I just say, we're talking about jewelry. Graham and Donna had a great idea with makeup. Do you know what I'm going to use it for? <laughs> you promise you won't be annoyed with me? I know it's... <laughs> I have lots of... You know, like, you've got all of your um, bits and pieces for jewellery making. I have the same for fishing. <laughs> so I can put all of my hooks in there. Yeah. I could put my wire in there. I could put some of my extra reels in here. What other ideas have you got? What are you going to do with it? <laughs> Oil, oil paint. That is. And oil paints and brushes. There you go. You can just. So, John, you know, he is the jewel king, the jewel king. So, if you are thinking, do you know what? I'm going to use it exactly, exactly how it was originally intended design. Or, do you know what? I'm going to think out the box. What about art students? How beautiful would that My sister, she's getting married. How nice would that be for her? Because we're going to a hotel. We're going to be dead fancy. We're going to an hotel. Imagine how nice that would be. Just turning up with something so compact and so beautiful. Absolutely incredible. Now, <clears throat> I have got... I am looking. I am frightened. <laughs> How many people are checking out? I have got 38 left, 37, and I'm going to show you this strap. I want to show you exactly how you can use that because some of you, and I get it, I get it, you don't want to actually carry the handle. That's fine. I'm going to show you how to use the strap. You know what John said? Beautiful zip. It actually is. That's a good quality zip, that. He would know on sewing street. <laughs> You know, I always think, imagine John going into a shop, touching everything, he'd be like, not go stitching. <laughs> I met him this morning, dressing rooms, actually. I was like, you're right, John. <laughs> Me and Rachel were trying to not be a crazy stalker. Definite, <laughs> definite fan. I was like <laughs> taking a secret picture of the <laughs> we were same just... studio. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Rachel were just trying to basically keep our cool, weren't we? <laughs> Right, are you ready? I'm going to show you how else. If you want to just use it, not with that handle, you can extend the strap, you pop it on the side, and then bang, you're off. So do you know what? If you do have a different profession, if it's not just jewellery making, if you've already got a jewellery making kit, have a think about what else you can do with it. Make are you a hairdresser. Hairdresser, yeah, Imagine. definitely. All the tongs and everything, and, and different hair bands nail and art. stuff like nail art, everything. You literally, you've got to use... Every single, I mean, every, there's so many uses. There's so many uses. So and many do you uses. know what? No word of a lie. You know when you actually get it home? Right. Um, I've not, bear with me a moment. Now, one thing I was going to think is, this, and this is going to surprise you, because I know you've all checked out and I'm dead happy for you. Right. This is what's going to surprise you. Sometimes when you order things, and you've not actually had a chance to touch it. You want, some, you want something that feels solid. I have actually had, because I used to do uh, makeup at uni, um, SFX makeup, and I used to buy things like this. And sometimes they weren't sturdy. Not an issue at all with this. 
look so so sturdy yes no problem at all right bear with me one moment there we go so there you go my darlings all i've got to say is i've got 21 left it's going to check out and oh i think we've got a message let's have a look oh Von, how are you doing my love it's good to see you over here right it would be a fabulous Big baby bag on the go. Literally, who was it said? That was it. Oh, it was Tom once it. Ollie said, <laughs> tell the accents, no word. So Ollie was just saying, no word of light. He said, do you know what? He's like, you know, when it comes to baby bags, they actually start around 50 pounds. And do you know, this is key as well. And I thought, to be honest, when I saw it all closed up, I thought, I hope, and I thought this, I really hope the inside is gonna be hard, solid solid it's not a soft base at the bottom which is perfect because if you are using makeup and things like that it's wipeable as well you can it's wipe it around exactly me and rachel are thinking the same it's wipeable you can give it a little wipe there you go right then my darling so <laughs> one minute i'm falling off my chair <laughs> god let me just sort it out sorry i work quite sat on my chair quite <laughs> So there we go, my darlings. All I've got to say, I've just got a tiny, teeny, tiny handful left now. If you want to get it, get checked out. I know that there's a massive queue on the phone lines. All I can say is I wish you the best of luck. But it is, of course, time for our star bite. It is our gorgeous daylight. So I'll see you in just a second. Welcome back. I was just packing it all up then. <laughs> I was packing it all up. That's lovely, isn't it? That is absolutely lovely. And it was great to see John. John's having a birthday for the whole weekend. So uh, so do do make sure you uh, you follow his. Is he popping on back on here tomorrow as well, is John? He pro I think you'll probably make him, won't you? <laughs> He'll say, John, it's your birthday, pop back. Right to them, my lovelies. So well done. I can see a lot of you still checking out, but we are going to have to move on to our star bite. <clears throat> now, we have come to another incredible gemstone. We've had a real nice mixture, but in terms of colour palettes, again, literally the team, the buying team, have just hit it on the head. It is just the right collection of gemstones, especially with some of those incredible um, stardust spaces as well. When we come all together, we've just found a real nice mixture. So what we have done is... We have just popped it on a chain for you. It doesn't come with the chain, so it's just a nice way. Do you want me to pop it down? Yeah, I'll tell you what, give me a minute. I'm gonna bring it down. Should we, should we have a little closer look at it? Because I've not had much of a chance to look at it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, let's have a little nosy. Right, there you go, my lovely. So the chain, we're not talking about the chain, we are talking about that incredible, incredible, not just any jade eye, Burmese. Jade Eye. Do you know, we get, in terms of gemstones from Burma, some of the most incredible, incredible gemstones. And you know what, Queen Victoria, Queen Elizabeth, where they have been gifted some of the most incredible gems, gemstones throughout their reign from Burma. So you know, in terms of quality, it is exceptional. So there you have it, my lovely. Now, we will talk about the shape in just a moment, but let's just have a minute with this gemstone. Now, I will talk about types and grades because I know it is so, so key when we are talking about gemstones. But Jade, I, what is it about this incredible gemstone when it comes to the healing properties, when it comes to, I know lots of you, you love to do your meditation and your chakras. What a gemstone to bring in. I mean, my goodness, the excitement surrounding it. And do you know what? I'm not just going to say this because I, I, I'm over on Lifestyle. I know how hard it is in the building for us to actually source for jade arts. I mean, it's just, it, it does not happen. Now, I think I'm going to have to address the thing that we're all thinking. The heart shape. Oh, there you go. You have that beautiful heart shape and then working the way across the center. And this is nice. It really breaks that design up. You have got that white zircon, which moves its way. So we're talking about two really old, really important gemstones. Now, I'm going to be honest. I have seen heart shape pendants before. I have seen, oh, is it, Zub um, sorry, it's Z Z <laughs> cubic zirconia. Get my words out right. <laughs> right, CZ with it. So one thing I will say, and I have seen heart design pendants before. However, I have never seen it 
with the design that runs directly through the middle. And for me, jewelry is all about symbolization. What does it symbolize? What does it mean? What does it mean to you? Now, I'll tell you, and, and I, know, I know some of you on Lifestyle might ignore this, but, but hearts mean a lot to me. Because I remember my first ever job abroad, I was 17, and I was going to be a, a cabaret dancer in Spain. And on my way, my mum bought me a, a bracelet, and it had a heart-shaped sort of pendant in the center of it, and a beautiful, beautiful piece. And then ever since then, for me, any heart-shaped pieces just brings me back to that moment. So what about yourself? Is there a reason? Is there something about heart-shaped pendants that just resonate with you? But do let me know, let me know, because I know there are so many of you that this particular design means so much to. Now, we... <laughs> it is a very, very, very... This is actually quite key because when it comes to the grading of gemstones, so obviously when it comes to, I'm going to just talk about that first price, when it comes to our gemstones here at, when, when we're over on Gemporia and the whole team, our gemstones, we have them appraised outside of the company. So our starting price can usually be what's recommended. However, we are going nowhere near to the recommended appraised price. The start price is going to be genuinely ridiculous. If you thought that you've got an idea in your mind of what kind of price point, no, 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 it's not gonna be anywhere like that. So we are coming down on that clock. Now, as well as that beautiful piece of, um, a beautiful piece of your jade in that heart pendant, you've got that nice bale as well, which just connects it all together. You've got that refreshing silver that really comes in and gives it a completely different palette. And I'm glad it's not done with gold. It feels right. Now, it does not come with the chain, However, we have got some price comparisons that we're going to show you in just a moment. But let me know if you've got this gemstone. Let me know if you've introduced it. So remember, this is type A. This is Jade Art from Burmese. All I can say is, get ready. This is an... Ah, right, I'm sorry. This is my first day here. How are you actually doing this? How are you actually doing this on gemstones? This is jewellery maker. I did not know it was this crazy. You really do have access, don't you? <laughs> I tell you what, absolutely sensational prices. Uh, there you go. This is the start price. This isn't even the end price. Do you know what? We have got one. Right, we've got a price comparison. This one is, there you go. Let's have a little look, right? Beauty, beautiful piece, don't get me wrong, it's beautiful, it's a gorgeous gemstone and I won't say it's not, £122. We're not even starting, we actually, we're not even starting anywhere near this. We're not even, and I, I don't even know if it's Burmese, but Burmese, world famous for their gemstones, their rubies from Burma are just sensational. So I've got to ask, Rachel, what do you think about this gemstone? Um, I would... Um, what would you do well, with it? Well, because it's already made, I would probably um, add it to a chainmail design. So it would fit in with, let's get this bit of chainmail. And, wow. Um, oh, I'm going to have to take That's it off. amazing. Rachel's just showing yeah. us now different ideas of what, yes. how she because would use them as well. Because I've the truth a solid is, silver. No, let's have a look. Let's take a look at the wow. back of it and what you do. This and it's make incredible. a necklace <gasps> and then um, hang, hang the... Beautiful. Shall I pop it on here? Yeah, so, and Can you see that? Chain it with solid silver and wow. then you could um, link it with a jump ring That would be beautiful, onto the veil. wouldn't it? That is so, beautiful. And that, so, or um, make a, ch yeah. a bracelet. You can even have it as a bracelet charm, sorry. As yeah, a bracelet charm. No, no, no. As a bracelet charm to come off. That's amazing. And there's, um, so, because it's, it's got a beautiful bail and yeah. a link... The bail is key. The bit yes. key with this. Get yourself a nice solid jump ring and you can pop it you on a bracelet it. as well. Really so it really worked really well. Um, so yeah, so, uh, it would be a beautiful pendant um, on its own because also it's very small. Some people don't like big jewellery and they <laughs> just want a little piece, you know. So, yes. And just on a chain is lovely. But then I, I like big chunky jewellery, so <laughs> make it as a charm or um, an element of a... And another necklace. Well, you know what? That's the key. When you're paying this kind of price point for a gemstone like this, you think to yourself, do you know what? 
because it's such a low price, but because it is such a world famous gemstone, I've got that flexibility to do with it what I want to do with it. Mm. If you are a jewelry maker, a jewelry designer, if you want to get creative with it, go for it. No one's going to stop you. Absolutely. Right. Well done for already checking out. Lots of you popping this into the basket. Perfect present. £29.99. I'm going to come and put it up next to the neck if that's all right, Mike and Ollie. Is that all right? Right. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Oh, it's exciting. Right, here we go. Let me just, just bear with me. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. That is stunning, isn't it? That is absolutely stunning. And you know, this is the thing, isn't it? It's just pretty. It's just going to go with everything. You've got that beautiful drill right in the centre yeah. where that gorgeous DX just works its way through. I do want to know the best thing. I do want... Yes! Oh, this is perfect! Right, honestly, I'm coming here. Even when I'm not working, I'm coming here seeing what's going on with these prizes. Right, there you go. £29, £99. Well done to everybody who has already checked out. I've got so many of you. Hello, everyone. How is your Saturday going, by the way? Are you, are you on those Saturday vibes? Today, it is not only National Fishing Day, it's National Picnic Day as well. <laughs> so you best be having a picnic for your tea. <laughs> Or you could make yeah. a silver dove. Like I've, now I've got creative. Oh, now I'd make she's, a now silver. I'd make a silver dove um, of a love, a dove of love. Dove of love. <laughs> and then it'd be holding the heart in its beak. No, that's what I'd do. <laughs> <laughs> the dirt with the love. <laughs> 29 pounds and 99 pence right here, right now at Jewelry Maker. Now, we've got to address this because I am sorry, but I, I am, this is what's speechless. Don't get me wrong, the Burmese is beautiful. The heart shape, right? And obviously, I know Rachel will know this as well, and I know you all will out there. When it comes to learning how to cut, you'd... £24.99. £24.99. This is not right. This is so, so not right. Now, I was just saying, yeah, but yeah, but you wouldn't even, you'd rarely get this gemstone in the high street. This isn't a gemstone that you can just go out and source easily. Absolutely not. We are a hundred pounds more affordable than ones that we're seeing elsewhere. But do your own research. Now, that was £122.63. <laughs> so you take it. I mean, <laughs> We're a hundred pounds lower. We are literally a hundred pounds lower, and we've got those extras. Are we? You're gonna do it. You're gonna match it. Literally a hundred pounds off. Right. That's it. The, the, the guys are saying, no, 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 no. That is it. That is how we roll. £22.63. pence. It is a weird price. I'm not used to seeing those kind of numbers together. <laughs> Tell me you're getting a bit OCD on the number. You... <laughs> right, he's going to round it down. For those of you who checked out, I can see multi-buying as well. You must be sat there just thinking, oh my, is this actually happening? We've not even finished. We're rounding it. We're rounding it. <laughs> now, one thing I was saying is, you know that heart shape? When it comes to the industry of um, gem cutters, one, one of the hardest known shapes within their industry, within their training, is heart. So when you cut a heart-shaped gemstone, you have to be so, so careful because if you miscut it and it splits, that is it. That gemstone is done for in terms of what you want to create it. It takes around eight years of training just to be able to do a heart shape. That's like, that's incredible. This is what I was just saying. You would crack it right down the middle and then you'd have to use it for something different and your, and your vision. And to drill in the middle to fit, yeah. um, because they're um, attaching the strip of silver around it. There's, there's a, there's a, an, oh. an area that they have to uh, grip into. So they've done all that as well. So it's, it's a lot of work <laughs> gone into making it. See, that is from Rachel Norris. An expert on when we're coming to jewelry design so do you know what don't just take my word for it take the experts word for it it's That's amazing it, yeah. right uh, mandy look at the shipping cost on that uh, 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 look at the shipping cost on that other one well, let's have a look mandy i missed it i tell you what mandy now it's getting mandy now it's getting past you is it my lovely <laughs> mandy 29 pounds 78 pence the shipping What's it, what's it going to come with? Is it going to come with its own van or something? That's the most expensive postage and packing I've ever heard of. Absolutely crazy. I tell you what, honestly, all I can say to you, my lovelies, is if you've joined us this morning and you've just wanted to 
come and have a little look. You want to come see what is going on. We've joined with Rachel Norris. Day. We've had a, we've even had John pop on for his birthday. And I tell you what, to be able to bring genuine gemstones with all that detail. And like Rachel said, you can do it if you want to have it on that necklace, if you want that beautiful heart shape. You can do that all for this kind of price, under £20. You almost can see, you know what? I'm going to try something new with this gemstone because it's at that price point where you think, yeah, you know what? I can actually, I can for that price. I can afford to experiment with it and try something different. In fact, um, do you know presenter Jeff who's over on Gems? We were talking about this gemstone the other day. We went to one of those, you know, escape rooms. <laughs> that, that were a night. It were horror themed. Yes. Me and oh, Jeff, literally, <laughs> we're on floor crying and we're talking about these different gemstones and we're talking about uh, the Burmese jade eye because his favourite gemstone is Grand Diddy, right? And he was just saying, you know, the colours, it's those incredible tones and those incredible refreshing palettes. Right, we are going to have to carry on. Lots of you with this in your baskets. We've only got half an hour left until I get my hour with Rachel. <laughs> It's going right. I'll pop that. Shall I'll pop that down nice and safely? <laughs> right. Are you ready to see more jade? Yes, please. Now, can I just check? I've got. Are we going for our necklaces? There we go. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, only the precious Taipei jade, aren't right? <laughs> If you have just joined us, hello, I am Claire. It's my first day. <laughs> so I'm allowed to... Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you what, though, on, honestly, what I what I like my first day on, on Gemporia Lifestyle. That were, a, that were a nightmare. We don't talk about that day. <laughs> Basically, my chair broke. <laughs> and as, as I was talking, it was going lower and lower and lower. Right, are you ready to see some more beautiful jade? Have you got good chairs? Right, I've got good. I need a sturdy chair. <laughs> Right, here we go. I've got such a bad laugh, sorry. I bet you're at home turning, turning noise box down. Right, let's take a little look. We have got your incredible, now this is Taipei. We've got your green Burmese jade. I mean, can I just, I'm just gonna stop for right a second and just point out that carrot weight, 469. That is just shy of 500 carrots. 500 carrots. It does not feel natural to say that, does it? This is Taipei. And again, all of our grading, all of our pricing is done. Oh, sorry, not our grade. Our pricing is done. Um, we get our pieces appraised and the experts, they give us an idea of where we should be at. And we never go, we never go anywhere near that. Now, to get rounded jade in general is so, so impressive. The prices can go through the roof. And do you know, I don't know if you've ever seen it. Let me know if you have, though. Have you ever seen jade? Is that all we've got? Seven chances. Right, listen, we're gonna have to put on a clock because we are, we've literally, we've got seven and there's already, you're already in the baskets. The first one's already gone. I'm gonna, can I put it, put it up on the neck? Is that all right, my lovely? I'm gonna put it up on the neck because you know I love my greens. Beautiful. Right, let's take, oh, wow. Wow, I am actually, that is actually stunning. Look, oh, do you love it, Rachel? I, I had a jade like piece, but I've left it at home. And I've made it into a tiger. I had a ti um, tiger face yeah. and the jade because it's the year of the tiger. But those stones are so big, 12 millimetres. Huge, 12. I mean, They're and so to get big. this amount as well on this strand, Beautiful. it's just like literally the second you see it, you automatically know, hang on, this is something special. Oh, this special. is something special. And it is, it's type A green jade eye. And you know, it's just that nice round shape. Like Rachel said, the sizes oh, are huge. You've got it was some mark, so sorry to, to you've no, got no, some go on, Rachel. You, you've got actually, because they're so big, you can really see Look at the marbling and the striations and the actual surface formations in it. It's absolutely it gives it a real chance to look at the to to be able real to opportunity to see the stones structure. That's so cute. Honestly, Rachel, mm. like she just said, you know, the bigger the pieces, let me bring it down. The bigger the pieces. Oh, well done, my lovelies. Well done. Love Isla, that. you've got four of them. We've only got two left, my lovely. <laughs> Watch Isla. I've got to ask you now, my lovely. Maybe you're gifting them. Those. Or are you thinking, do you know what, Claire? I'm good. I've got a design. Do you reckon? Right, 
Ollie and Tom just said, Isla, you must have a design in mind. What is your design? Literally, even Rachel's like, this is yeah, going to be exciting. I'm Whatever Isla's got planned, this is going to be amazing. And it's going to be amazing. Congratulations, my love. I'm so happy mm. for you. Now, it reminds me, do you know, like, like you said, though, the bigger size, it's like when you see, with, you know, Malachi, you get those bigger, and you can see those we layerings. See the I mean, you've got some, be yes. in that strand, you've got so many different... Um, Yes, uh, yeah, so different patterns. Yeah, and yeah. this is the thing, and this is what makes me so excited, and this is why I love working here, because these are genuine gemstones, and you get to see all those incredible tones, just like Rachel Lovely. said. yes. Because it moves from, you know those lighter I tones? I love the line They're on almost it. like yeah, they're mystical beautiful. clouds, aren't they? And then they come into these heavier tones. Mm. Have you ever seen jadeite in different ways? Have you ever seen them in sculptures? The sculptures are fantastic with this gemstone right i've got to say oh well done everyone i've literally i've got two left and then that is it with oh there's only one left i am sorry they are going to sell out denise jeanette i jeanette jeanette my jeanette did was this from you or did you say to your husband uh, excuse me do you know i hint i hint all the time at christian when he's watching my shows i text him on my break i says oh i really like that gold ring <laughs> And terrible. Right, we have got, we're still sticking with the same gemstone, but we've got a different size. So they were our largest, but we've only got nine chances. But I'm not, to be honest with you, I'm not surprised. It's Burmese jade. I, I wouldn't expect to come in and you say, you know what, Claire, we've got, you know, 200. That would not happen. Right, let's have a little look. Already, already. Now, oh, maker. I like that name. I've seen a lot of makers. Oh, do they, wow, like collectors, jewelry makers. Oh, that's exciting. It's nice to see makers coming through. That's amazing. We're gonna do 30 seconds, but we're gonna to have to be snappy. I've literally got less than half an hour before I get to sit down with Rachel and explore a collection. Right, first one has already gone, 149 pounds. You know we're not gonna stop there. You know we're gonna do an amazing Christ. It is, of course, Saturday. We're in the Saturday mood. We're ready for the weekend. We're gonna get you some special home and enjoy them and send us pictures because there's no better. I know Anne, she sent me the other day, she sent me a picture of an Ethiopian opal she got on my show. And oh, it just look, you know when it catch the light, you're beautiful. Right, get ready for this price drop. I know lots of you are getting ready to check out. Right, that is it. Come on, Tom, where are you going with this now? Where are you going with this, Tom? I'm not ready for it, I'm not ready. <laughs> £69.99. and pence. If you've never joined us before and you think, well, hang on, Claire, what's that? £17.49. That's split pay, my love. For we split pays. And you pay that per month. £17. I spent £17 like that. Two meals at Weatherspoons. £69.99. And nine. I am classy. I like to eat in good places, all right? <laughs> <laughs> it's the cocktail pictures I go for. Right, £69.99. pence. Lots of you. Oh, I've got to be careful. I've only got five left now. Another one has just gone away. Well done, my lovely. So size-wise, this is your 10 millimetres. Carrot, 345 carats. Do you know what is incredible about gemstones? And I was always taught this at the beginning. If you ever get over a carrot of a gemstone, you're doing well. How about 345? <laughs> It'll be all right, does it? Imagine these on your Ollie Bobs where you aren't sure, Tom. Right, let's... Oh, these are they remind me a bit of turquoise as well. Do you know what I mean? I'd, I mean, it'd be nice to have. I mean, obviously you've got some graduated sizes available. Yeah. You can actually then take some from one strand and make a graduated necklace, That's can't you? You see, if any one of you, any of you, got the other strands as well. That's what you can do. I like that. You know, but yeah, I, like I mean, again, it's got the same effective surface of these textures that you had in the larger strand, and then you. But, with a 10 millimeter and then you can go you can put, give yourself some stretches as well with the stardust beads in between <laughs> you know, Rachel um, you're gonna be getting everyone's bit. imaginations running <laughs> wild now but like Rachel said graduation I have got to move on I am so so sorry I'm gonna have to leave that there's loads of this in your basket Rachel we're gonna go for your idea right. now yeah these are now one thing I will know I do know about Jewmaker in terms of this size this is a big favorite isn't it the most popular and useful size of all. Right, let's take a little look. Again, it's that incredible jade art. 135. Now, the designers here, when they actually talk about this size, and you'll know this more than me, this is my first day, I know you've been here for, for, for a long time, and they would call it is the desert 
design, the desert signs, because if you were stuck, stuck on a desert island, the desert island. Yeah. <laughs> Look at me. What am I? Stuck I'm like just, when you're stuck on a camel you know in the what? middle of a desert. It's just because. <laughs> Desert That's Island. I was thinking of the beach, and I started thinking Leonardo DiCaprio, and then it all goes downhill, doesn't it? <laughs> so you know Desert Island Dis, yeah. that program where yeah. you can only take one gemstone yes, with you, absolutely. one gemstone size. What gemstone size would they take? And this is the experts, and they say a six mil. Rachel, you're one of our design experts. Yes. What do you think about this size? Again, um, just exactly as you said, it's versatile, and um, you can. It's great for bracelets, mm -hmm. um, and it's great for necklaces, and it will fit into design. So um, if you're making a wow work piece, it'll fit. fit uh, nicely in. You can combine it with sea beads. You can macrame with it. You can just do anything it'll be great for earrings it's not too heavy for earrings you know because i don't think you could put you could put the 12 mil as an earring drop but in the six mil um drop on an earring is beautiful with a bit of chain yeah. so you've got the earring post the chain silver chain and then the the, the single like drop that. single six millimeter i mean that's perfect isn't it so but with the three sizes you've got three graduated necklaces for example well honestly you know what, Rachel? The, 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 they just told me in the gallery that we could not bring the eight mil because it already sold out today. Already sold out, wow. right? Some people got the eight mil as well. Look yeah. At that. Wow. So yes, when you it. we have an eight mil as well. So oh. when you see it all together, Imagine. you can actually really compare. So the twelve mils were seventy nine. The eight mils, so it's ten mils. They were sixty nine, and now we have got. The eight, the eight mils, which would have been here, they would have been 59, and then we move on to our six mil. Come on. <laughs> Come on now. We're getting good at maths today, aren't we? <laughs> 49 pounds and 99 pence. Yes, it does. We, we've worked the maths out. Tom, 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 are you gonna... He's doing it again to me, literally. He's saying, does it, though? Does it? <laughs> right. I am not sure where we're going to be going with this. However, jewellery makers, jewellery designers, everyone coming to join in. Honestly, thank you so much for coming to join us. You are making our Saturday. You are making our Saturday. Right, we're going to bring it down for you. A crazy price. We've got three seconds left. If you want to get ready to check out, go for it. I've not got too many of these at all. <laughs> I thought we were going to stop at £49 and £99, £29 and £99 for type A, beautiful Burmese, a gemstone that we can't, we can't even keep up with demand for this gemstone. We've got it here in all these different options and it's solid and it's stunning. And it's this, and you know, the, those sizes, even the six mil, look at it capturing the tones. It just doesn't want to stop, does it? But my question is, what are you going to do with it? Give us a message and let us know. What's your plan with it? Are you going to use it into different pieces of jewellery? Have you got a vision? Have you got a creation? Or are you thinking, do you know what, Claire? I just literally want it as a bracelet because at the end of the day, it's green Burmese. <laughs> it's green Burmese. Maybe if you got the kits earlier at 9am, you know the ones with the elastic in, and you're thinking, oh, my mind's coming together. I can see how this is going to go. <laughs> so we're nine pounds, nine to nine pounds. Huge congratulations, Greater Manchester. We've got Cheshire, we've got Syria, we've got Mess Midlands, we've got... Well done, everyone, for coming in, coming, getting involved at those kind of prices. Genuine gemstones. Absolutely amazing. Right, what's up, my lovely? Oh, I do have some earrings. Oh, 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 right there, my lovely. I know we love the jade. I know it's Brucey film, but I do have some earrings to show it you in. Now, they are our star by, so I'm literally going to see you in just a second. <laughs> we are going to have to get a rocking and rolling because that masterclass is coming very very soon with our Rachel right and do not forget we've got Rachel's booklet as well which feels wrong calling it a booklet it is a huge 64 pound book a 64 page book <laughs> 
So 64 pages is not a booklet, Rachel. No. <laughs> <laughs> now, we have got our gorgeous jade earrings. They are just beautiful. Now, the level of detail and design that comes in in that floral display, not the easiest thing to create when working with genuine gemstones. And you just get lost right there in the center. Now, I'm just going to turn them so slightly to the side because I want you to actually see the profile on them. Look at the profile. They are stunning as well. So you're getting that fabulous gemstone, but you're getting the design and you're getting it in that beautiful earring coming through now. Now, oh, we get this on the lever back earrings. So I, yeah, very, very secure. One of the most popular, one of the most secure, one of the most durable, if you like, earring attachments that we actually do. So if you're going to, well, that's, you know what? I always think about this. So when we've got a design team and they're up there, <laughs> they're up there, not, not up there, they're up there. And while they're actually there, they get given the actual raw gemstones. And then when they're designing and creating it together, if you have a really precious gemstone, you have to be really careful with what you're going to sell it with. It's got to be something that is a beautiful metal anyway. It's got to be something that's secure. So you get that with the lever back. Now, Rachel, I know you make pieces. I mean, you're an incredible designer. I, I what do you think I can't make a lever, lever back, back earring, though. I can't make one of those. I can make a shepherd's hook. Yeah. But I, I can't personally uh, make... A lever back. I know other silversmiths might be able to, but uh, you know, I haven't got the skill level for that. And oh. you know, I could uh, the time and the hours it would take me to make that really? lever back. Yeah. You know, so you, know, you couldn't. Um, you know, I wouldn't. I would charge sort of, you know, <laughs> masses, massive time yeah. to, to make it. And you're not. You're not going to be paying that today. I'm no. Sure. No. No. So exactly. You've got quality, <laughs> a quality finding. <laughs> in a ready-made piece that will go with another set. So you say you've made up your jade necklace and you know you just want to wear a special pair of earrings with it, that's, that's probably a go-to pair to go with that, you know? Yeah, and I wonder whether, I think we do sell um, some jadeite flowers and things like that too. There are carved jadeites that mm. we sell. And so these would again yeah. go with some of the other carved jadeite flowers that um, we sell on the channel too. So it's a perfect, com you know, companion to those pieces that you do make it does but you know what honestly talking about carving jade and and, and and you know i mean even throughout history the second that you put those carvings with it oh my goodness it becomes so so expensive it's such one of those gemstones that even now even gemologists in the industry are just fascinated by it and because what you've got here is yes you've got the jade out but to have that level of carving and it's been done properly you know like designer glenn Lara, when he carves his pieces such as his moon faces the precision that it takes yes. and the artistry that is what we are getting we're getting that next level 44 pounds and 99 pounds tom <laughs> you just said that is not even that is not tom honestly you you put me through <laughs> Because I won't expect these kind of prices. Tom, after after this show, I'm having a pint of cider. <laughs> right, we have got, <laughs> I'm gonna have a pint of cider. He says, I can't argue that. What about you today at home? Are you literally are you getting in the picnic spirit? <laughs> Watch Rachel, we'll go out and it'll be chucking it down. Now we have found a price comparison. Let's give you an idea of something similar. So there we go. They're not jade eye. It's not the right colour, is it? But it's just that look, isn't it? They're trying to get that look. I don't think... Um, so charm me, forget me, not earrings in jade. I don't, I've never seen jade in that tone before. So mm. £45, we're already lower than that. And the one thing I will say, and I know lots of you have been here for a long time, but if you are brand new and you think, oh, one thing I will say is if you are going to get your gemstones, do get them from somewhere trusted because it does, it makes, well, so, it makes such a difference. Think, right, yeah. We're going to pop that clock on because I know we're going to get ready for this price. These are our only jade eye earrings that we have got. So if you've been thinking, it's time to zhuzh up my collection. I love that word, shush up. Right, so down we come. Lots of you coming to join in. I wish each and every one of you the best luck because my goodness, if you can end the day thinking, I've got a rare gemstone, got a beautiful carving and I've got that gorgeous lever back. Absolutely sensational. Now the drop itself that comes down, 
because of that drop, which is approximately around, well, well the flowers themselves are around 14 millimetres. When that drop comes through, hair up, hair down, doesn't matter. They're going to stand out because of that drop. Whether you've got that hair colour, whether you've got that dark raven, whether you've got that beautiful silver grey tones, whether you've got a gorgeous blonde, it doesn't matter because it is such an incredible gemstone. It's going to do it. It's going to do its own work. Isn't it? It's going to do its own work. Right, uh, uh, that noise. <laughs> <laughs> Get used to that noise now. £19 and 99 oh, pence. The amount of summer events we've all got coming up now about Jubilee. We've got weddings, we've got birthday parties. It's National Picnic Day. You've, you, I wish I could send these to you now. <laughs> so you'd be inside for National Picnic Day with your nice earrings on. Well done on checking out. Lots of you multi buying. We are still looking at a Kim. Kim. Kim, 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 everyone is saying, because you were the first one to check out with two. I know. Right, are you gifting or are they both for yourself? <laughs> if you are gifting, would you actually would you actually tell? Would you actually tell someone that how much you paid for them? <laughs> I can I tell you what I got the other day for my Auntie Dawn. She loves dolphins. She's got pictures of dolphins all around. She's got tattoos of dolphins. And I got her a dolphin pendant. I actually paid seven pounds ninety-nine. I was like, I'm not telling her. I'm not telling her. <laughs> that, that's ten pounds each piece, individual piece. Actually, when you think of that, I mean that's one hour minimum wage or something. Oh God, I don't know what minimum wage is, uh, but, but you know what I mean? You couldn't make that in an hour. You no. couldn't, you couldn't no. not carve it and, and source it and get the silver and, I mean, it's incredible value. That's it's really, really good value. And it's a beautiful piece, piece of jewelry. But you know what? It was some kind of, but you know what? I saw a fit. Oh, sorry, love. I'm just moving mm -hmm. stuff around now. Look how bossy I've got since I've been here today. And you know what though? One thing I did say, she opened it dinner the other day and she was literally, she was just ecstatic. She was so, so happy. Why have I put the earrings over there? What is going on? This is my first day. How, I cannot, I'm sorry. I bet you're probably thinking, it's my first day and I'm just moving jewelry around left right and center <laughs> am i allowed to i think i'm allowed to get away with it if they ever do have me back <laughs> I can't, I can't, I'll have to be more grown up next time. Right then, my darlings, I have got 20 left. Congratulations. And I know it's Saturday. I know it's National Picnic Day. I know you're all going to be heading out in a few hours, enjoying that sunshine. By the way, do let me know that it's still sunny out there because me and Rachel are ready to enjoy the afternoon. <laughs> let us know that it's still glorious out there. But the fact that you've managed to get yourself a little something, and I know we talk about gifting, but you know what I want to say sometimes? I want to say, forget about gift them, get them for yourself. Mm. <laughs> Have them for yourself. You've got to enjoy them, haven't you, my lovely? Right, huge congratulations, Maker, Trevor, Sean, Alison, Christine, Mary, Angela, Jane, Linda, Kim, Sandra, Diane, Gabrielle, Jax. Wow. <laughs> How do you feel? How do you feel? <laughs> Are you sat at home like, oh. <laughs> Now, Lilia, we did do a deal of the day. Hello, 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 hello. However, <laughs> well, I'm terrible at of everything. It is, of course, time for the steal of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Right, it is of course steal of the day. Now, earlier, was it last? Was it last week? You had the auction, didn't you? Yes, it was last week. We had a huge auction. We think it was with Dave, wasn't? It? Oh, Dave, so amazing. He must be shattered. He's just got back from Las Vegas, hasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yep, it might have been no, Jake was over at last week. If you remember, give us a message because we can't remember who they launched with. But it was last week. I know that Dave normally does a lot of the work with the Jade, um, but we've got them with us. Now, it was somebody on doing a special deal. It might have even been Toby. And one thing that I will say is we have managed to get four millimeters. Now, why is this so huge? Why is this so exciting? Because the team was telling us, I'm new, I'm still, I'm still learning here on Jewelry Maker. But the team was saying in terms of that size, it is just 
perfect when you're making your gems. Do you want me to show, show, show it you? I bet you're thinking, come on, Claire, let's see it. I do do that a lot, by the way. I do, I do end up chatting away. <laughs> And I am hiding my fingers as well because uh, this today I came and I accidentally, <laughs> I accidentally uh, I knocked off my fingernail. <laughs> Right to them, my darlings. So here we go. It is, of course, your beautiful Type A Burmese Jade. Incredible, incredibly rare gemstone. Really hard to source. The reason why we can suck it is because we've got that amazing relationship with the team. Right, let's take a little look. £24.99. That is... No, 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 no. I can hear them all down here saying, no, don't even think about it, Claire. No, 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 no. It's Saturday. We're not going to go there. It's the steal of the day. We are 10 minutes away from the master class, which is going to be sensational as it is. Right, get ready. We have been, we've been so excited for this master class, honestly. She, Rachel's coming. Rachel is coming, I promise you. She's at the ready. She's getting all everything lined up for me. <laughs> Right, it's your 50 carats. Here we go. Let's bring that price down. Beautiful, beautiful size. Let me know what your ideas are. What are you going to create? What are you going to make? I, I'm thinking I need, I'm thinking I want to make a keyring. I want to make a keyring. I love keyrings. £19 and 99 pence. Huge congratulations. So many of you adding this to your basket. We've literally got a few minutes left before we move on to our masterclass. If you manage to get that piece home, if you manage to secure yourself, Burmese Jade, I've got a high five. Five. <laughs> I five, my lovely. It's absolutely incredible. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Now, when we are, what was that, my lovely? <gasps> We're just saying now, we, the team have just said, do be careful because there is quite a lot checking out. And because we've managed to get the four millimetre, we've not got absolutely tons of them. So do just bear that in mind for us, bear that in mind. But in terms of the sizes, I'm going to bring the other ones over just so you can see what we're talking about when we talk about different sizes, especially for that graduated look. Right, there you go, my love. I'm just going to pop them all together. <laughs> Poor Mike's having to keep up with wherever I'm going. <laughs> so when we look at those sizes, when we're coming in with that four, can you see there the creativity that you can have? I love a graduated design as well. I like the four. I think the four in terms of, I'm just going to bring this piece over. I know it's not the same gemstone. I just want to show you though, you know, when we're talking about about different sizes can you see that graduation where it starts off small and it builds and builds and builds you're being able to do the same especially if you've got some of those other gemstones from earlier right let's have a little look is this the steal of the day right this is the steal of the day I like a steal of the day <laughs> £12 and 49 pence. I, you know what I said earlier? The price of that bracelet was the same as two meals at Weatherspoons. I can't even get two meals at Weatherspoons for £12.49 pence. Absolutely amazing. Cheshire, well done, Gabrielle, Denise, Eva, Chris. Jean, Lynn, Irene, well, Middlesex as well coming to join you. We've got David, we've got Helen, we've got Maker, we've got Devon, we've got Shirley, we've got Sarah. Shirley, Shirley, it wasn't Shirley, was it you, my lovely, the other day from Gems? Because I, um, I, if it is, let me know, because I something well funny happened on my drive home after that shift, I'll tell you in a bit. Oh, well done as well, we've got lots of you from Cheshire coming in to... I actually have noticed that there's a lot of northerners coming in. Is that because I don't have to put like subtitles? <laughs> is that because you can understand my accent? Everybody else is thinking, what is she talking about? Right, my lovelies, massive congratulations. I've got Sarah coming in, I've got Gong coming in as well. Absolutely incredible. I'll pop these over there. Now, I know, I know it's that time of the day. I know, it's, it's near lunchtime. We've got such an exciting hour to, to end the day off with you before you go off and celebrate for the rest of the day. We have got none other than jewellery expert Rachel Norris. When we talk about an incredible designer, when we talk about a designer that takes inspiration from all of every walks of life when she looks into the past when she looks into the history when she looks into the future and she can create this kind of work now we have actually got her for a whole hour she is when we talk about someone who's really interested in intricate designs in using gemstones in wire work in silver clay pieces in combining everything together and do you know what we've got here in the studio and we're going to be going through lots of different pieces with her bring your questions for her we've only got her for an hour so pop into the kitchen get yourself a fresh brew 
get on the sofa and come and see me and Rachel. I'll see you in two minutes. <laughs> Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. After the success that we had last Monday with my Jewelry Vault Raider show, we are back for more this Monday at 11 a.m. I have just come back from the Jewelry Maker warehouse. I've been in there since about half past eight this morning. It's now just after midday, and I have got for you an even better, dare I say it, an even better selection than I had last week. When was the last time you saw Alexandrite here at Jewelry Maker? Well, I've got three strands for you. The last three strands in the building. I've got Star Garnet, Amalobi Sphine, Pink Sapphire, some of the most beautiful column kunzite, and many more pieces to bring you. But I'll say it once again. If you want to get some of the most irreplaceable pieces that you can find in the Jewelry Maker vault right now, then come and join me this Monday at 11 a.m for one of our beautiful Vault Raider shows. with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker.
Welcome back, welcome, welcome back. It is our final hour. I know you've been waiting. My name is Claire. It's my first ever show. Thank you for welcoming me. It's been a, it's been it was nerve wracking. <laughs> it's been amazing. Now I do want to introduce you to our designer for today. You have been with us all morning, haven't you, Rachel? I have, and it's been oh, I've been involved and mm -hmm. just lovely watching you. You've <laughs> got a great knowledge of gemstones, <laughs> and I love the fact that you're just telling and. Uh, it's so good to have that knowledge of gemstones oh. and how they, you know, it's really coming oh, across. Really bless you. Well, Rachel, yeah. I've been doing a little bit of background research. So in mm. terms of a designer who really captivates different designs from mm. everything that she sees around her and then brings it into her pieces. And, you know, we spoke mm. earlier about, Rachel, you, you began, didn't you, when, um, when you were a little one, when you were at maternity leave. Yes. And what a way, what a way to start. It's such an inspiring inspiring story and here you are now with, with me yeah, yeah. and with all of you and I know you've been waiting we're going to be working through some incredible kits and then this is the exciting bit Rachel has got her beautiful beautiful Aztec goddess summer collection are you mm. excited to bring it I am because it's a design I made about as I think it's a, a three or four years four years ago and um and I was writing a book, and what I've done is actually sort of brought the chapters to the book as booklets so that we can get kits together, we've got time to get kits together, and, and we can, I can go into more detail. If I wrote a book, I wouldn't, I'd have to compress that into sort of, uh, there just wouldn't be the detail. So I've been able to expand all the designs and then make three of something, three different designs with, with similar elements so that people can, you know, go different ways with the design. So there's, there's a sunshine in there, there's the Aztec um, one with the headdress and then the celestial one with the sun rays coming out of the base, um, you know, and it, they are inspired by sort of South American, sort of an Aztec and, and Inca South American designs. But um, because um, I don't live there, I basically just made them just part of, well, how I would make yeah. them. Bring a bit <laughs> you know, of Aztec yeah, down to uh, Cornwall, isn't Cornwall. it? <laughs> <laughs> well, the sunshine we get. So it's, it is. Um, it's a, a bounteous time of year. We've got the sort of heart. The sort of everything's growing. The sunshine's shining. Um, we appreciate it's, it's coming up to the longest day next week. Is it on Tuesday or something? Is it longest yeah, day? I'm going to see Diana it? Ross. <laughs> you see Diana <laughs> Ross? On, yeah. On, oh on, anyway. Um, but uh, and, and so it's we're coming. We've got the sun. The most sunshine we're going to get all year, aren't we? So <laughs> and Perfect. so this is this is. <laughs> part of the celebration of, of the summer really amazing so, so there you have it i know you've been waiting for rachel i know i know many of you many of you find her design so so inspiring this is your hour now this is all about you if you want to send rachel a message if you want to see oh i think you've got a message oh, already from jenny hey. i just i'm also i it just makes my heart sing when i see people who who've gone through the booklet and they've been able to make something beautiful for themselves and I can, they can be so proud, they can be so proud of what you've made because I know the effort it takes, you know, the little, and the, the um, and intricacy, yeah. but because they've taken it step by step with the booklets, they've been able to achieve it and they've learned everything, learned so much with the, with the pieces that they made. Perfect. Each, and that's what I'm saying in the booklet, it, they look complicated, but um, there's three separate designs in there. Mm -hmm. so. Um, you can, do you want to pick up the book and have yeah, a look? Yeah, definitely. But you know what, um, Jenny, thank you for your message. I love that. Frogs as well. Um, so, so <laughs> Jenny's been getting going. Now, is, we're going to yeah. get the book. We've got all the book ready for you, which is on the yeah. website. We are going to be starting with the kits, aren't yes. we? We're going to get started. Yeah. And then, well, then we've got our, our master class. Yeah. <laughs> so where should we start in terms of well, the, kids here? Um, amethyst. Should we start with yes, our amethyst? They're all, they're all lovely. They're all beautiful, actually. But literally, I mean, oh. look at the size of it. Shall I pop it there for you? Is that all right, Mike? Can you see it there, my lovely? I never know where to put my hands. Right, so what have we got here? We're talking about kits. So all these kits are put together. You have got that beautiful amethyst, that gorgeous ruby, and then we bring in all those other pieces. Now, we are going to see really, really soon, Rachel, of how she'd actually use these pieces. But, Rachel, in terms of a mm. kit, what would you think it's about this ideal one? ideal because you've got, um, you know, the beautiful cabochon and to set everything into. You've got um, all the different bead sizes and colours, um, and you've got some the, the different wires that you need. Um, to, to put the piece together. So you've got the structural wire, 
um, and you can make the piece up with 0.25 and you might have to add in some 0.4 which we can get on the website but you know most of it can be achieved with this these these gauges here and you get stacks and stacks and stacks I mean um, you'll easily have one while left over <laughs> yeah. um, so um, and the, the cabochon has all sort of been ordered in specially, specially for this show. It really has. And so, wow. you know, yeah. Wow. <laughs> so with the kit, we have got, let's take a little look. And I want to look at sizes. So these are your copper wires. So in terms of, literally, like Rachel said, you will end up with pieces left over. But it's good because if you're building your kit, or if you're already an expert, you've already got lots of pieces to your kit. It is all about just adding into it and building, building it, especially if you're at those beginning parts. And that's why with Rachel, with the book, with the guide, it's just fantastic. Now, we do have the spacer beads. Let me just show you the spacer beads as well. Yeah, These useful. are key. Yeah. Now, we don't have the wiring. Ah, is it not in the kit? Is it not? Oh. Oh, but don't worry, we'll do that separately, so don't worry. So you get your spacer beads, get you. you get your gemstone, huge piece. I like cabochon. Yes, and they are. I mean, that's the whole it? thing. And they, you, yeah. you're setting them as a background, as a colour, a oh, canvas, yeah. and you're putting artwork on front of it. Yeah. Mm, yes, goodness. exactly. Yes. And, and yeah. the booklet as well. And the, but you see, oh, yay. <laughs> and um, the, these oval ones are going to be mm -hmm. used to make um, the Aztec they're almost full size. Can you see the Aztec ones um, and the celestial ones? And you'll need the round ones to make the solar ones. But um, so this will make two of the designs. Um, you know, you can choose which one, and then you can make that. Oh, and the colour is lovely. I don't have the purple one, so I'm going to have to get that. <laughs> <Make it up. laughs> Because <laughs> uh, it's beautiful. And it, each one will have a different look, you see, because um, you've got the turquoise in one, you've got the sort of um, the greens and, the, and the, the mauves, and then this one's got the really strong, dramatic purples and silver, which I think will make a beautiful sort of um, combination. I think this is this will be lovely to work with, actually. That's oh, lovely. Amazing. So... Yeah, so yeah, we've got perfect, perfect. Um, you know what I like about it? I know it sounds good, but you know if you're going to get something, because sometimes if you are new and it can be almost a little bit overwhelming. Well, this is it. Well, this is it's, broke, it's, it is broken down step by step. So don't you don't look at the pendants and think, oh, that's too much. It's all, oh, look at that. It's too complicated. You've got one bit by bit by bit. So I'm just going to sort of, have um, look yeah, let's have a look. Down pictures. So there's, I mean, there's an example of a page. So this is making one of the, the bit, the frame elements. You have to come out. There we are, sorry. Um, and then this is making some, some of the elements. So every single step I've broken down, I, I would probably taken, gosh, about 10,000 10, pictures. And I'm not, over, <laughs> um, not overestimating, 10,000 pictures. And then I selected the best ones, the best in focus ones of each stage. And then uh, cropped, edited, lightened, cropped out dog hairs, um, <laughs> my awful fingers, which is, you know, whatever, but I'll have, I'll smooth, my fingernails yeah. are ever so smooth in the in the, <laughs> these pictures, because I've gone through even to my fingernails and, and sorted them out. Yeah. So, and then um, and made it as focused in as possible so that you can see in detail every element of every stage. And I've written all the text. As I was making it, I wrote the text of how it was made. And then when I went back through and remade them, I would go back and check the text, That's more or less, to um, help you. There wasn't too many mistakes. Honestly, <laughs> honestly. I mean, for, for, for a kit, I cannot believe what we're actually looking at because we've got the booklet. So we've basically got you in our living mm. room to come with us. <laughs> then we've yeah. got 64 pages of that, and it's broken down. And we will, we will have another yeah. good look at that in a moment. But you gemstones as well you've mm. got amethyst you're not going to believe it you've got ruby that beautiful natural gemstone and look at the size of the cabochon amethyst coming here weight wise i mean in terms of how impressed i am with the gemstones that have actually come show with these kits because yeah. it's, this is not some you know little i'm getting started these are genuine, genuine gemstones kind of and the thing is is and i always think this as well because let's say if you're going to do this separate right let's say if we're going to do all these pieces separate let's say if you went to get ruby separate amethyst separate and um, that huge cambridge piece if it was to get your book if it was to get everything separate yeah. you would be looking nowhere near this kind of price ruby easy it should be well over well over 30 pounds as it is but it's all there for you it's all together now do you know what my concern can i be honest with you rachel what my worry would have been is if i was sat here i was sat home and I'm watching it, and I watched you do your demonstration, and then it's that after bit, and you think, 
I want to carry on, but you, he's all there in the book. Yes. Rose, he said, exactly. I love your books, Rachel. Oh, They're so you, easy darling. to follow, and I have most of your books. Thank oh, you, thank you. Well. I know, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. <gasps> right, and then my darling. I've done a series, so I've got to like, it's, I'm so happy that I've, I've got this series of books, and they'll, I yeah. try and do them in the same sort of format and design, so there's like, you know, uh, um, you know, all of these borders and things it's like that. So set can everything. I have a look. You have a little Do you know what? Through. Rachel came in this morning. Do you know what I said to her? I says, I'm not happy with you, Rachel. <laughs> I says, you call this a booklet. Do you, know, do you know what the definition of a booklet actually is? Right, this is a definition. <laughs> a small, thin book with paper covers, typically um, giving information on a particular subject. All right, yes, it does <laughs> give information. No, 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 no. This is a 64 pound we said novel <laughs> the amount of detail that's in it oh sean even says i've got my kit oh, i can't sean. wait to get started oh. thank you rachel sean loves and hugs and you're welcome he's got a business and he um he makes beautiful jewelry of all, from lots of inspiration and he's and, and i'm honored that he makes my pieces and then he sells them in in he's got a um oh. A little shop in a shop in Cardiff, and there they are. So, and he and he always puts his own twist on it, and and because he's got great skill, Sean has, and I'm absolutely honoured. I'm delighted every time he he'll tag me and post, and and I'll see the pieces made. So thank you, Sean. We've we've got Jan as well, all from the Isle of Wight. You're across the seas, Rachel. I have many instruction books, but none are a patch on Rachel's. He, 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 his are always so clear and easy to follow. They are the thank you. best. Thank you. Thank you. That's amazing, yes, Rachel. I'm so I'm so <laughs> proud thank of you. you. Thank you. I mean, also there's templates. Obviously, I can't show the templates because I can. Yeah. I'll just um I'll just do. Well, Rachel, quick. you've got another <laughs> message. It just came and went. Tom, that message went too quick for me. Even I can't read that. It went off again. I tell you, Rick, I can't. Yeah. Thank you so much for all your kind messages from Josephine. <laughs> Hi, all. so wonderful to see you, lovely Rachel and Steve. Oh, wonderful dude. designer, beautiful lady inside and out. Do you dude. know what? Oh, Honestly, I love it. And the okay. fact that you've, you've, you went with that dream and you went for it and we're here now and we can we can use all of your information before our, our master class with you. <laughs> and in, in the booklet, there's templates, which I'm quickly saying that's it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, just a quick... And then, <laughs> so that means that you can reproduce it. And I think I've more or less done it to scale. Um, if you have any trouble with the cabochon, that might be a different size. I mean, most of these are calibrated, you know, wow. which is really... That's another thing. They're ordered and specially calibrated to Perfect. the size. Um, and then you can sort of, you can scan it in or photograph it and print it out in different sizes. So you've got a smaller yeah, caption on one. But these these gemstones are, being, are calibrated to, to fit to into fit them design. right. So really special ones. So there you got especially if you're new, especially if you're just getting into it. Can you imagine getting the kit home with that book? Because sometimes when you do watch on TV, you think, oh, but what about after? What about when I've actually got it? But because your book is so so detailed and so beautiful, you can literally just sit at home and yes, carry on. Yes, and again. Yeah, yeah, you can put it down and there's another, you say another, another space. Um, so, every, as I say, every page, yeah. every stage has got um, a, the step-by-step -step instructions um, you know, for how to make it's these pieces. Well, so, Rachel, yeah. look at all the names. I've already got them. Oh, You've okay. already, you're already getting them home. It's Rachel Thank Norris. <laughs> Now, yeah. we're going to carry on because we've got another few kits to show you because we've got, I'm, I'm cautious time because I know we've only got you for an hour now and I don't, I don't want you to go, Rachel, but we go off air. <laughs> <laughs> right, so... Here in so. the Parkin studio or, in, or, or sort of... Um, <laughs> <laughs> now, we are moving on. To, what was that, sweetheart? Ah, uh, Tom's... Uh, oh, is it... Right, so it's not wire. Oh, there you go, Rachel, you're a statter. You are, oh, honestly. I love all your love for Rachel. Thank you. Um, I was stalking on Facebook last night. <laughs> now, <laughs> one thing I will say is in terms of the kits, we're moving on to our next kit now. So, what we're actually getting with this kit, come and take a look, because, again, beautiful Fantastic. selection. So, what have we got here in terms of... We've got our spaces. They look rose, rose gold. Rose gold tones. <gasps> uh, they are rose gold. And, and the... Um, everything goes together. This is... That's... Um, really lovely colours, the turquoise, the lap lapis, and um, you know, turquoise again. You've got the rose gold to go with it, so it's absolutely beautiful colours. Um, yeah, so that's, that's very Aztec as well, very South American. That's amazing. And do you know what, when we talk about Aztecs, you know that jewellery? Oh, Rachel, <laughs> where the glam, where the glam! Yeah. Oh, oh, 
<laughs> so again, so this design, you can, you've got the booklet, it yes. comes with it. And again, like we're saying, so the pieces, the cabochon pieces are made to size in terms of following that exact step by step. And you've broke it yes. down for us, haven't yes, you, Rich? absolutely. Especially so, for people like me. <laughs> and I mean, also there's my Facebook page on the back so that if you do find that you're in, stuck at any stage, all you have to do is um, just drop me a message on the Facebook page on the back of the here and I usually try and pick them up every so often to just sweep through and just check and if you've only got stuck you just message me where you got stuck and I'll try and help you out that's so that's amazing so that's there you go funny. not only are you getting all the kit for it not only after are you getting care. the book you're like you're getting aftercare <laughs> you're getting aftercare you're getting Rachel in there with a Facebook so if you think oh I have come to that point because that's what we don't want to do that on Jewelry Maker we don't just want to say right here's the kit off you go we're not mm. doing that we're saying we're going to be here with you and we're going to do it with you <laughs> so i'd say what and thank you for your messages i'm so glad that you've actually got rachel's other and i'm not saying the word buckler mm. <laughs> i don't feel right and yeah. i don't can i just say i've worked a lot with books in the past the actual quality of the book yes i was not expecting such a beautiful so, quality yeah I've deliberately got a harder um high grain weight paper cover and a good finish and it's then a nice thing to keep and it's also because you've got a series of them and they all fit together in the series um, and they've all got the same sort of general style so that you've got a sort of uh, you're building up a, um, a little catalogue of, of different I designs it. I love it and, yeah but you know not only are you getting the book not only are you getting all of the spaces not only are you getting that helping hand with Rachel I just look at the size of your gemstones as well I mean we talk about turquoise not just the Aztec look Cleopatra rocking the turquoise I mean mm. my goodness do you know the prices that we've been seeing for these kits if I was just to see just turquoise of this carrot weight cabochon on a piece of jewellery I would easily easily expect in the hundreds do you know what I mean well yeah, thank you, thank you. And actually all made up as a pendant, yes, as well. You know, as well, even more. You're adding value to it with the with all the design. Just, design yeah. Honestly, Rick, honestly, I think you're absolutely amazing. And I just like I said, I love your story, how you just you're just like, you know what? I'm gonna go for it. Yeah. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Yes. Yeah. Right then. Now one thing I will say, do be careful now. We are gonna need to be checking out. We've brought that price in £29.99 pence. Again, we've just talked about crazy prices on carrot weights you've got all the spaces in that beautiful rose gold you've got the book mm. all of rachel's details on there i know many of you've already got books you've already had a go at her pieces rachel can i ask as a designer i know you briefly spoke about it how does it feel when people are wearing your designs oh, um <laughs> i'm absolutely honored i'm just honored actually oh, yeah. i know also if they've made them and worn them i'm really really honored and also proud yeah. proud of them for doing for achieving it and um yeah i'm so proud oh it's like you feel very, like very happy you're like you know when you're proud of your kids you're like go yeah, on it is, it is. <laughs> oh, I think got it there. Yeah. definitely <laughs> now we still have a few more kits so do not worry we are not done yet right i'm just gonna pop over to our next kit here we go my lovely let me i slide it round for you now just because we've, we've still got pieces, we need to be get ready because we've got so much to get through we and have. we want as much time as possible. Now, this one, slightly different. This is on with your sandstone in it. Oh, what should we have a little look at our next kit? Right, this is gorgeous. Is it really, is that Tom or Ollie? Tom just said, <laughs> I can never tell the difference. Sandstone is favourite. Now, we're going to be doing clear out deals on wire as well individually. So if you are thinking while you're here, do you know what, Claire? I need to get some of wire as well. That's all there for you. That's all at the ready. Right then, my lovely. Let's take a little look. So, Rachel, what have we got here? It's beautiful. Again, um, if you look at the, I think it's on the grey bus, that's it all made up. Um, the kind of like oh, one in the middle, this one is that one. Stunning. So that's that's I think that's the the gold or the I thought it was is it gold wow. or sandstone? Yeah. Or whatever. Sand it's so yeah. sparkly, <gasps> and um, so that's it underneath um, all the, the little face, and so you can see they've got this beautiful sort of orange stones and the um, the cool cooler stones as well, and the gold beads. So you've got everything you need there again. Do you know what, Rachel? Can I just say it? And I, no word of a lie. I've never seen a bale so beautiful. Thank you. That so you get absolutely. you learn how to make the bale in the in the. Yeah, it's just nice. Yeah. Rachel. Nice everything you learn, everything. You're a superstar. <laughs> I, Even I've been home like. <laughs> but again, step by step. 
Um, I'm, in the demo, I'm going to show you how to make the connectors for the necklaces. So you'll be able to make the pendant, but the connectors are kind of like um, starter techniques and they're, in, they're to give you confidence. And then once you know how to manipulate the wire, for yeah. those, you can you can do the, the pen. Yeah. But you know what? This is key. With the booklet, it has three different designs in. However, mm. it's like we said earlier, once you've got those techniques down, you can use them on so many different... You could come up with your own designs as yeah, well, then, can't you? Yeah. You, can, you can set the cabochons without the face on the front um, with some of the... Yeah, with the Aztec and the Celestial. You've got the ability to set. Um, you don't have to put the face on the front. You can just have the, the cabochon on show <laughs> with the surround. So, <laughs> yeah. you know. So this is just, again calibrated. It's perfect for for the sun sunray pendant. Um, it's just. I mean, you don't get round calibrated gemstones. Aren't that easy to get? No, as no, well. no, no. So this has no. been brought in specially, especially wow. for this show. So Absolutely uh, you know, That's another amazing. thing that's made me sort of very happy and privileged that that the effort has been made. Um, to, for this so do you know what though honestly a, a massive congratulations to everyone coming in i know you've been waiting uh, we've had so many requests and so many messages for the booklet on its own we've already got limited quantity tom are we going to do the booklet now my lovely right just because honestly rachel yeah, i can hear it in my ear the amount of messages i've had just oh, for the darling. book it, with the book yes, <laughs> the book we're gonna have to do the book now rachel yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so here it is my lovely rachel if you can give yes. us a little bit of a hint. Oh God! Well, um, <laughs> it's uh, what about about <laughs> it? <laughs> <laughs> it's a really good book, and it's got everything you need to do exactly. to, in in there, and can, it's got everything. Can you, I just you, show you, you the bit that I was impressed with? It. This is what I want to show you, right? Am I right to just give that page? Because yeah. I don't want to give to. I want to just show you, right? I have seen breakdowns of jewelry. I do a lot of decoupage and things mm. like that myself. The pictures, as Rachel, she took over 10,000 pictures to make sure she can absolutely get it right. And trust me, this isn't just... Rachel, I've got something to tell you. <laughs> Rachel, it's so dark. Oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Rachel, I'm so, <laughs> well, so proud good. of good. you. Good. This is amazing. Do you know, I'm, I'm going to have to Thank move you. on, Rachel. That, <laughs> we've got to be careful with that. That's the last one. <laughs> That's what I'm right to them, my lovely. So they are still, if you're thinking to yourself, I've missed out on the book, the only other way you can get hold of it is with the kits. So yes. you've got that turquoise kit, you've got that mm. amethyst kit, and within those kits, oh, and of course, the, the one with our beautiful sandstone. Stone. I've got to say, actually, it makes sense to get the kits yeah. because you've got, um, every, you can get started. Well, the hard work's done it's, it's harder to source <laughs> those gentlemen and wait for it to, you know, you've got it all delivering and arriving at Literally. once, and you can just... Um, hit the ground running with them. Exactly. All oh, right. Now we're gonna. We've got something slightly different with this one. Now, this particular kit, we don't have the book with this one. So I hope you managed to check out nice and quick. I know lots of you did. However, there is something else that comes with it. Taking away that hard work, you get your wire with this particular kit. So let's take a little look. We're still gonna match that price. You've got that beautiful tourmaline coming in there, and again, you're gonna get your spaces. So you've got your two pots of your spaces. You have got that beautiful, beautiful copper wiring. The colours are stunning. Mm. And then your gemstones. Now, for those of you who don't have the book, do not panic. It does come in the other kit. That's the one so. at the top there, on the top bust there. That's it all made up. This is that one. You can see how pretty it is. And it has, adds a more sort of um, feminine, very softer feel to the, the design. So wow. I, like, I love those colours together. They are it's really nice. And again, the stones shine through. They're, they're the canvas at the back of the, of the uh, design yeah. that sits over it. Yeah. Well, you know what, Rich? You said a good point, actually. We can get hold of you on Facebook if we need some help along the way. Yeah. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which just it. I will need some help. Yeah. <laughs> and also, you know, don't beat yourself up if it's not perfect first time and because you'll have learnt something in the process. Exactly. And so make the connectors. Um, that I'm showing you in the demo, and then get your confidence with the wire, and then attempt the the so more complex. Go um, for it. I like shaping. that. Yeah, do it in stages. Although I've got to say, the Aztec shape, each individual wire shaping is not complex in itself. No, no. I think the most complex piece would be the eyes and the nose bit, and the sun ray bit. Um, and the, and but you'll build yourself up to that. So and the rest of it, they're really quite simple shapes to be oh, honest. They just Rome fit wasn't together. Built in a day. They fit together in a jigsaw. <laughs> That's really what it is. And I'll teach you how to do that in the booklet. Perfect. Right now, I think I'm right in saying Tom, this is our last kit, isn't it? 
<gasps> oh, this is the this last is one. This lovely, actually. It's okay, because we get our master class, it's all right. <laughs> right, Rachel, one of... Fresh, um, actually, do you know what? Fresh spring greens with the um, beautiful cabochon there that you've got. Again, calibrated. Um, and that one is, oh gosh, where's that one? That one's at the front at the base there. So you can see that one made up. Um, wow. Down. Oh, not that one. Um, but that's lovely. Uh, down there. That's there it. There you go, it my almost lovely. Looks pink, but it's not sorry, pink. my dad. Oh, you've just come over, right here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, you. my lovely. Right there we go. Um, we are just still getting a lot of messages about um, you saying you've missed out on the book. The book singly has sold out. However, the first three kits, which is your turquoise, yes. it was your amethyst, um, and your sandstone. If you go for those kits, and they're twenty nine nine yeah. you get the book with them. And do you know what? I'm not being funny. I have been working you know, for a good amount of time now with gemstones for just that. Oh, sorry, the sandstone, the amethyst and the turquoise. Yeah. <laughs> the one thing I will say, which is quite amazing, is in terms of prices, £29.99, I would expect to pay you more just for a single cabochon gemstone, never mind everything that comes with it. Right, so this is our last mm. one, isn't it? beautiful design you yes. get that beautiful it's two strands and fresh greens shot. and um and actually surprisingly um sometimes you don't think of color combinations working well it works really well actually and um, it softens oh. that sun it has the gives with the the, the the as i say the fresh spring greens really work really well in, oh, in i absolutely good. love it honestly i just think do you know what this is my first day today and even I came, and even I thought, do you know what, where would I even begin with making jewellery? It's all there for you. So I've got to say, we've got a few kits left. If you see lots of you checking out, go for it, go for it. Because what we're going to do, are we going to? Right, so just let you know, if you have got a kit, ones without wire, do not worry. The gentlemen in the back in the gallery are going to do some amazing deals on wiring. <laughs> So you can bring it all together. But the one thing I would say, and I mean this because I'm sat here now looking at it, the booklet, if you can get a key with a booklet, my goodness, you have hit, you have hit that holy grail. <laughs> because it yes, literally is because you've got, a, you can, as I say, hit the ground running. You've yeah. got the, the calibrated stones, you've got the... Um, gemstones to work with it and the booklet so you can um, then exactly. just get started and then if you you haven't got the same shape so you've got an oval kit with a booklet um, yeah. get the, um, the the circular kit without the without the booklet you know add it in yeah. because then you've got the ability to make the other design you can make some yeah. match but the book's the key one for me right so it is that time of day you know as well as i do come on it's saturday get your feet up get that cup of tea in hand watch the master class that we are bringing you is none other than rachel norris the incredible designer she's going to show us how she gets to work and creates these designs this is a bit i've been excited for <laughs> what we're going to do is a confidence building exercise actually making some of the links um, that fit on the necklace and they're kind of like galaxies and um, planetary sort of elements of the feel to it anyway and you can use them singly all in a row for example like in that one yeah, that's all that's one not. single well i suppose you could just focus in so oh, oh sorry yeah, sorry. <laughs> you know, I'm like, Rich, i no, want to no, touch you, everything you know. i want to touch everything you can see there's a single line of, of a single element there so we'll start off with that one um and then the others i'd like mixed and matched and put different designs in um but you can see the different ele um, metal and the stones even though some of those are quite similar yeah. over here um, they look quite different. So what we're going to do is make as many of these as we, as we can so that you can sort of fill. And any that I missed out, I'll find out some way of getting it across. <laughs> right, now, let's so get gonna... going. I'm ready right. for it. What we're going to do first of all, actually, is make um, a quadruple link, um, which is in... It's quite a useful connector, and you can use it in bracelets and things like that. And so this is a very simple way of starting, just with, with round nose pliers. So I'm just taking about, I don't know, um, <laughs> about a 12, say 13, 12, 12 to 13 centimetre mm -hmm. length of, of wire. Okay, and you can use any, any scrap bits that you've, you've got left and, and have a go. So what we're going to do is make this sort of simple, really simple link. There we go. So I'm going to get the round nose pliers and we're going to use them about halfway down the round nose pliers and just make turn a kind of loop just put i'm actually just gripping the wire in the middle midsection and pulling my fingers so i'm not really doing much with the pliers i'm just using them to hold the wire um in fact actually 
a fibby wibbied. <laughs> <laughs> you probably need to go a bit further near one, one end. Um, so, because we're actually just doing the top link with that one. So I'm going to pull the wire over there and have this w bottom wire coming down and underneath the other one. I'm now going to grip, that's that link there, can you see that one? Now I'm going to move, make this other one on the other side. So I'm going to grip next to it and pull the wire around. Again, at the same point on the chain nose, on the round nose pliers, so get them the same size. I'm just going to rotate it. Put it round underneath and I'm going to just, it's not quite the same size, so what I'm going to do is just slightly, like, I suppose I'm gripping and rotating the pliers just to get it the right, the same size. And this one can come in a bit and I'm going to pull it round to the same size. So we've now got both wires coming, one going up, one going down. So we're going to make the bottom link on this side and to do that I actually want to pull the wire out this way a little bit so that it's, are you doing the top camera? Yeah, <laughs> this way, to do the top camera so you can see the, the angle of the wire. And then I'm, I'm gonna grip, put round just below this loop, and we're gonna make this lower, I'm gonna pull it around this side, this lower loop. I'm gonna take it, the pliers out, reinsert, just check what I'm doing, and then this, I'm just gonna rotate, grip and rotate, and pull round, and we've got the lower link. I'm just going to cut that wire where it crosses. Use flush cutter pliers, flat end of the flush cutter pliers um, towards the wire end that you want to cut and that makes a nice flat cut. You can squash that down with chain nose pliers which I've lost. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Do you know, even the, the start go. of this link I'm impressed. <laughs> even I'm like, wow, this that was really gorgeous. Simple. Just lots of loops. <laughs> so you've got th three. You could use, just make a three um, loop thing for earrings you know this would be quite good hang, hang this on the shepherd's hook and these two come down and you can add dangles and things so and then there's another loop here so what we're going to do is just pull this round and we make the bottom loop so we made a kind of like a like a diamond shape but in loops okay and then I'll turn that over and just I'll put a photograph of this up on, on the um, jewelry maker page and the, the, the group that we have, and you'll be able to see, and on my um, Rachel Norris um, JM guest designer page as well, so you'll be able to see where the, which wires lie over each other. So squash them flat with chain nose pliers, and that's a loop, and then if you really want to, again, try and make them the same size, again, I've got <laughs> slight different sizes, um, bring in the steel block and use a small-faced hammer. So if you've got um, a hammer with a small face, you can get into little spaces and just hold everything off the edge of the block and clink down the side and round, turn it. Wow. Just do on the edge. Don't do it where it's crossing. No, on the edge. But just slightly work hardens everything so that it's not going to pull apart. So that's one link done. So you've got, you can make loads of those and connect to things. So if you had um, a nice bracelet, you could connect that in a row or something like that or connect them um, side by side so they look like that or it, or even like that or you know you can do you basically they're, they're quite look like in a row you can do it like that so you can have fun just that's good connector so that's one thing right next i think we can make a little galaxy double galaxy <gasps> connector so let's do oh, that then oh i'm excited to see this so, one, i saw that one on the on the chairs <laughs> there those you can put a bead inside so what i'm going to do it without a bead and then i'm going to show it with a bead so you can see on the copper one, you've got a bead inside it, and on the gold one, you've got it without a bead. So you can see the difference. You have to just make them the start off in a slightly different way. No, that's good. That'd be good, actually. Go so, um, so taking, I'm going to take more than we probably need, but any excess, just use them to make jump rings. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to probably take about, I don't know, um, about 20 centimetres of wire. Uh, 22 I've got, but, you know... So um, I'm going to use round nose pliers again. They're really good. They're the pliers you use to shape um, and make round shapes with. Um, well, that's why they're called round nose pliers. So <laughs> Makes sense. working near the tips, <laughs> because I want to make these little shapes as small as possible. So again, on the overhead, I'm just going to grip near the center of the wire and turn or pull this round into a loop. Now I'm going to be able to, I'm, and that's the first half of this little yin and yang sign that we're making. Then I'm going to grip a little bit further down in the loop and pull 
And actually, the, the closer you are to the first loop or the edge of the loop, the smaller this yin and yang is going to be. So I'm not too, only going to grip a little bit further along, about five millimetres long, then pull this around. Just make sure you pull it around on the same level. This one is a bit big, so what I'm going to do is just grip here and just press it in. So we've got the start of the yin and yang there. Look, can you see? That's the start of that yin and yang there. So now we're actually going to do quite a lot of this with our fingers. You don't need to use pliers at all. So I'm just going to hold the middle with my fingers and just pull around like that. And I just pull one wire around to the top. And then I'm going to use the other wire and pull that round to the other side there. Now you could stop there, so I've got two in a row like that. Um, but with this star shape, for example, I added some like prongy, uh, like star points. Pieces, yeah. But we're going to do a star shape with a different connector, but so you'll see how to make that. But you could either stop and make these loops, which you're going to do now, or you can carry on and make these prongy things to make a big star. So um, I will we'll put a picture of this on the website, so you're um, not on the website, on the yeah, Facebook page, so you'll have like a template to go from. If you are at home now and you have got wire with you now, get, get your kit out now, <laughs> have a go now, record so, it. So you've got basically like a little swell and you could build this up. You can actually go maybe a third, another row round if you wanted to, but I'm just gonna stop there because I want to make a nice long thin connector um, to fit along a necklace um, chain nicely. You can make this into a bracelet if you curve it or, you know, uh, and you can add gemstones in between or whatever you like. So here we're going to make a little loop to make one end. So pulling this around, I'm going to use the base of the round nose pliers now because I want to make a bigger loop. And we're on the top. So pulling and slightly altering my grip with the round nose pliers as I go. And I've made one big loop. Uh, that's the end of it. And now I'm going to reinsert near where they cross over to make a smaller loop and then pull the wire around. Again, I'm going to just rotate this piece, grip again, and then pull around like so. Um, and it's really um, easy. So, can I mm. ask you a quick question? Just because I've had quite a few messages. Mm. Can I just check? Can I say what size? Oh, one, one millimetre. You one can do it in one millimetre and or, or 0.8. Thanks, so, Rich. Sorry, my lovely. Sweet. Sorry, so I've done we this had to it. know. No, absolutely. <laughs> The, with the with the one with the bead, I'm using 0.8 because the um, the one millimetre won't fit through that particular bead. So yeah, so you can use both. Um, but the work hardening with the hammering will make it sturdy. So here, where it crosses, just cut that. I'm just going to do the same loop, but it's sort of in a mirror image. So you're following the, um, the the curve, the sinusoidal curve of this wire. Pull it round near the base to make that large loop. Make sure they're the same size, yeah, and then near the end to make the smaller one. There we go. There we are. And then cut very near the edge of the loop with slush cutter pliers um, and squash everything flat. So with my chain nose pliers, I'm just going to literally slightly reshape it and squash things flat, ready for hammering. And again, with this one, so you can see that connector's made. And if you've made everything um, to the same size, they should fit into a nice line. Steel block. <laughs> now here you can use a nice big hammer because we want to hammer across the whole piece at once. And oh, and all other things you can do is make things mirror image. So that, that one's the same. You can see it's oriented the same way, but you could have them looking like that. And oh, nice. they, like an earring drop or, you know, looking like that as, a, as an alternating way. So just be careful as you're hammering them. When you hammer, those hammer marks are more likely to appear on one side than the other. Mm -hmm. So it, I want this to be a mirror image one, for example. So that would be the same, that would be actually the side I hammer, so that when I turn it over, the smooth face will be on the other side. So take that away. I'm just going to hammer the whole thing. This is too very soft, so it won't hammer in the same way as a hard surface feels. It's better to hammer on a, either a rubber block or a hard surface. This will give up a little bit, so um, we'll see how it goes. If you have just come and joined us, do not worry, you have still got <laughs> 10 minutes with Rachel. Over your so come and get sat down. Come and get sat down. She's got the most amazing, we've got 10 minutes with her. She's got the most amazing kits. Sorry, no. my lovely. <laughs> I hammered all the way through you talking there. Poor you, sorry. That was a test of your presenting skills. 
So there we are. So now, now what we're going to do is do you know what? These. Honestly, Rachel, oh, we've got we've had so many messages coming through. Rachel, can I just tell you because your booklets sold out, apart from the booklets that come with the kit, yeah. do you know what we've actually managed to find? Because we've had that many mate, Rachel, you're not going to believe it. We've managed to get your seahorse book oh, here as well, yeah. reprinted back in stock. There is, there is, brilliant. There is. Thank you so much. No, no, there no. is. Um, there is um, two designs, two designs in this um, seahorse book, and there's also a download code that should appear wow. on the invoice, um, so you can download a further two designs as a PDF. Wow, so it's a free downloadable yeah, there's, there's as well. There's four designs, but two will be in the booklet. Amazing. And, right. So we've Amazing. got. So basically, so that's there as well. That's got everything. Everything there in that booklet. There you go. There you go. We best get back to the uh, back the to the demo, aren't we? <laughs> Sorry, um, so Rachel. Please make the seahorses. Please make the seahorses. They're lovely. So anyway, there is the um, galaxy or spiral galaxy connector. So now we're going to make um, the one with a bead. So. Uh, I need to be fairly quick now, don't I? So, with the bead, I've lost a bit of wire. Oh, don't you worry, don't you worry. And if you have been watching and you're brand new and you're thinking, do you know what, I want to have a go. We've got the wire on the website, haven't we, Tom? We've got it on the website. They've been doing some special right. deals on it as well. So, if you're thinking, if you're sat here and you're inspired to have a go, give it a go. What have you got to, a few to do? So I've got a few to do. Right, so with the bead, pop a bead onto the middle of the wire. And then what you're doing is gripping the bead and pulling it round. So you're making that loop without the round nose pliers for that first loop. OK, you've pulled it around the bead. Yes. And then pull the other wire around the other side of the bead. There, so you've there. So we started with that yin and yang already, just with pulling the wire. I haven't even put some pliers in. It's just literally that. And then what you do is you do the same as you did last time. And, if you, and you just pull the wire around. And make those loops so that's that's that one okay that's with the bead wow. all right so you've got one without the bead one with the bead and they finish off the same way with hammering you just have to be a bit careful when you hammer <laughs> you don't want to hammer the bead just make your hammer hammer off the edge use a small face hammer and put your fingernail on just make your fingernail will get hammered okay and just do the <laughs> edges round and do the loops but don't hammer the bead otherwise you'll end up with one of these without a bead on it. <laughs> that so there we are. Next thing to do is we'll do. Um, I might just do. Um, I'm going to do this one actually. I'm going to do the. Um, <laughs> The one with. Do you want me going far next? I know. I tell you what, I love that design. Did you see how beautiful you look with that bead in? That was you see, gorgeous. That's, you see, that's lovely. And um, so I'm just going to take a bit of wire. Oh, come on, Rachel. Nice. Any no. bit of wire. So what I'm going to do is make a double loop connector. We're going to make this um, um, this connector on. here like that. On there. That one all the yeah, way that on. one. Okay, that one. <laughs> <laughs> there, that's the one. So. Um, the only thing is, I'm just going to use any old bead on it, okay, mm -hmm. so it's not even matching colour or anything, but um, I'm going to take quite a long bit, 30, 30 centimetres. I will put a template on the website. Website, I keep saying that, <laughs> but it's that, okay? So that's enabling you to make it in the same, um, same size each time. So there's the bead in the middle. I'm going to place the wire, and I'm just going to make... And up, so upwards, bend, and a bend the other way. So that's where the loops are going to go. Okay, one's going one way, one's going the other way. Doesn't matter about the bead moving at the moment. So I'm going to make a quick loop at the end. And I'm just going to do one side, a quick loop. That's with round nose pliers, chain nose pliers. I'm pinching near the where the loop is, pinching, and then pulling the wire upwards in a bend and just check it's the right size for that um, for that bend okay and it fits the template do the same on the other side so that you have got a piece that looks like that so you've got one wire going one way and one one wire going the other way so the central strut fits the bead on next thing to do is hammer with a small faced hammer doesn't matter if you've got a big one, but just make sure that you hold your finger over the bead, hammer off the edge of the block, and hammer just the loops and the struts. 
And this, these pair of struts then act as the support for the structure you're going to form. OK, so first of all, now I'm going to forget what I'm doing. Yes, so grip near the bead, hold the bead in the centre and just pull this wire around, around the bead and then round the struts. And so it's facing the same direction as the other wire. Now turn the whole thing round and then pull this wire around, the other wire around the bead, so it just starts to enclose it. And again, pull it round. And again, you see I'm not even working with pliers now. Can you see? It's freehand. You know? <laughs> and then, so now we're going to work with the first wire we work with, pull it round the bead. And just make an effort to make sure it's circular. Round. And do the same with this one. So again, I'm doing this very similar yin and yang almost feeling to it. Build it up. So... Um, you can see me I'm having to work quite quickly. So what you'd try and do is make sure these are all... You can see that's not quite um, circular. So what you can do is just nibble away with, with chain nose pliers just to make sure that's circular. Nibble away to make sure... Just a tiny little movement to make sure that's nice and circular. OK. Well, that's, I'm glad you show me like that. It's so easy, isn't it, with yeah. those grips just to yeah, manipulate Yeah, just a little... It. Just work with the, with the plier tips. So at the end, you should end up with... Um, the same amount above and below. Thank you, darling. And I, pr yeah, and then like that. And then just cut it so you've made a little swirling galaxy. Um, centimeter here, centimeter there with this wire tail. And then make a little curl. You can oh. see? And just make a little curl. This is an optional sort of like little detail. You could just cut it off quite close to that loop, but I quite like this additional detail in there, so it just adds that little extra bit. So a little spiral with around those pliers, plus cut the end because the end is work hardened and straight. So you need to then keep on making that loop, grip near the loop and turn it in, grip near that loop, turn it in, like that. Squash those loops in, just make sure there's space in the loop for, to add chain, chain, chain jump rings. If it's too big, just squash this down a little bit so it gives yourself some space to add links in, otherwise you won't have to do that. Now we're just going to hammer the edges. What you could do is just make sure this is all flat, but because you've got that double strut in the middle, everything lies really flat really easily, actually. Um, and then just use, again, hold it near the edge and hammer the back with a um, small face hammer and hammer that just side of that spiral. Again, that's not, I really, I know you spent, you've got to spend a bit longer, making it a bit neater than what <laughs> I've done. It's live TV, but Rachel. Like, really, really quickly, but you can see the effect that you're making. Just spend a bit of time yeah. doing it. Right, last thing I think we could make then is this, we've got two things we could make, and one, if, we, if we've only got time, it doesn't matter. So we could make either the dangling connector for the Aztec, or we can make the star. So what do you fancy? It doesn't really matter. Oh, but, um, well, let's try and squeeze them both. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, because I've started this with a spiral, I'm going to make the star first of all. Yeah. And I'm going to make it in oh, one millimetre. Again, because I, I know that the one millimetre will end up being more sturdy. Yeah. So I'm going to take about 25 centimetres of wire. And I'm just going to make a spiral. So this, this is a great... Uh, most wire work starts with a spiral somewhere along the line. So I've just <laughs> used the tip of the round nose pliers to make a little tiny loop. Cut off the end, just with flush cutter pliers, because that end is straight and work hardened and won't go into spiral very easily. <laughs> and then just, can you see, as I'm, as I'm um, turning, I'm gripping near the tip, and with my finger, I'm actually pushing the wire around into a spiral. Wow. OK, so it's almost like, can you see, it's like a scissor action as I'm doing this. And then um, when the spiral gets bigger, you grip over the plane of the spiral, and then I'm just, again, doing the same scissor action, gripping, pushing, pushing, using my finger to push this around, grip, push, grip, push, grip, push, until you feel <laughs> you've got uh, a big enough spiral. So you're keeping that, that wire round in the same plane, rotating around the other, other bit of um, the uh, main spiral. How so, uh, and there we've got that. And that is a beautiful thing all to start with. You've got an element that you can make into so many different pieces in itself. That's an earring drop in itself or a connector. So we're just going to make a little star. 
So um, using chain nose pliers now, just bend upwards and outwards around at the top of the star. And then just make lots of little, tip, little bends. So I'm using the chain nose pliers to make little bends. And I'm going to make about six as we go round because can you see I'm gripping near and I'm making a bend. And you want to make that bend sharper, clamp, clamp, clamp near the edge of the bend. And it makes the bend sharper. This, I, I'm going to make a really awful one because I'm just making it quickly, but you make, need to make about six. Again, I'll put a picture of one of these connectors up on the website so you'll be able to see the, you know, the sort of, like, the arrangement of the little spikes around the, the star. This is awful, but there we go. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to make another one. I make six because it's an equal number and you can use them as connectors more easily. If you want to make a five-star one as a base... <laughs> base of a pendant or an earring drop, you know, that's what you can do. Those aren't equal, so what you're going to do is try and make sure they're equal and not awful and, and really dreadful. Well, you will so, have more time at Yeah, all. more time. Make sure those little, all those little gripping points are equally spaced. Now, well, you can see that looks dreadful. So what you're going to do is you're going to pull this in, squeeze either side of those prongs. Squeeze, squeeze, and all the way around. Can you see it coming in towards the centre now? So I've neatened that up now. So there's always hope, <laughs> and, I might, and um, this, this one I might just readjust if it was in real life, make that a bit longer. Yeah. So um, you can either you can either turn a loop. No, I will make it longer because I want to turn a loop inside. You can either bring that up to make this star connector or a flower connector that I made for the bracelet. Just make a loop at the top, or you can turn this spike inwards. Oh. Sorry. No, really no. Rachel, you know what? We've already got requests My fault. for the exact same thickness in silver. <laughs> so everyone, everyone must be getting on it now. We've got that up on screen for you in silver. <laughs> and then we make a little loop in the middle. And that, that, that little loop um, I then used. And we, I'm going to bring this necklace over because we won't have time. I'm going to have to talk through this bit because, mm -hmm. you know, let's get this one here. Sorry to lean across. Oh, no, give over, Rachel. Sure, we're mates now. Don't worry about that. <laughs> this one here <laughs> is that same element. I hammered the whole thing, and hammering makes the spiral repack together nicely. And I put 0.4 millimetre wire across here with a bead, and then it's wrapped all the way around. I slightly, what you need to do is slightly make sure this centre spiral comes away, little gap and a little gap here, so you can fit the 0.4 wire. So use your fingernail and just open out a tiny bit of that spiral so that you'll be up there. So you can fit a bit of this wire work. And just, I just added the bead in and then wrap all the way around, wrap into these star points, and that means, means that that forms a really nice detailed wire work connection. So you're starting to add 0.4 millimetre wire in to add a wire work sort of weave into, your, into the main frame. So quite a lot of these have been without any 0.4 wrapping wire, but this has got some in there, so you can see that. And I'm just going to show you some hammering of the spiral with this one, which is the Aztec. We've nearly done them all, actually. You can see the hammering of the spiral now. So I've made the spiral in the same way we did the other one, and I'm just going to hammer across. This is a 0.8 millimetre wire. And you can see that the hammering really compacts that spiral and makes it look really beautiful and shiny. And with this, we're just going to make a, um, a connector. So I've put a, um, a little bead onto the rest of the wire tail. And then all I'm going to do is just use chain nose pliers, make a loop. This is dangling, sorry, a dangle. <laughs> a dangle. <laughs> and then make a loop round like that. And we're going to make a little closed loop. Grip near this loop with the chain nose plier, pull round. And in the same way that we did with the other um, connectors. We're doing the same thing of wrapping around the bead and then oh, pulling it around and wrapping it back. You see you're sort of slightly enclosing that bead. Wrap round here, cut and spiral. And that is it really. So that's the elements. Some, many of them use exactly the same techniques, just in slightly different order or patterns and things like that. You can make and the, this, the, there's, there's a dangling connector. So um, you can use um, the Galaxy ones with beads, without beads. You've got this, this uh, lovely enclosed spiral bead that you've made. You've made some stars and you've made some spirals. And they're all the things that you can 
You can li link together in all different combinations and make those chains for necklaces. That's it. <laughs> wow, I'm so, th that was amazing. That was literally amazing. The whole studio is clapping. Rachel, Rachel, I have got to say that was amazing. If you've been watching and you've been thinking, you know what, I want to have a go, we have put, oh, even Lisa's, thank you. Oh, Do you know, darling. honestly, if, you, if you've seen things on the Aww. website, we've put silver up as well. We've got some great combinations of silver yes. wiring. We have yeah. got gold wiring. There is the kits. If you still want to get your Please hands get the book on the because book. I've worked really hard yeah. on that. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know. She's taken 10,000 pictures. <laughs> Rachel, honestly, for my first ever guest on my first ever show, oh, thank you. Thank you. You are actually <laughs> literally <laughs> so beautiful <laughs> inside and out. She has kept me so calm today. If you want to see more of Rachel's designs, go onto her Facebook page. I was stalking it last night like a crazy person. <laughs> there is some of her other designs. You can watch this show back on YouTube. Look at all your messages. Honestly, Rachel is exactly in real life. <laughs> She's just the warmest person. She's brought us all in cookies. <laughs> that is when you know you have an amazing person. Right, and so my lovelies, the end of the day has come, but it's National Picnic Day and Fishing Day, so you get yourself out today and enjoy yourself. I'm going to pick my son up from university. Is that what you're yes. going to do? <laughs> Take him home. <laughs> Take him home from uni. There you go. Everyone's going to start working with wire now. And do you know what? A massive thank you to you at home. You have made our morning. And do you know what? From the whole team, from Ollie, from Kinga, from Mike, um, from Tom, thank you for being here. If you're still in the mood to see more, do not forget you have got Hobby Maker. You You've got gems, you'll have lifestyle later, and come tomorrow, we've got Charlie Barron. So from me and Rachel, Aww. bye bye, everyone. <laughs> have a lovely day. <laughs>